Hey everybody, this is Dave Kelso. Welcome to today's live stream for the um, community conference call stuff. Um, I'm about to, to bring us in and bring us online with the usual makeshift Jimmy Rig crappy hard to hear Skype uh, <laughs> interface here that's hodgepodge. But um, before I do that, I want to address something right quick. Um, there were some questions and concerns as far as <clears throat> not getting in right at the beginning of the conference and Google not having enough to be able to go all the way through. So people were asking, you know, how can I, you know, what, where do I call in? What do, what do I do? Um, some of the people that, you know, were coming in off of, of YouTube for the first time, getting exposure to this and not really... Um, understanding exactly what was going on or how to navigate it. Um, we have a, a Facebook page called um, Community Conference Calls. You know, it's all one word, so facebook.com forward slash community conference calls. You don't even need to have a Facebook account at all in order to access that because everything is public, so you don't even need to log in. Um, when you go to that and you click into the about section, you will find all of the the details for you know the number to dial in, what to do, so on and so forth. And furthermore, I also put on the the header graphic of the um, the page itself. It says um, conference session start 8 p.m. Central. Call one five five nine seven two six. 1300 access number 276125 it's got all the information on the cover graphic there but in case that doesn't display if something funky happens if you're coming in through a cell phone or whatever the case may be um, you know there's an information page for each you know thing for each uh, Facebook page there's an about section and when you click on the about section um, it has all the uh, information there, and it, it gives you the access number and, and the PIN and the instructions and so on and so forth. So, you know, after you, know, after you um, get done with the, uh, the live stream, um, you can then go to the Facebook page and get that information, and you can join in that way. So now, without further ado, I'm going to bring you all in. Oh, you're disengaged. Next caller, 7737, you're up. Hey, Brian. You guys asleep? <laughs> yeah, I rest. Thanks Barlow for asking, though. This is Deborah Barlow oh, from Louisiana. I've been doing a lot of talk posts for y'all over here. Can you hear me? Yes, absolutely. Okay. If you'd like to ask a question, please press 1 to see what your request has been received. Let's be saying that the feds were going to raid all the Bundy homes at the ranch. Uh, we're kind of hearing some battle about this situation. Um, that was boots on the ground that I talked to earlier that, that wanted us to keep an eye out for that information as much as possible. If uh, anybody can get some confirmed video within recent, you know, last what, eight hours that that's been said, we'd certainly like to know for sure. Um, you know, that's in conjecture right now. There, there, there's definitely some rattle about that. Um, you know, obviously, hopefully not, but hey, you know, we're not putting it past them. We, we knew everybody kind of, some people stuck around, some people are still coming there, and the ranch is still asking for people to show up just in case something like that were to occur. Um, you know, so far the battle has been won. If you've seen the video of the uh, BLM hey, everybody, you know, giving back all those cows and uh, other people stood against them and made them go oh, away. Hold on done, a sec. Uh, Sorry about that. I'm just trying to get the link to paste it into the Facebook page. It's like voiceover malfunction here. Apologies for that. It's all right. Maybe uh, pitch the window for a minute. I'm, I'm catching some uh, feedback, like if maybe you're on speakerphone. Okay, let me see if I can get that. Hold on a minute. All right, actually, seven seven three, you chimed back in, man. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna unmute you as well. While 
737 gets it together on that end. You're still engaged, ma'am. I'm going to give you a couple minutes to get that situated. Unmuted. Seven, 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 hey, man, we're live streaming. Three. We're live streaming. Oh, you are? Thank yeah, you. We're, 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 we're good. We're up. We're, we're live. Um, we're awesome. Okay, cool. If anybody wants to uh, just check out the YouTube stream instead of having to be on the phone with this, uh, you can go to the uh, community conference call page on Facebook, and the uh, latest link should be up any second if it's not up already because Chicago One is just a badass dude that stays on top of his game. It's not up yet, but it'll be up in about five seconds. <laughs> yeah, it, so it's it's there. You, You've been volunteering to uh, do this, man, and we really appreciate you all over you along. Um, you know, you're definitely my go-to media guy as of right now. So. You know how good you know how good I am. You know how good I am. I did not have to sacrifice one goat to get any of this done. I am that good. <laughs> were you? Were, let me let me ask you an honest question. Were you by chance maybe related to the uh, druid that did call the first time? No. Okay. N it's unless true. it's like a past life thing or something, you know. No, not um, not in this life anyway. Not that I know of. All right, because if the Druids want to call back, we want to see how the ghosts are faring. Yeah. Oh, you read my mind. I was just thinking earlier today, you know, on this call, i got to ask if the Druids are listening and have them call back and give us some updates. You know, <laughs> Speaking of right, updates, get... I have a very important update to give you all regar regarding the whole Bundy situation. Um, it's already posted to the uh, com you know community conference calls page, but I'm going to play it through. It's a video by storm clouds gathering um, even though the video footage is important what's being said in audio is way more important so you know anybody can go back and watch the video later but I want to play this through anyway just so people on the line are informed as to what's up because storm clouds rising you ever heard of him Brian yeah he's a badass son of a gun and he put this shit together everything that we had been talking about and suspected on these conference calls we were right but we didn't have the, the evidence to really bridge it together we kind of had speculation and this guy got the evidence because he's the fucking man excuse my French and I want to play this through um, it's it's an it's it's an it's an 11 minute update, but man, he says in 11 minutes what would take me an hour if I was in his position. So he is very thorough. This guy is like the king of brevity, man. I don't know how he does it. He's the summarization god. Awesome. Well, uh, seven seven three seven and three one seven one are both shifting uh, a, a few times over the course of the last two days. I'm gonna keep you guys in the queue since nobody else is actually in, on hold here right now. We'll go ahead and play that if you guys want to chime in throughout. I would ask, you know, I'll let you get to kind of a lot of time to give us a summary. I'm going to go ahead and jump out um, and listen to it. I've already heard it. It is very good, though. Thank you okay, for verifying so that. that. Thank you for verifying that. It is badass, isn't it? I love it. Hey, hey, yeah, uh, Tom, um, this is Ohio one. Uh, I really don't know how to say this, but I just got an insider report. Uh, what I read, DHS Team 1 is in the jump seat of Vegas International. Uh, team 1 is their super elite team. Eight guys, all prior Delta Force, which is minimum requirement. And we might be expecting a halo in about 15 minutes. That's the reason why whenever uh, Archangel said cloud, cloud puncher, it immediately alerted me. Uh, like I said, we might be expecting a halo in about 15 minutes. Is there any way that we can get contact the boots on the ground to warn them? Uh, Tom, I'm wondering if you can get that ball rolling for us. Tom, uh, I'm monitoring the uh, radio right now, so uh, I'm waiting for any activity on those, and uh, I'll go report on either immediately if any activity is, uh, is uh, Okay, uh, I repeat, DHS Team 1. And they are supposedly in the jump seat of Vegas International. Now, keep in mind what is kind of interesting is uh, you know, what does yeah. Halo mean? Excuse Halo my ignorance. What does it mean? It's uh, basically they jump from a very high altitude and open at a very low altitude. It's it's virtually silent and they can move in undetected. Um, it's seven seven seven. Uh, 
737 am I still on? Yeah. I do have boots on the ground, but she's eight miles away. Um, if she can get a hold of anybody over there, it doesn't matter that she's eight miles away. If she can, she has the ability to contact people there by some means. Okay, I tell you what, Brian, you got my cell phone number there. Keep me off the air and me what you need me to do, and I will get that info to her. Awesome. Yeah, if you if you don't press star six, if you actually manually mute your phone now, you'll still be in the You really must want to post something. Uh, much like uh, Chicago One and Comms One and uh, Comms with Seven is doing right now. Okay. Okay. Well, you got my number. I'm gonna get myself out. You text me. It'll come up on my yeah. phone, and I, I may I may have to switch, hang up, and call you back so I can get a hold of her. Ten folks, ten folks. Do what you need to do. Honey. Yeah, just get a hold of her. Tell her what's going on, and tell her to get a hold of anybody over there that she can, however she can, if she can. Okay. Yeah, we definitely need more locals involved, so if she's willing to set up any sort of like comms base or a uh, secondary route. Well, I'm putting star six and it's not doing me out. Right, like I said, you have to actually look at your phone and push the button where it tells you to mute it. Don't press star six because that'll pull you out of the queue. Oh, what do you want me to press? However you normally mute your phone when you're on a conversation. Oh, okay. Your phone's built-in mute function. Whatever it is, whatever button your phone already has there to be able to push. Mine, for example, has a microphone with a little line through it that turns red when I mute myself up. Okay, I just pushed mute on my phone is all I did. Okay, then that's all you need to do. Sounds fun to me. <coughs> uh, you want to go ahead and play that Chicago one? Uh, yes, I do. Whenever uh, you're ready, and give me the go ahead. Sure. Actually, let me. Uh, okay, that call dropped out. Go ahead and start playing now. If anybody else wants to chime in, you're going to be holding for about ten minutes, or you can uh, play. Okay. I'm probably going to cut it a little short if you don't mind. If it's if it's not if it's not loud enough or garbled or whatever, um, interrupt me real loud so I can hear you and pause it. So you know you could tell me like, hey, you need to turn that down, turn that up, whatever. Okay, just yeah, every volume should be fine. All right. Here we go. There are some very powerful people who've done their best to cover up what really happened at Bundy Ranch in Clark County, Nevada. Fortunately, they failed. In this video, we're going to present you with evidence of blatant corruption and criminal activities that anyone, including law enforcement, can easily verify. But before we go into the details, it's important to acknowledge here that the political left and the political right are watching this crisis through very different eyes. You on the left saw this old rancher defying the federal government over cattle raising fees, with right-wing pundits pleading his case and armed militia moving in to intervene, probably gave you the impression of Tea Party temper tantrum with guns. Given some of the personalities who were involved in the media circus surrounding this, that impression is perfectly understandable. But underneath the appearances, there is something here that all Americans need to see, whether they consider themselves conservative, liberal, or none of the above. All I ask is that you suspend your preconceived notions of what this crisis was about for five minutes. First, let's eliminate some of the disinformation, speculation, and conspiracy theories. Here's a story that a lot of people were spreading around without fact-checking. As of yesterday, it had over 47,000 shares on Facebook alone. That's not views, that's shares. The author claims that the siege of Bundy Ranch was really about fracking leases. That's a provocative narrative, one that I actually found very interesting. But just because something is plausible doesn't mean it's true. For evidence, the article links out to this page on shalereporter.com, which does indeed talk about the Bureau of Land Management, aka BLM, leasing out land in Nevada for fracking. Trouble is, the author and 47,000 other people overlooked the blatantly obvious fact that the land in question is in northeastern Nevada. Clark County isn't in northeastern Nevada. That's not a minor detail. Please, pretty please with the cherry on top, fact check before you spread information, people. Always fact check. Then there was this other line that kept getting spread around. And this is a direct quote. There are developers working for military contractors that want the land and water for mining, weapons, grave, minerals for industry. They want to sell the land by the highway for real estate development because it's close to I-15. This claim wasn't backed up by even so much as a link. It was pure hearsay. Furthermore, it doesn't even make any sense. Military contractors like Blackwater want land for mining and weapons-grade minerals. 
be perfectly honest, I get the impression this story was fabricated by some stoned college kid who thought it would be hilarious to send it to an alternative media outlet as a prank. You gotta admit, as a prank, that's pretty epic. Especially since it worked. A media figure with a fairly decent sized audience, and I'm not gonna name any names, blasted it out to the public without asking for any evidence or even critically examining the claim. A lot of people took that report and started spreading it around. And pretty soon there were people just repeating the narrative, not even knowing where it came from. That's bad. Providing an echo chamber for unfounded rumors and wild speculation is not journalism. The alternative media really needs to tighten their standards of evidence. This is a major problem. All right, moving along, here we have this story that the showdown in Nevada was really about an underhanded business deal involving Senator Harry Reid, his son, the BLM, and a $5 billion solar energy plant. You probably saw a few people sharing links related to these claims. Let's fact check. Claim number one, Senator Harry Reid's son, Rory Reid, is the primary representative for the ENM Energy Group, a Chinese energy company involved in a $5 billion solar project planned for Clark County, Nevada, on the very land where the Bundy Ranch is located. First source, Reuters, August 31st, 2012. Well, this is interesting. It turns out that the conflicts of interest in this project were well documented, but Harry pushed it through anyway. He even pushed it through in spite of the controversy that was stirred up when the land was sold to ENM for $4.5 million, even though separate appraisals valued the land at between $29.6 and $38.6 million. Claim number two, Harry Reid put one of his former employees in charge of the Bureau of Land Management and thereby used his leverage in the agency to clear the Bundys off the land. What do they claim as their source? CBS, Las Vegas. Hmm, that's interesting. He, of course, the current BLM chief, is indeed a former advisor for Harry Reid. And Harry Reid is a Senate Majority Leader and therefore was directly involved in his confirmation. That's another serious conflict of interest there considering that BLM is claiming jurisdiction over the land where Rory Reid's company wants to build. But do we have any evidence that Reed actually exercised that influence in the agency to get what he wanted? Well, that brings us to claim number three. Supposedly, the BLM had posted on their website that they needed to get the Bundy family off the land to make room for the energy project, but the BLM has removed the page. The website that made this claim posted a screenshot split into two files and a link to a text version of that page that someone else had copied. To be honest, this is pretty weak. Though it does seem to match the overall narrative here, this would never be admissible in court. Let's dig a little deeper, shall we? What if there's a version of the site cached somewhere on the web? Let's try the Wayback Machine on archive.org. Nope. No dice. Page was never cached in the Wayback Machine. Let's try Google's cache. Bingo! Here it is, folks. This is Google's record of what used to be on the site. Non-governmental organizations have expressed concern that the regional mitigation strategy for the Dry Lake Solar Energy Zone utilizes Gold Butt as the location for off-site mitigation for impacts from solar development and those restoration activities are not durable with the presence of trespass cattle. They specifically refer to the solar project as a justification to seize Clive and Bundy's cattle. Funny thing is, we found the mitigation strategy for the Dry Lake Solar Energy Zone, and guess who wrote it? That would be the BLM. Pretty convenient for Harry Reid, isn't it? Now, I took a screenshot of the Google cache right away. As I'm compiling the information, I go back and I look at it again an hour later. And what do you know? Someone came and took the cached version down from Google. Someone is trying to cover this thing up and fast. But you know what? They missed one. I found this cached version of the page on archive.is. If you follow the link in the description to our website, sgnews.com, you'll find a direct link to this page. I highly recommend that each and every one of you go and verify its contents for yourself before someone has it taken down. But even if they take this last link down, they left a trail. Google server logs will still have a record of the exact date that their cache snapshot was taken. Chances are they still have that snapshot. And you know what? Even if somebody tried to erase it completely, it is very easy for forensic technicians to recover data like this, even if it seems to be deleted from the system. The digital trace is still there. The BLM servers and every computer involved also have a trail, and trying to remove that trail would leave an even bigger trail. All we need is somebody in law enforcement with a spine. But that's another story, isn't it? This isn't about turtles, folks. It's not even about cattle. This is about money and power. Turns out our little friend Harry Reid has a nice little empire rigged for himself in Nevada. Let's take a look at this article from the LA Times. This is from 2003. Apparently it's no secret that Harry's way of profiting off of his position is to push through business deals that help his family members. He's got family representing virtually every major industry, and they're doing quite well, thank you very much. Thing is, this is technically not illegal. In fact, it's become the standard way to bribe politicians in the United States. You can't line their pockets directly, but you can line their son's pockets and their cousin's pockets and their uncle's pockets all you want. 
However, using a federal agency to seize cattle and physically intimidate and brutalize a family to facilitate that dirty deal, that's all kinds of illegal. Then they tried to cover up the evidence. And that's also a crime. Again, all we need is a law enforcement officer with a spine. I'll be perfectly honest. When I saw some of the media personalities that were capitalizing on this drama, I was very skeptical. But once I understood what was really going on, I understood right away why people's blood is boiling. Take another look at what happened on that ranch. Imagine Clive Bundy was your father or grandfather. Imagine if his wife was your mother or grandmother. Imagine it was your family whose livelihood was being destroyed by some filthy rich politician who just can't get enough. What happened in Clark County, Nevada struck a nerve with the American people. But the response that we saw had very little to do with this particular crisis. There is something much deeper brewing under the surface in America. The showdown was just a catalyst. It wasn't the greatest atrocity of the decade or even of the year. I wish the people had felt this moved by the NSA's domestic spying program, or the secret kill list, or the drone program, or the Libyan war, or the Iraq war, or the Afghan war. I wish people had been activated by something bigger than the plight of a cattle rancher. But you know what? We don't get to pick the breaking point. Rosa Parks sparked a civil rights movement with a refusal to sit in the back of the bus. Clive Bundy almost started the second American revolution by refusing to let the feds run him over. Now, even knowing the real story, hearing about militia mobilizing all over the country to come physically defend the Bundy family is probably still very disconcerting for many progressives. This was a very dangerous situation. A lot of people could have ended up dead. Consider this. Remember back in 2011 when riot police swooped in to brutally crush the Occupy movement? Remember how you felt? No one stood up for them. No one fought back. And what was the result? The thugs won. The media quickly switched to a new distraction, and the public forgot. Imagine if it had been different. Imagine if the people swarmed in from all over the country, not to wave signs in the air, but to stand up for your rights, even if they disagree with you politically. That didn't happen. But it should have. It's been said that the enemy of your enemy is your friend. The trouble is, people of the United States have been a bit confused about who the enemy really is. You've been allowing a thuggish, out-of-control, corporate-owned government to persecute your ideological rivals, not realizing that someday that same boot will be grinding your face into the pavement. And all the while, your common enemy, your real enemy, gets stronger, more aggressive, more lawless, more blatantly corrupt as we dance this left-right, left-right, two-step to tyranny. They've been playing you guys like a fiddle, like a sleeping giant starting to wake up, and they are scared to death of you. Now, as for Harry Reid, he may just be one rotten apple in a barrel full of rotten apples, but he needs to be brought to justice. To all of you out there who call yourself law enforcement, the American people are putting down a line in the sand. If you don't stand up for justice, if you do not hold these scumbags accountable for their crimes, if you do not at least raise your voice and take a public stand, you are an accomplice. You are discrediting the entire framework of law and order, and you are giving the people a clear mandate to remove you from your office. If you agree, then send this video to every person that you know, especially to police, military, and veterans. Send it to your congressman. Send it to your local news station, to your local newspaper, to your local radio station. You have permission to download this video and distribute and present it in any venue, commercial or non-commercial, under the condition that the content is not altered, shortened, or added to in any way. To make it easier, we're providing a direct download link on our website, scgnews.com. If you want more content like this, subscribe to Strong Clouds Gathering on YouTube. You can find Strong Clouds Gathering and SGG News on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And on our website, you can sign up for email updates to get notified anytime new content is added. Ta-da! Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, sounds like a pretty clear-headed guy. I've never heard him actually speak. Exactly. I've seen some posts and whatnot. But, you know, a lot of what he said is a lot of what we've all signed in on this call. It's not... Take anything into account that's not verifiable, you know, let's not send any hotheads, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Exactly. And, uh, that's what he that's what he did. Be. He found some he found some solid evidence. We didn't have it. I mean we came to the same conclusions as him, but he dug way deeper because he's just a a badass skilled guy at that. And, you know, he, he brought it up and he put it out on the table and he's going, Here it is. Now what are you gonna do about it? Stuff is part of the subject. You know, Terry Reid obviously has uh, got his hands all over this, and uh, we need to move forward and make sure that he's brought to justice. Oh well, yeah. We've got a handful of people that are in the queue right now. We go ahead and open up some more. 
All right. Um, Although I think we did we did the right thing by taking these these narratives and questioning them. We never subscribed to them. We questioned them. We definitely did. Hello. Yeah, you're on. This is Chris from Walker, Walker, Louisiana. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we were we were just listening in. Uh, I know it's not necessarily a confirmed report on the DHS uh, or whatnot, but uh, we we're trying to keep updated as much as we can down here in Louisiana, uh, and we'd like to know uh, what uh, what y'all found out today. I mean, other than the stuff floating around on Facebook that we try to try to confirm as much as we possibly can, and like I say, you know. We're in Louisiana, there in Nevada. This is a, a better way for us to figure out if some of the stuff is confirmed or whatnot, you know? Basically, it's like outside of them not being cool right now, I would take it as conjecture. Uh, conjecture, I'm sorry, unless it's actual video. Um, that actual video footage. She said she said pictures are not cut right now. And then when it comes to video, probably only a fifth of that is actually. Uh, Details that we can confirm because of the fact that you can take, you know, a picture of a bunch of, or, you know, a video of a bunch of NREX, you know, driving from uh, wherever, from right, yeah. you know, to wherever, right. and then say, from wherever to yeah. where, from A to point B, look, and it could be. Look, look, what I was, look what I just saw. I'm 10, I'm 10 miles away from uh, Nevada. <laughs> They're going right to the compound right now. You know, and put up a blast, and now everybody's freaking out all over again, and we've been doing our best to calm everybody down. I think the best resolution we've had throughout. In the last few days was when the actual bodyguard of the family called and said, "Hey, they're okay. Everything's calm. I saw a few thousand people on my way out. Everybody's being really cool and helpful, you know." And then we actually talked to the bodyguard still in the house, uh, the head of security, and he said, "Well, you know, it's kind of chaotic, but when he said chaotic, he was clear. It's not chaotic as far as we're being attacked or anything. It's just a lot of militia guys that were in control of the chain of command, you know, kind of dispersed better." And then a whole bunch of new things are coming in, you know, so we got to kind of get them under control. And that was really uh, the last we heard from him directly. Then we had a boots on the ground that was actually right next to him that said everything is still cool. They're still trying to get a grasp. But, you know, let's say you've got a uh, chain of command, right, 50 guys. And you've got uh, 24, 24 radios. And, uh, you know, everybody's pretty much on the up and up. Well, it was time for some of those people to go, so let's say, you know, two-thirds of them left and took all the radios, and they're down to basically maybe four radios, and then another 200 people show up, you know, in that in that light, as opposed to uh, peaceful protesters. They were more, you know, Second Amendment supporters from their state, so to speak. And, uh, you know, now, you know, flip. You know, he was freaking out for a minute there, dude. We have to reestablish the comms line. Everything was cool. Now it's a little chaotic, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, we're just telling people to bring more radios, bring laptops, that's what they requested, night vision goggles is on the way, food, water, you know, main supplies, shade, etc. But, you know, a lot of comms, comms seems to be the issue. I, I offered to pay directly uh, for a few people actually already to grab a megaphone for me over at Radio Shack and bring it down there on me. So many receipts, I will pay for that. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, we're trying to keep cool down here. We're not, we're not doing anything. Um, we're just trying to use y'all as a uh, informative platform here. Uh, Has this helped? Yeah. I mean, are we helping? Oh yeah, it, least? yes, it, it definitely is. Um, you know, like I said, we we try to research a lot of uh, the stuff that is on the, on on Facebook and stuff before we even say yes. We do believe that it's you know a uh, confirmed thing and, and mainly the stuff that we've been we've put up on on any of our pages or whatnot or are uh uh as as y'all know like whenever the bml B, blm uh backed out a little bit and you know uh the, mm -hmm. some of the cattle were released and you know different things like that not any of the uh the crazy drones. stuff yeah i see drones or something you know uh, uh, we're and like I said, we y'all are doing a great job. We're we're using y'all as an informative platform, uh, and y'all are helping us uh, kind of keep in the know a lot down here. Let me ask you a quick question. Knowing what you know, uh, American Spring around the, around the corner, do you think this would also be 
kind of a useful tool so people can hear what's going on with the boots on the ground when that all happens. Hell yeah. Oh, excellent. Yeah, it definitely would be. Um, I know uh, we we are uh, strictly a uh, reactionary, defensive, more uh, prepper type uh, group, and uh, we uh, we're. I will say is we're not going to be sending anybody um, because if something does something big does happen, then it will pretty much sweep across the, the whole nation sooner or later. And everybody, we, we appreciate the fact that everybody is going there. A lot of people are going there, and they're uh, standing up for what's right. Uh, but uh, as far as us, we need to stay uh, within the constitutional laws and whatnot. Um, if a, a, a state's militia goes outside of the state, then the state can no longer protect them. You know what I mean? Well, let's let me ask this, bro. I mean, I, I totally understand that. I've stated before. I represent, uh, you know, the, let's just say the recruiting department of the Illinois Sons of Liberty, right. mm -hmm. and uh, you know, hey, love you guys, love you over there next door. But dude, if uh, Indiana or Ohio, nonetheless, showed up in Illinois and started, you know, cranking their guns and pissing off cops, where we've been trying to keep them cool and you know, uh, rattling the communication line, you, you could understand how. Not only exactly. is that, that, bad, but that, that right, exactly, and that's why we try to we're trying to keep a, a open communication with with uh, people, and uh, we're actually trying to uh, reach some of the uh, Texas state militias and the Mississippi state militias and, and whatnot, so that we can open up some uh, some lines of communication with them to at least uh, support each other or whatnot, but uh, I, I totally understand, and like I said, that's why we're staying put, and uh, because of mass confusion that can happen, you know? Yeah. Hey, can I ask a question? Yes. Um, some, someone off the uh, community conference call site, one of our users here, um, dermal uh, deviations here, he, he just he just uh, tossed something my way, asked me to relay this. Um, on benswan.com, uh, exclusive sources inside the BLM in Las Vegas Metro say feds are planning a raid on Bundy home. Um, unfortunately, it's a video, and obviously, because I'm the one doing the live streaming, I can't like yeah. check it out or anything without like fudging the whole thing up. So if someone listening can um, check that out on uh, benswan.com and and you know like report back as to what that's about whether they think it's relevant or what um, that would be cool because um, I have no way of checking that out none of us do because I'm live streaming and we're in the middle of this so at, actually at, uh, that came across uh, earlier today about the ben, the with the Ben Swan deal okay <laughs> and um. If I remember correctly, the, and I will check this again, but if I remember correctly, the uh, video was uh, more or less uh, somebody talking about stuff. It wasn't any kind of raid video or anything. Um, but yeah. there was, uh, He's telling me it's from Sheriff it's Mack himself. He's telling it me it's was, from Sheriff Mack himself. Uh, I have to look at that again, but uh, it was... Uh, um, Somebody talking about having contacts with inside the, the Bureau of Land Management, and uh, they were planning on doing raids or whatnot. And like we couldn't confirm that, like actually have it really confirmed. Yeah. Uh, but uh, that's why we haven't put anything like that up on our on our any of our pitches. You know what? I'm gonna do this right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna what's that? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, blah 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 blah. Hey, I'm going to leave you in the call, everybody who's in right now, comms one, Chicago one, and you as well, 7100. I'm going to bring in one more person. Okay. And I'm going to hang up for a couple of minutes. I'm going to call Sheriff Richard Mack right now. I will be right back. You're able to do that? You got a direct line? Just keep here. Hey, this is Harry one, um, comms one. I'm waiting on somebody who just got back to the um, Just keep here. Just uh, come in on how many people. Uh, I mean, Melissa is still in the area. Um, if anyone else here has that information as well, uh, before I, I get the estimated people. 
Miss Keith here. How's it going? Yeah, go ahead, man. You just got back just from the Bundy back. Ranch. You just got back from the Bundy Ranch. Cool. Uh, give us whatever info uh, you got. Okay. First of all, there's only about ten people left, and that's local ranchers are just having a gab fest around the empty table. Uh, there are about uh, well, I'm not going to give you the full number, but there are quite a few militia still in the area, and they still have their opsec working, and. Uh, while I was there, two oath keepers came, and they had uh, Pastor Chuck Baldwin with him. He was going to do a prayer circle with all the people that are protect the bodies. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't want the peace trucks to uh, follow the pastor into their uh, camp. So uh, that's why I was there. What How many news trucks? How many news trucks? Yeah. Uh, there was five uh, trucks there. It was Fox News, <coughs> Channel 3 out of Las Vegas, uh, Channel 13 out of Las Vegas. There were two unmarked uh, news trucks that had satellite dishes, so I'm not sure who they represent. Uh, but like I said, uh, uh, hey, I'm, go ahead. I'm not talking to you on email right now. Uh, I'm pretty sure we are. I, I'm pretty sure I'm uh, contacting you. You know, are you out of a seat? Hey, yeah, but I was about to say that, Brian, you're garbled. It's it's difficult to understand you, dude. Move away from the mic a little bit. Um, are you out of a seat? Is it better? Somewhat. Back away a little more. We we still got a little bit of oscillation. Uh, not bad. Um, my phone might be a little messed up. Uh, I got uh, stuff stuck inside there trying to clean it up. But um, yeah, it sounds good to me. Uh, not super. You just need people protest to me. Hey, Mesquite, I got a question for you. <laughs> you still there? Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Um, the other day there was there was somebody who called and claimed that um, they had um, some sort of contacts within the you know the, 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 the sheriffs and you know the sheriffs in the surrounding counties and you know some of Gillespie's people that do not like Gillespie and all this and supposedly there's kind of a quiet plan in motion that if you know things were to get down and dirty at the Bundy branch that um, these police officers ha are planning on keeping their oath and coming into assist if it really comes down to absolute fatal dirty. Um, do you know anything about that? Because until anything's confirmed, we can only kind of write it off as to someone's opinion that may or may not be, but I, I can't really say that that is or isn't fact. Uh, do you know anything about that, or is that just someone's opinion? Uh, yes, I do. I talked with uh, two oath keepers out there today, and uh, they told me that because of the threats have been going on that they have gotten together a complete list of people from sheriffs to uh, state representatives who are going to stay with the Bundys at night uh, one to two days at a time and just rotate so that in case anything does happen <clears throat> it will be a big national mess for them. Yeah, so that way if anything goes down, you got people that are really important in the hierarchy getting killed, and so there's there's a big invest investigation, and, and they're not going to want that kind of publicity, so it's going to discourage them from, you know, pulling any kind of shenanigans. Am I understanding you correctly? That's exactly right, because uh, the Oath Keeper said that's the reason they've done this, it's the reason the people volunteered to come up. Uh, from my gather, the Bundys are okay with this, and uh, well, they're like just typical ranchers out here. They they like to sit around the table and, and gab, so they, they love company. Hey, um, Miss Keith, I got a question for you. I know, uh, did you tell me earlier about uh, black Chevy Suburban in and out uh, in the area? Uh, yes, we did. And in fact, on our way back, we drove through the Best Western parking lot. And uh, it's pretty much empty right now. So a lot of people cleaned out sometime this afternoon. Well, um, but did you ever get a look at those plates that they had on them? 
No, that's the reason we drove through the parking lot. We were going to take some photos of the place, but like I said, uh, there are no black shiny vehicles in the parking lots over there now. Also, um, I also heard that there's a uh, there's station out at the Holiday Inn. Um, the Holiday Inn. I, I I called them up and I asked them about that. And they said they're appointing me the cops and they instantly hung up the phone. As well as the same thing happened at the Best Western. So I don't know if they um, Holiday Inn is still occupied or if they ever were. Do um, you know anything about that? Um, no, I don't. Uh, the Holiday Inn is uh, situated where it's really hard to get in there unless you're going to check in. Uh, it's hard to get around and look at the parking lot. or uh, So we just didn't bother to go there at all this afternoon. Hey, Mesquite, i got a question for you. Um, in light of the, um, the the evidence against Reed that um, storm clouds gathering has uh, uh, presented, which I'm sure the, the you know the sheriffs and all that have already hit up the video. I'm sure they're they're paying quite a bit of attention. Um, do you know anything about you know any possible plans or coordinations for uh, taking Reed down now that you know this evidence is um, in place and he can be pinned on criminal charges? It's all just a matter of. As, Star, as Storm Clouds Gathering put it, you know, a law enforcement personnel with a spine, you know, someone willing to, you know, go in and, and do what needs to be done. Do you know anything about that or, because I, I don't know anything about that. Uh, I don't know anything about it. I know that uh, he is not very popular out here, but he's got his contacts and I don't see him doing anything to get rid of him. All right, so I guess we'll have to see what happens. Uh, did you ever do get any of um, those plates a chance to get a photograph of those, of those plates? You do have my email. So um, go ahead and send that over to me if you get the chance, because um, that would be important, like I, like I was telling you earlier. Um, did you know what direction any of those vehicles were headed whenever you seen them? Uh, they're all parked close to the uh, freeway entrances and exits. Uh, we do know that. Uh, and it was, uh, they seem to be having engines running too, so they will. I mean, yeah, they, they, like they look like they had engines running because they were parked close to the entrances and the exits on the. We only have two exits here in the ski, so. And one of them is. I can walk in walking distance of me. Uh, the other one's across town. Oh yeah. Um, if there's any more at the um, at the exit near you, that'd be helpful to know. Also, um, the Nevada State Highway Patrol was pulling over people for out-of-state tags and looking like they were headed to that area. Um, and they said it was a quote security threat, and that was coming out of their scanners, out of their mouths. So um, I don't know if that's related, if they're trying to pull people over with out state tags pulling in. But um, just uh, because you said that anyone who's heading in, be cautionary around those exits and all that, because um, that appears they would be looking to pull over people uh, coming in that area. Would you agree with that? Uh, I do concur with that, because on our way home, uh, we had a local police park so he could watch the people coming off the freeway from Utah. Now, they don't normally park there, so, you know, this is something special for us. But it, it does uh, look like they're going to keep an eye. Uh, we're a small community, only 15,000 people, and uh, this is a casino income-based town, so they don't want to have any disruption here. Hey, Tim Horn, um, are you listening in on the, any of the scanners uh, from the ski? Uh, Right now, I'm listening to Nevada State Highway Patrol. Um, you can go up on broadcastify.com, and there is a Mesquite Police Fire uh, and EMS that is on that line, uh, is on that website, and you can listen to as a live feed. Uh, I'm sure you know all the addresses around there as well. I do have one more thing to ask you: um, Was there a homicide in Mesquite recently? Because there was police uh, talking about a quote homicide house. I know a lot of you probably heard of it, but um, they did say that they need someone to drive by and monitor and see who was standing outside and things of that nature, but they never mentioned a specific address. So 
it seemed like all of them knew exactly where they were talking about. So was there any sort of murder out there recently? Uh, not that I know of. I heard the same rumor, and uh, I generally scan the uh, frequencies for the police and the emergency, and uh, there wasn't anything on that. And we haven't. And if there had been a murder here, it would have been uh, all over the news. Hey, uh, G G G G Gillespie's, Gillespie's integrity seems to have been murdered. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, can't is, uh, I can confirm 100% that, that is not a rumor that they were saying that on the scanner. Um, that's some other information that I got off Morse code that I prefer not to say over here. I can forward that to you, Mesquite, if you'd like me to. Well, I can't confirm it. Uh, like I said, I, I monitor the ham frequencies here and also the uh, civil service frequencies. But I haven't heard anything on either one. Uh, and like I said before, if there had been a murder in this part of Clark County, it would have been all over the news because we just don't have that kind of stuff going down around here. You know what it sounded like when when we uh, when we heard about that was the fact that you know they might be calling some house, you know it, that that type of house due to the fact that something may have happened. Who knows how long ago? So. You know, although that that word was said over the lines, um, I'm just going to assume that's just a nickname they use for a certain house that has nothing to do with this ordeal in general. Hey, Mesquite, I have another uh, question. Um, yeah, yesterday, um, someone called up uh, claiming to be from the ranch, having listened for about 20 minutes or so, and he was extremely. Um, belligerent and um, we were wondering whether or not that was really someone from the ranch or whether that was just some some troll calling in trying to rattle us try to have a little fun with us or if that was someone legitimately from the ranch um, did you hear anything about about a belligerent loud mouth um, from the ranch calling in and acting uh, disrespectful or do you know nothing about that uh. That is really out of character for the Bundys. Clive is really a down-to-earth guy. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't uh, one of the Bundys. People. It was one of the militia, or or so they claimed. You know, just one of the guys, not 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 who lived there, but you know, one of the people who came in for support. I don't see that either, because I I got to talk with a couple of the militia out there today, and uh, you know they're good natured too, just joking. I mean, they might be a little on edge right now because. Yeah. Uh, it's still not a clear area. Yeah, because everybody we talked to from the ranch has been respectful, and this guy wasn't. So I was thinking this is probably just a, a, a troll making a claim that wasn't even true. He also smeared a, bun a bunch of stuff in the comments on Facebook, and this guy was just a douche, and I, I really don't think he was from the ranch. No, I don't think so either, because uh, the Nevada militia, uh, have been respecting the Bundy's request on carrying long guns. Uh, he didn't want anybody to carry long guns that might spark a confrontation between the BLM. And uh, and they respected that order. And, of course, they carried their sidearms because we are an open carry state, uh, but that's only for people from Nevada. Out-of-state people better, uh, you know, just play it cool. Yeah. But, uh, after the after the sorry after the conference call, me and Brian were talking about that guy calling in. I was just like, man, you know, if that guy's from the ranch, then he must be a big mouth nobody likes. And the reason he called in is because they tied him to a chair and sh threw that in the closet, shut the door, and he had nothing else better to do. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> So I don't think he was from the ranch. I think he was just someone trolling, just you know, bored and just running their mouth. Is, is That's what like you'd like to be. I'm sorry, go ahead. Whoever was just talking, Who's I didn't hear that. Whoever just chimed oh, in, I didn't ahead. hear that. Go ahead. No, that was me. It was Brian. I, I just said exactly the same thing. This is exactly what it comes like. He was just um, a troll trying to rile some people up. Yeah, and he failed. Um, this is how I'm going. I got a question. You're garbling real bad, Brian. You're garbling real bad. That's not me. That's comes one. As you know, comes one. Every time I need you to check yourself back away from the phone, bro. 
Brian, did you get a hold of uh, Sheriff Mack, and, and do you got a direct line to him? Because he said you were going to jump off and go call him. I'm like, wow, I didn't know we had a direct line. Do you have a direct line? Yeah, actually, uh, Sheriff uh, Mack has actually been on my other shows uh, at least three times over the course of the last like, five years. Oh, sweet. Uh, I also have his, wife's, I have his wife's phone number as well, who he usually does all the uh, you know, appointment setting schedule work for him, stuff like that, and uh, neither one of them are answering right now. Wherever they are, they might be getting late. I know they do try to go to bed early. I know he's been a busy guy, so uh, yeah, exhaustion yeah. lately under, under the circumstances. His mail, his mailbox seems full, and then hers. I just left a message. So hopefully, they catch up with me again in in the near future. He's probably traveling. I'm guessing. Uh, you know, she tries not to get really involved, so I don't think we get any words from her. But she definitely will let sheriff know that I'm trying to catch up with him again. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Oh. So, Mesquite, anything else you can chime in with since you're out there? You're pretty much right now our, our closest thing we got to boots on the ground until uh, more people chime in later tonight. I know nothing else. Uh, I just, uh, we've had a lot of stuff on Facebook and bad rumors, and we decided that we were going to go out. And we've been out there several times and coming back, sometimes with video, sometimes not. Uh, there's just so much disinformation out there that uh, you wonder what's truth anymore. Uh, would you be willing, sir, since you're the closest thing we've got here in the, like, literally local vicinity, can uh, the gentleman from Comic One possibly read your email so we can open a line of communication with you? Uh, sure, uh, actually, uh, me and him are tied together. Okay, you guys are tied together. Awesome. I'm glad you took care of that. Double checking. Um, yes, definitely. If there's anything to report, please let him know. Please, by all means, we need to keep in touch with guys, the locals. Um, we're trying to see if anybody's willing to set up this to be one, uh, a secondary, you know, type rally point where people could find, you know, shelter and things of that nature in case things get out of hand down there. I can do that, and I'll, I'll report what I see. And uh, as for this evening, you, uh, thank you guys for your support. But, uh, we're going to get off here now. All right, thank you, sir. Um, can I ask something? Uh, Go ahead, you're still in the queue. Yeah, I'm reading a post that says there's like rumors uh, about a halo drop or something. Rumor, 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 rumor. rumor. One guy's talking and. Okay, and uh, one thing I guess from, and from what I'm hearing, most of the people have gone home. A lot of people have, but a lot of people are still heading in there. Um, they're requesting more protesters, they're still allowing people to come. Um, they just want people to show up as peaceful protesters. So yeah, I don't care if you're the hardest core and the hardest core, you know, you need to come in and come in cool um, and as a peaceful protester, keep your stuff in the ground. I mean, you just heard it from you know, guys on the ground. They do definitely want people to be as peaceful as possible. Handguns are cool, but I still even recommend just leave everything broke down in the trunk. Until you get through into the inside area, then you know do what the natives do, so to speak, and get a hold of your uh, get a hold of the chain of command over there because uh, you need to reestablish the chain of command. Um, you know that's all we really do have right now. 
Alright, cool. But uh, feel free to, if you want to just mute yourself out directly right now, I'll keep you in the queue if anything comes up. Anybody else wants to speak up? Anybody's got intel? We've got a couple people waiting here, I believe, in the, get on the call. So I'm going to move to the next caller here in a second. Anybody else that's still in, if you want to chime in? I mean, you know, keep, right. keep me on, but i got nothing to say right now, and I know how to mute myself yeah. out, so it's fine. Yeah, I plan on keeping you in there. If you do drop, call back. I'll be watching for your code. Uh, Brian, I have a question for you Gosh. about um, Go ahead, how long, uh, how long uh, do you plan on keeping these conference calls going? I don't know if they're running 24-7 or what, but um, I've been calling in um, in the I called in afternoon of the day and kind of tried um, keeping it orderly and also tried in the order in the last couple of days during the daytime, uh, but I don't know mm -hmm. how long the plan is going to be free or um, you know, spin up or whatever. What's the situation on the conference call other than that? I, I don't really know where this is going to go, man. Um, as, <coughs> as most people that have been around know, it's just started off as a simple uh, conference call with big events. Yes, it is. And we opened it up to anybody, and then all kinds of patriots chimed in, man. You know, when I'm not here, you're right. I, I can't. I, yeah, I mean, ju uh, just to clarify, because there's been some confusion on this on Facebook too. People were asking me, even though I have it posted like in the header graphic now and everything. Conference calls they start at 8 p.m. and they go anywhere from six to 12 hours, roughly. You know, that's all we got right now. Any other time anyone calls, if nobody's there, no one's there. If people are there and it's chaotic and uncoordinated, then you know we can't help that. All we know for sure is that we do our best to be here at 8, and then from there, it goes how long it goes. It could go 2 hours, it could go 6 hours, it could go 12 hours. We're just kind of all playing it by ear, but the only thing I tell you is it starts at 8 p.m. Central Time. If you call before that, Brian is living his life. <laughs> you know, he can't tele telepathically connect into the line, so, um, you know, just after 8 is um you know when Brian's here. So that's that's a big question. Everyone's asking, where's Brian? Where's this? Where it's like eight PM. I got it posted. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not a celebrity. I'm not a news person. I'm not, you know, some star dude, you know, I'm just some dude that started a conference call. Yeah, no kidding. I mean it's a cool synchronicity that we're both in Chicago, but you know <laughs> But there was um it was today. Uh, I was listening in at about 11, uh, 10.30, 11, uh, but some of y'all probably heard this, but there were two people talking about the Nevada state government, and um, it sounded like Clive Bundy, and he was, they were, he was calling him Clive and Mr. Bundy, so I don't know if uh, he was on this call or not, but um, I'd like to find out if he was, if he actually does have this number, because um, if he did call in, at that time, it would be pretty helpful if he called in at a time where there's a lot of people on here. Like, yeah, Matt, I've been on here for three hours, and there's been great people calling in. Yeah. But, I uh, mean, the people at the ranch that, have this number and know about this, so if they know, I'm sure they've told Clive. There's no reason why they wouldn't. It's my opinion. Yeah, I mean, the whole house has got, the whole house has got the inner access code to jump right in before anybody else can start talking. They know the code. They actually have the secondary code to just listen, but uh, they know to chime in. Head of security knows to chime in. Second in command and a variety of other people that are boots on the ground. Mm -hmm. Everybody in the house has definitely got the number. Um, there's just a lot of shit going on right now, apparently, yeah. obviously. I mean, um, I'd almost so bet money that I'd almost bet money that Clive's listening right now. So if anybody wants to say hi to Clive, say hi, because I'd bet money he's listening. Yeah, because he was on earlier, I'm uh, about 95% sure. Uh, I'm pretty confident that he was. It did sound like him, and he was talking uh, about some pretty important stuff. I uh, like, checked to see how many people were on. Uh, there was only yeah. three people on. So, uh, yeah, he might not know to call minutes. after 8 Centrals. This, yeah, this was at, like, uh, early in the morning for them, so that would be, like, uh, 8 a.m. for uh, Western time. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, we were gone by then. We were off the line. Um, yeah, I was too. I was just kind of periodically uh, on my work. Yeah. So I'd like to put it out there right now that if Clive is listening right now and he feels like, you know, participating, he is welcome, absolutely welcome to, to chime in. 
Um, as a matter of fact, just to be completely fair, seeing as this is an open forum, if uh, the, the BLM or feds or any other related people are listening, and I'm sure they are, and you want to call in and chime on and, and tell your side of the story, um, you're welcome to do that too. We're not unwelcoming anybody. We're not pushing anybody away. It's an open forum. Anybody who wants to step up and say their piece, we'd love to have you. We, we welcome you. and it, It's cool. Everybody's all good with me. I got you know nothing against nobody. Anybody wants to come on? Cool. Awesome. I'm gonna step on here. You for sure know about the NSA, so uh, that's definitely. Oh, yeah. You know the yeah, the NSA, NSA keeps I reading. Call in anonymous. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Tell yeah. Me what you're thinking of. <laughs> you know, you know the the NSA, the NSA keeps reading my Facebook statuses, but they never click like. I'm getting a little irritated. <laughs> All right, I just uh, brought in somebody else. Seventy one hundred. I am engaging you. Go right ahead. Oh. uh... Hey guys, just my call got dropped, and uh, I, this is Chris from Walker again. So, oh, welcome uh, back. I'll just listen in, trying to make sure that uh, I got back on to see if uh, Brian and got <laughs> with me. But uh, I've been listening the whole time now. So, <clears throat> like I said, uh, call anytime, you wanna, anytime you want to, yeah, anytime you want to tell me, man, let us know. All right, I'll let you know. Um, I know. Star six mutes out, right? Actually, uh, I need you mutually. Sorry, I'm sorry, manually from here, and then uh, it'll just do it automatically. If you press star six, that actually puts you into the queue so that we can speak with you. So okay. you really don't have to press anything. I will find the next guy. But if you do press star six, that actually puts you back into the queue, uh, meaning that you want to talk or ask a question. Yeah, that's no problem. Bam. All right, I'm gonna move on. We've got let's see, you're on the you're open. Uh, five six six eight. You're still actually in here. Did you want to say anything while I still got you in here? Oh, I'm disengaged. Um, now here's a weird one. Patriot Bear 2010. <laughs> I'm gonna unmute you. Hey, it's our Second Amendment right to arm and keep bears. I mean, <laughs> hello. Uh, I'm from California. I'm an old keeper. Hey. hey. Welcome. Um, 21 years in the Air Force. Um, I, I got a couple questions. <coughs> like you said, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff on Facebook. Um, is there a lot of uh, government uh, presence there? They brought back more vehicles and stuff. Is that true? Uh, rumors and conjecture as of right now. Nobody on the inside uh, verified that. We did have someone on the inside five that said that we saw. Some black vehicles, but I uh, can't confirm if they were headed there. They were just around, whatever the case is. They just seem like, you know, some guys that are kind of monitoring the area. You know, we're recommending people not exactly go to the hotels or anything like that right now. Yeah. Obviously, if you're in and you've got the, uh, you know, I love the Second Amendment sticker on your window and they're snooping around, they're probably going to tag your plate, you know, just to verify that yeah, you were present in the area. Not much they can do or anything, but. Uh, you know, as far as DHS and all that garbage going on online, just the alphabet soup you know. agencies. <laughs> what about yeah, um, yeah. What about snipers in the hills? Are they back or are they? We don't back? know. Okay. Um. You know, now those the uh, thing first on. Was called, but they did state that there were a couple people that looked like they were basically worse snipers, but I mean, guys in fatigue in the woods with radios with their ARs. Trained up. He's a sniper man. Let's tell everybody there's snipers here watching us, man. You know. Now, what about. Um, not necessarily the case. I'm sorry. What, what, about, what about the article or the video? I'm not sure if it's a video article that Sheriff Mack confirmed that they're going to try to come and get Mr. Bundy and his family. Mm. Brian was just trying to get a hold of Sheriff Mack a little bit ago to get that confirmed, denied, or whatever, but it looks like the sheriff's probably headed to bed early, um, so we were unable to get a hold of the sheriff. We did try. Brian's friends with him, and he did try, but they're not answering their phones, so they're probably asleep. So he, he went back then? He just came for the conference, and then he went back? We don't know. We tried to get a hold of him to find out, and no dice. He wasn't answering his phone. But we know members of CISPA are and were there um, as far as actual service being seen some of them. They were there. It was like Sunday morning at the flagpole. 
if you saw that video when they uh, officially uh, you know put out you know the sheriff said hey we're getting BMO out of here you guys or BLM out of here you guys can relax. Um, yeah. Then they went and got the cows and they chased BLM out of there pretty much and that's literally really what it looks like they did in the footage. There was a uh, you know face to face back down you know there was uh, some guys on our side. Um, yeah. That definitely stood their ground and kind of shoot them off and the sheriff backed them up. So what are they going to do, you know? So they're off. They've gotten some of the cows back. I don't think they, they weren't slaughtering the cows, just some cows did die in transit to the uh, poor handling. Some tortoises were uh, apparently euthanized. And so some go and some goats season. were sacrificed by druids. You know, it happens. Yeah, somebody called, you know, as a druid saying that they were going to sacrifice some goats to uh, please the cow god, which is just weird. But anyways, uh, it was funny. You know, as, as far as you know, DHS, there are little tiny rumors and reports that were trying to quell until we actually got some sort of some ground confirmation that there's someone in the area that didn't report. Again, you know, dark vehicles, dark tinted windows outside of the legalities of uh, you know the typical state law, I guess, there in uh, Nevada, mm -hmm. but. Uh, you know, we can't confirm that they're there to start any trouble. They're just probably just guys that are kind of searching the area, if anything, you know, kind of making sure everything's cool. I'm sure they've been directed in that area, but uh, as of right now, they don't seem to be starting any problems. Yeah. Uh, what we do know is, you know, state and sheriff are still under control there now, <clears throat> and uh, they're, they're not really harassing people. You know, it's just they're, they're, they are running plates for out of state. You know, if you got out of state plates and you're headed there, and uh, you know, you'll have whatever license insurance or whatever the case is, there's a good chance you'll probably get pulled over, but if you come in as a uh, concerned citizen and you just happen to have munitions in the trunk to, you know, defend your family or whatever, that's another thing. Yeah, the don't only want anybody to come in <clears throat> Yeah, the only thing I'd suggest as far as <laughs> all these reports and contents and stuff that you see is just Think critically, use discernment, and make up your own mind. Just treat all the information you receive just as information. Don't disbelieve it. Don't believe it. Just right. see it as cards on the table, so to speak, and use critical thinking and discernment. And you know, just kind of, kind of dig in it and just make up your own mind about it, because that's all anybody could do. I always tell people, if you, you know, if you disbelieve what I'm saying, you're a fool. But if you believe me, you're a fool too, because belief shouldn't have anything to do with it. I'm just relaying data. My data is not an authority over you. You are your own authority unto yourself. So just, you know, come to your own conclusions, make up your own mind, research the data, because it's all just data. That's all it is. Well, yeah, I'm going to say that uh, like 110%. Uh, Shane Harger, he, was, he started uh, Sheriff Next Group. He's going to be calling into the Truth Traveler show, which is on CCN. Genesis Communication Network uh, comes on at 8 o'clock uh, Pacific time to 10 o'clock. He's going to be on from 9 to 10. Uh, Aaron's going to uh, interview him, and he's going to get the, the latest update. So he's boots on the ground there. Uh, he's a he's a police chief that got uh, the fire extra for going to uh, Sheriff Max conference, and uh, he'll, he'll be on the show tonight. Okay. Um, yeah, the the uh, other thing I wanted to add to what I was saying is, in all honesty, disinformation is only disinformation if you see data as an authority over you. If you don't see data as your authority over you, then nothing's disinformation. Everything is just information. It's just data, and it's up to you, the sovereign human being with God-given free will, to sort through that and make of it what you choose, because God gave you the ability of intuition and critical thinking and all that. So things are really only disinformation when we see information is our God and authority over us commanding us. But when we don't see it like that, it's not disinformation. It's just weeds grown in a garden, <laughs> you know. Right. I can only go based on logic and, and so on with the situation. You know, we've got maybe four people that come in. Oh, my God, I heard DHS was headed there. But you know what? Did we just talk to the people inside the house and outside the house. You know, when they're saying, hey, everything's cool, relax, I'm not going to get out of pocket until three, four, or five of those guys call me, oh shit, we're under fire, oh shit, here comes DHS, oh shit, it's, it's game on. Oh my anybody god, but, of that circle, but DHS was there, 
Did they, they sent in their spy goat, but thankfully the druid shot it. Right. Anybody outside <laughs> that circle that's just coming up with panic, coming up with uh, you know any garbage, you know, like that, just I wouldn't believe really any of it right now, unless it's boots on the ground, two, three, four, five people that we've already you know confirmed out of twenty five now that actually says, yeah, that's just what's going on. I'm not believing any of it to be honest with you. Yeah. And you know, even, even when there's got somebody high up top, yeah, even when there's video, we got somebody high up top that says. Hey man, I freaking work for the DHS. Hey dude, they're sending people out there. Get your asses in gear. I'm gonna take that cut a lot more seriously. Yeah. Even though that's even that's conjecture. Some dickhead right now could call me and be like, dude, I work at the DHS. You know, whatever he says, they're coming. You know, I'm not taking that exactly into uh, account until someone their boots on the ground, a couple different people verify the same exact thing. I agree with you, and I want to add to that that the same goes with video. Even if you have authentic, real video, video is still a matter of context. Anything can be taken out of context. So even when you have real, authentic, legitimate, verified video, you don't necessarily have authentic, verified context. And that's called spin. Well, right. Here's an example. Uh, somebody's driving past some train tracks. A couple of MRAPs have happened to be leaving uh, Nevada, right? Uh, well, some guys have to try to record them, but holy shit, a bunch of MRAPs are being shipped to Nevada right now. Well, even if there's a time sensor, even though they weren't headed that way, even though, you know, whatever the case is, we still have to pay attention to all the details and verify whether or not, you know, they're coming there. And until those MRAPs are pulled off of the truck and unloaded and actually Leaking into that direct area, which is all being monitored by a lot of our people right now. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even look twice at it just due to, due to that fact alone that it's self injection and so people are, you know, obviously saying from that area, yes, this is what's happening. Everything else, especially on Facebook, is all people right now. Yeah, until we got druids and Humvees mowing down goats, you know, it's all just conjecture. Exactly. All right, and I've got another caller that's been waiting for me to join it. He's got another question, dude. Um, so the militia are still there, and the Oceavers are still there. They're going to still be there for a while. Uh, everything is pointing in the direction that we are. That's enough for me. Yeah, because I don't think they should leave. Not right now. Well, based on the ranchers, they don't want to leave. They want more peaceful protesters to show up. If you happen to have munitions in the vehicle that are properly stored according to state law, you should be just fine. Yeah, I think it's long from being over. Yeah, I agree. Hey, Brian, there's something I keep forgetting to tell you because there's so much going on. Um, another, a, a bit of another synchronicity. I mean, both of us being ch from Chicago and everything. My middle name is Brian, but spelled with an I instead of a Y. Your middle name d isn't Dave, is it? <laughs> Neither. Okay. I thought that was rather interesting. That's why I keep typoing your name and having to correct myself because my middle name is Brian, but it's with an I. <laughs> Got it. All right, cool. I'm going to move on to the next call. Actually, Brian was the most popular name of the year for three years of running. Thank you for the info. Uh, the uh, year I was born. You bet, man. Keep in touch. And if you got anything, give us a call. We'd love to hear from uh, everybody that's been listening. How many hours did you have invested in this Patriot Bear? All weekend. I have, I have a... a Camry, a person, I can't say his name over this, that is connected with you guys. Awesome. All right. Thanks for uh, chiming in, bro. And, oh, okay. I know who that is. All right. Keep okay. spreading the word, man. Thank you. Thank you. You may now ask your question. What did you mean? Uh, that's great. You got to put back in the seat. I'm going to press the button there, sir. You know. Uh, Muted. You should be in the queue. Um, I have a question actually regarding the cattle. I've been hearing it hasn't yeah. been returned, or are they all returned? Uh, well, if you know, we're trying to crunch some numbers. We can't be exact. Our first aerial shot, and based on some stuff online, was approximately five to seven hundred were the uh, actual numbers that the original had. They got down to like three hundred and fifty that they actually took. There's around one hundred and twenty to fifty left. Out of the uh, ones that were taken, uh, unfortunately, a handful passed away in transit. Um, but a good portion has been returned to them. If you go to the CCC wall, the uh, community conference call wall, 
uh, on Facebook. Um, I actually posted up the video. Then my be down from one of the other administrators. It's also on my wall under Brian through the people do that. Um, you'll actually see where the people kind of stood down or well actually stood up, I'm sorry, to the uh, Bureau of Land Management, the Bureau of Land Management person uh, collect at them. People did not back down, most of them were armed. Uh, we definitely had some uh, upper hand there. They were outnumbered, not necessarily outgunned, but definitely outnumbered. And uh, every last one of them, you know, had a, uh, an eye in, 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 in sight, you know, on them. So they knew they had a huge disadvantage and uh, they decided to split. And I'm sure sheriffs kind of uh, prompted, uh, prompted them to get the heck out of there because uh, there's a lot of pressure coming in from a lot of political places to make sure that the uh, sheriff jumps on board and does his freaking job, you know. Sheriff Richard Mack and the Oath Keepers all feel like you know, their sheriff is kind of personally a wuss wuss, but uh, they put some pressure on him, he stood up and did his duty, you know, to uh, be the lawful authority in that area, which, again, there's some Supreme Court laws that have ruled in Sheriff Mack's favor in the past that said, plain and simple, if the sheriff wants to kick the Fed out of his county, he's got to say so, if he's the elected constitutional official in that area. So if this is happening anywhere else across the country, so, excuse me, I highly recommend you get a hold of your local sheriff and get the feds out of your town. <laughs> Especially if they're trampling on any of your constitutional rights, you know, property, uh, weaponry, as long as it's legal weapons in your state, etc. Um, you know, call in on your sheriff if you got the appropriate sheriff. I know if I was sheriff, and I was in Ohio, uh, a lot yeah. of people got lost a long time ago, but, you know, there's going to be a problem. Out there, so. It's going to be a problem. Um, okay. <laughs> Uh, this is Collins one. Uh, yeah, in my area, sometimes uh, getting a hold of sheriff would not be a good idea. Uh, it depends on your area. Uh, if you know your if you know your local sheriff's department, I know mine is um, extremely corrupted, and they love to abuse their authority. And nine times out of ten, if you end up calling them, um, you're the one who ends up being a victim. Even even if you are a victim of a crime, and you are calling them up, they usually make a victim out of you as well. And, I don't know about other people, but um, make sure that the sheriffs are on your side before you get a hold of them and get them involved, because um, I don't know, I hear they love harassing you. Yeah, of course, you said all has your own discretion. In groups, though, when you've got a fairly large group of civil people that are obviously are educated and being respectful, if you kind of call upon your uh, sheriff as a group and let him know if he's not doing his flipping job, you're going to get him out of there. Usually, they're more than welcome to listen. Uh, it's not all states, it's not all counties, but uh, that's uh, a lot of what I've seen in the past. Um, anything else you wanted to add, Mr. Caller? Uh, yeah. Regarding the BLM, uh, I was reading, I actually was on a call a couple of years ago about hearing something about the BLM being incorporated in 1929. Um, is there any, like, uh, like any documentation on that, like from like either the government or some kind of law cited? Um, we've got a lot of researchers out there that have came forward over the last week that are, you know, doing that stuff uh, as far as looking up questions that come up. If uh, anybody's got any actual history they can hunt down on the uh, BLM Bureau of Land Management, you know, federally, I like that. You know, I definitely have a bunch of questions about them. When were they incorporated? Are they a lot for uh, authority? What true authority do they actually have? Which is probably the answer is none. But uh, I would recommend to you, sir. And I'm not, you know, being rude. I'm just being the sarcastic bastard. I was going to be. But at my work, we have a infamous saying where we say GTS in case we ask a question, and uh, that means you Google that shit. I usually end up feeling goofy when I when I get told to do that because you're right. I probably should have done that before I pop the question. But uh, if anybody else wants to get on there, or, or if you happen, I'll, I'll let you hang online if you want to research that. Yeah, sure. There might be somebody online that's got uh, you know more capability or access to some sort of government site. So I'd recommend since I just put the call up, most likely in the next uh, 10 15 minutes, somebody will probably chime in on this call that's got some answers for you. So if you want to stay on the line and uh, Hear what they have to yeah. say. I'm sure somebody will pop up. I've got uh, six people in the queue right now. Sounds good. All right, I just want to know, as of right now, it sounds like uh, they don't have any authority, and what they're doing is 
completely illegal, and in that case, yeah, we should be able to get rid of them fairly easily, well, hopefully. You know, it came up uh, on the call in the past that, you know, we'd like to probably move forward on getting you know, groups like this abolished because it's not only happening in Nevada, but it's uh, also happening in other states. Um, BLM is moving forward in Nebraska, um, before it was in Utah. New Mexico, I heard. There's a lot of ranch up 300. So, why not? Boy, so this is the only place you want to reach it in your journey. So, there's something else that we need to watch out for. Actually, as a matter of fact, anybody else here that you know or anybody listening that knows that somebody's having serious issues with the BLM still, um, after what has been done here, we, you know, we know they're not going to go away. These are, uh, well, Barry's, uh, you know, henchmen, so to speak. You know, coming from off top mode, this isn't, uh, you, know, you wouldn't think you were sitting at a state on issue and creating, uh, a quote unquote bureaucratic, you know, national corporation with most likely, you know, contracting help. Um, you know, and also the quality of the people. Oh, you know, you guys are, uh, you know, backwater, man. No, 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 that's not what anybody said. What it seemed like was they were foreign. They thought they were not blue hats, but it did seem like maybe, you know, these guys kind of ran out of staff and put a word out and just kind of brought it to people. Um, you know, it just didn't seem like they were, uh, you know, Americans. Some were definitely of, uh, other cultures and what you, uh, actually a couple people trying to even say that, uh, other new tags that, you know, like Johnson and Jones and whatnot. So, we need us to believe that obviously the most likely were American. You know, somebody had mentioned they were kind of a, maybe a Middle Eastern looking descent. You know, they said Russian descent for a couple guys. So it doesn't seem like everybody that was there on the BLM end was even actually American, which, you know, leads a, a whole another Pandora box of questions, you know. That would make them uh, illegal combatants, which you can shoot them, as far as I know. Yeah, as far as I know. Internet, which is just like, <laughs> Come up as well. I asked her the question if it's true or not. Exactly what is true or not. I mean, we were just if it's so it's easier to answer. Under the UN, it's uh, if you're a soldier with no insignia or something, or is that not the same thing? Anybody else want to sign in with that? I wish I knew exactly. Um, you know, enemy combatants, and that's probably what these guys were, but I mean, we don't 100% know that much about the BLM in the first place. I'm going to go ahead and say that those guys were probably born. Um, none of them spoke back, none of them said what their first name was. Again, many of them had the team name tags. So if you got, you know, a Russian guy, an Indian guy, an African guy, and a couple of others, you know, in a row, and all the team tags, it's possible. So well, that leads to some questions, man, and uh, as of right now, we're trying to get more answers. Got the and question. Seven people. No problem. Yep, no problem. Be good, man. Appreciate your time in the bill. Hopefully, we can get down to the bottom of that. Anybody else doing some research about BLM or who those people exactly were? Again, we're not seeing their black water. We're not seeing their blue helmets. You know, certainly somebody, I just said blue helmets twice, so now I'm sure there's about 400 posts going up. Oh, the blue helmets are in there right now. They're coming to get, you know, stop it, people. Stop it. I'm so sick of the Facebook mentality. That's why we got this started, so. We'll move on to whoever was next in the queue. Three one seven one. You still in there? And moving into five six six eight. You're still in there. Anything? And moving on to the next one. Zero six one zero. You're up. Hey Brian, what's going on? It's Mark here in uh, Cook County. I got uh, with all this, on, this uh, with all this uh, disinformation out here. I I come to you with the fact, or some truth. It's snowing in Chicago, man. You got some man. truth? You got some yeah. truth for me? It's snowing in Chicago. What's up, Oh, man? and this, man, <laughs> I, I put up a post either. I was so pissed, man. I was so pissed when I started coming out. I went outside to have a quick smoke, and I realized that there's right. you know, snow falling from the ground. I started punching a brick wall. I'm like, why? Why? It was 70-some-odd degrees. Not 48 hours ago, man, I had a t-shirt on, I had, you know, holes in my jeans, you know, I purposely put them on because it was decent out there, and now back into the jacket, back into the hoodies, back into the long johns, back into the boots. Ah. Ah. Yeah, no, I, I was just driving yeah. through uh, 8094 in northwest Indiana, it was coming down, Jack. 
Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it, there wasn't even uh, any covering on my way home earlier, and uh, you know, just, just everybody is driving like a jag bag once again. Luckily, my drive's not that long, but you know, I was done with waiting in traffic. I was done with work spots slipping and sliding. I was done with people driving like morons. But it's uh, all back right. all over again. <laughs> I figured I'd call in and uh, kind of lighten it up a little bit here. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate you rubbing it in, you know, cramming <laughs> some salt into my wounds, you know, give me a little nosy hey, while you're at it. <laughs> I'm in it too, brother. <laughs> I hear you. I'm hey, since you too, are in Cook, I definitely stay in touch, man. Um, you know, I'd like to keep comms open with the guys, you know, especially that are chiming in from Illinois. Um, yeah. You know, when the poop, when the poop goes down, we need scouts out. You know, so uh, you're definitely, especially because you're in Cook County, you're closer to to our ground zero. So definitely, uh, you know, keep your eyes yeah, and ears out, man. We plan on having this call going for a while, and uh, we're going to be bringing this all the way into and beyond, hopefully, American Spring if we can. Yep, I've been around. I've been listening, just in the shadows, waiting, man. I hear you, Drew. We'll, we'll hang tight, you know, and. Uh, you know, make sure everything is getting done as far as the family and friends and all that, too. Don't forget them, because uh, we need to solidify yeah. a lot of relationships here in the near future as, uh, as, as things get a little a little hairier to speak. Um, I'm going to jump to the last call. But awesome. Thanks for, thanks for chiming in, Illinois, man. Uh, again, stay close. Yeah, we'll do. Thanks, brother. And you are unmuted. Awesome. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Can you hear, hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Hey, so I, I had a, a comment and a, a couple of questions for you just really quick. Mom was making burritos and they smell so good and I'm so hungry, but I want you to know I was patient and just stayed on the phone. She said, what are you doing? I said, I'm, I'm taking care of business, honey. Hey, uh... First of all, enemy combatants, you can't just shoot them in the field. You don't have any right to do that. But what you do have a right to do is black bag their ass and take them to some foreign country and torture them. You got that right. Um, hey, I wanted to let you guys know that we're broadcasting uh, you guys 24-7 on our AMD network. And I wanted to get Dave at some point to talk to our guy, Ruckus. He'll be getting a hold of you, and we're helping as much as we can. I heard somebody call in and say, hey, they're broadcasting the, the, you guys on a radio show. Well, that's us. Yeah, uh, we just, a, couple of awesome people, a couple of awesome people like you, Bill, just chimed in. If you'd like to ask a question, see your request has been received. Colin wanted to get the word out, and uh, it's awesome. Uh, we totally appreciate it. Actually, I'm going to jot down your site. Uh, I know Dave... Uh, yeah, I was wanting to, I'm Dave, I'm going to have our guy, his name is Ruckus, he's our meeting. Unmuted. I'm going to get a hold of you, but just to let you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here, I'm unmuted now. I was on mute, but I'm not anymore. <laughs> well, just letting right, you know that we're thank you. We want to help any way we can. We have an alternate media broadcast. We're on Spreaker.com, S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R, -E -E Spreaker, like speaker with an R. And it's the right. Alternate Media Broadcast Network. And we're doing you guys live coverage 24-7. We, we we're playing everything we can. Yeah, we're not here 24-7, uh, but we appreciate that. <laughs> no, as soon as you guys come on, we start broadcasting you live. And then we package those into post-production shows. So you're well, on, baby. Because we start, we started, uh, you know, at eight, 8 p.m. Central. So that's, you know, just been the standard. Yeah, I want to add, sir, if you want, uh, uh, on doing the rebroadcasting, do you mean rebroadcasting like every uh, portion, like literally 24 hours, or only after I start moderating? Because uh, it gets pretty itchy when I'm not around. I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, we're showing you in a good light. Just letting you know that. Several hundred people are, are just listening as well as participating on the phone call. And we're getting an energetic response. We're getting subs that are coming to listen to what you guys are talking about. So on the one hand, yes, bear in mind people are listening. But two, it's an overwhelming response. People are interested 
They want to know what's going on. We want to support the militia. I think we came one one goat piss away from having a shootout last time. I'm very concerned. Although, what is it going to take? What is it going to take? I mean, why aren't we? So, why isn't the militia heading out to that building where they control the drones? I mean, I don't know. What's it going to take? That's my feeling about it. So, I do my best. I've been doing a YouTube and a radio show for about, what, about four years for free. <laughs> hey, I got a question for you, man. Um, I'm, li yeah. I'm live streaming on YouTube, but um, my shit here is hodgepodge, and um, it's not the best sound quality. Um, do you have a better hookup for... Um, absolutely, absolutely. And we're also... I was kind, of, kind of wanted to talk to both Dave... And Brian, just I, I heard you say on the air, well, that's good. So I'm going to take that as permission to broadcast your show. I, I think more people should hear it, and more decent people. And it also, I think it helps. Cause I'll just tell you, I consider myself a militia propaganda minister. That's kind of what I do. I'm not going to be running around in the field, but I'll be broadcasting to the last breath. So I'm trying to. I'd like to promote what you guys are doing. I think it's important. And I was just calling you today just to let you know that kind of if it's okay, I'm doing that and it can be found at the AMB network. I'm Rocket, by the way, from the Rocket Radio Show. That's my call handle. Add, add me on uh, on Facebook, man. Uh, you know how to find what me. I'm there, gonna, right? What I'll do, Dave, is I know you're a pro. You're only going to want to work with a pro. We got a guy that's a pro. He's the one that's going to call you because you guys are going to be like peas in a pod. You like each other. Okay. Um, and we're just letting, I just wanted to let you know, we're, 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 we're playing your show. I know it's not a show, but we're making it into a show, <laughs> and that more people should hear it, I think. Uh, I, I think a lot of us agree. Uh, there are some offers on the table, and we're trying to get into uh, turning it into something like that. I'd like to keep the same format, though. I would just like to add that uh, if anybody is requesting this that's actually making any loot, I know it's not about the loot, but I'm doing it for free, so hopefully you are too. Um, I'm just Absolutely. People. What I would like to eventually do is, because I can't be here all the time, I, exactly I can't be here, you know, like 8 a.m. So, uh, you know, around, typically around 8 p.m., uh, you know, uh, uh, most of the days of the week, uh, I'm trying to actually try to get that, you know, somewhat syndicated to a degree. Just so I can also, you know, get other administrators with the, uh, you know, same kind of abilities, capabilities, a level head, et cetera, that I can talk to that might be willing to, uh, you know, take this over while I'm gone. And then I can listen and chime in from time to time and then, you know, take the reins back, uh, you know, back, back under normal schedules. It's, uh, it's turned into something completely different than I thought it was. Uh, it's blossomed. It's a beautiful thing. Um, you know, right now I can call her here, but. I know another uh, few other places are already broadcasting. I've seen numbers as high as 55,000. Um, not worth out as many as like you know, like 70,000. You know, you might have a few thousand, and there's three yeah. others. You know what, sir? You said you said you've been using uh, YouTube. You've been doing YouTube for a while. Yeah. Um, I've been doing it quite a while too, and and um, luckily, uh, Brian's local to me. We're gonna be, you know, hooking up, hanging out, whatever, <clears> within the next couple of weeks. But um, I'm gonna show him how to hook into and use the uh, YouTube Partners program, so he can get compensated for what he's doing, but without <laughs> selling his soul to the devil. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, absolutely. No, I, I'm retired. I'm an old man living up in the woods. I'm a, I'm a veteran. I'm a grandfather. My dad this was in the. My dad was in um, infantry. That's all, well, that's all, that's all I do is, is my radio show, and I'm a right-wing conservative tinfoil hat conspiracy theorist. <laughs> so, and I do a lot of doom porn. <laughs> I already made a, a special about what's been going on at the Bundy Ranch. And, you know, I want to try to help people understand the peril. This is some real shit. And I also try to help people understand that what we're experiencing in the United States is not a natural progression no of the American Republic. This is sabotage. This is robbery. This is murder. These are people trying. These are outside forces coming to my farm, sending me my letters, flying over my head, making demands. You know what? It's not, I'm not. I'm not causing problems. 
I'm just reacting. And as an American, I got a little bitty granddaughter that I just love. That's what this is all about. Now, I'm just telling you, I want her to be able to play in the park and ride her bicycle and have a normal goddamn life. Yeah. And there are some evil bastards out there that are joined at the hip of Satan. They are destroying our country on purpose. So that's my thing. People don't may not like my show. I don't know. I'm hardcore conservative, and I'm yeah. pro militia. Well, you know. So well, you know what? You know what? For me. There, there's no conspiracy theory about it. It's really simple. A anybody's just got to listen to George Carlin and, or Bill Hicks, and there it is, right out front. Well, I lost my ass in 2008. That was a wake-up call for me. And then we're just we're losing our country. It's slipping away. And I have always thought that I've done like lots of uh, malicious stuff on my show where I try to teach skills and I, I'm an outdoorsman and kind of a survivalist. I'm a prepper. Yeah. I live on a farm. I got chickens. I can shoot a BB gun with one hand and hit a tin can. Huh, huh, huh honey, buddy? <laughs> I'm a good shot. But I'm not sure where this country's going and I'm not sure how I can help it other than by my talents at broadcasting. So just to let yeah. you know, you got my full support. I got a, I, I got it all. It's all paid for. There ain't no money involved, but we don't have no commercials. We're privately funded. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, me, for me, it's all about respecting respecting diversity. Um, I like to say that freedom isn't so much about your right to say what you want. It's about the rights of people you don't like to say what you don't want to hear and you don't approve of. Because if they don't got that right, then where's the freedom? We're just like the globalists then, thought police. So you're not allowed to say that. Ship him off to Guantanamo. Then we're no better than them, you know? Well, and also, Brian, just so you know, I got a plate of food for dinner sitting here because this phone call is important to me and I wanted to just reach out to you and let you know that you have other people supporting you, and I am archiving the shows. I'm broadcasting the shows on every time slot that I can fit them in. So when I say 24-7, what I mean is I'm broadcasting everything I can for you, and I'm archiving it. And I'll also help handle any kind of uh, overload. Like, they can always come to our show and get a hold of you or find you or whatever or hear you. They don't have to call in on their phone. They can call and listen we got a regular radio. You can just listen to your computer. You can listen to your car. Yeah, the biggest, he the, the, the biggest help to me right now would be a YouTube stream that isn't hodgepodge because um, mine is kind of a Jimmy rig and there's a it's not the best quality I'd like something that's more of a direct connect for, direct from the feed into Google Hangout and streaming out like that instead of this you know coming out my speakers floating through the air my home office back in the microphone and my let's webcam you, and out to the, let's do this let's do this so I can jump to the next caller if you don't mind if you two can connect uh, Hey, sir, if you don't mind, can you put up maybe uh, an email so uh, Chicago one can get a hold of you? I don't do email that much. Facebook is the best thing for me. Are you on Facebook, sir? Uh, I don't do it particularly myself, but my we have a media guy. His name is Rocket, and he'll be getting a hold of you. Uh, yeah, have him get a hold. Okay. Of, have him hey. get a hold of me on Facebook. Uh, hey, thanks, uh, Brian. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Guys. you. Awesome to hear from you. Awesome. Thanks for chiming in, brother. Hey, thanks for hanging on. Seven seven three seven. Tom's one. Go ahead before you kick in. Um, I was just gonna say there is more. There's more and more still being on the same channel. I'm gonna go ahead and record that. Uh, and if anyone tells them they can do that, I did lose my Morse code guy. So um, yeah, anyone who can uh, become Morse code audio and uh, be appreciated. Uh, I just ended up you know. All right, we'll make that happen. Anybody else that uh, knows how to interpret Morse code, you can switch over a live feed or a recorded feed if you can translate that back to one. I will get that back to you through another route. Um, seven, 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 seven. Sorry about what? Brian, it's Timber Barlow calling back. I dropped my call to oh. Scott White when he was driving on that halo. I did get the uh, information to the ranch and my girl that's the boots on the ground coming outside and has been listening and listening and hasn't heard any activity up there. Okay. Are you there? Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, okay. So uh, on that halo, 
actually do have the information at the ranch, and there is nothing that anybody hears up there now. I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate it. Like, uh, the question is, uh, if you uh, I mean, as far as, uh, as far as the first the first of the 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 of right. of the on our side, so to speak. That is right. you know, after, uh, if you need a daytime admin, I can do it in the daytime in the afternoon. I've been a first responder yeah. on the two hurricanes. Uh, okay. If you need anybody to admin in the afternoon, I can do that. Uh, that's a possibility that might come up. Actually, it comes with the pretty immediate admin. You might give me an email address for uh, email the email address. Yeah, it's uh, Barlow, B A R L O W, quarter horse, yahoo.com. And my Facebook. My address is Deborah Barlow Court of Horses. I appreciate that. Yeah, uh, you know, who knows? Uh, at this point, it's a very good way. I am, but uh, I'm looking for more capabilities. But, uh, mm -hmm. oh, but, uh, there's a couple offers out there, and uh, we, we just want to make sure that it's all handled properly. Uh, right. I'm, I'm a nationally certified. I'm a nationally certified animal cruelty investigator. I've done investigations for two years. Got a level ghetto. Put nothing out there unless it's going to be fast. Well, I appreciate that. It's a definite plus, you know what I mean? I'm sure you talked right. a lot to head about how these cows are treated, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure too. Y'all don't want me to go there. I'm not going to hold people up in the queue. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, keep doing yeah. what you're doing, man. Like, you did, you, I know you came in here a few times for building a relationship here with our fans, which is really awesome. Um, yeah. I mean, I mean, I've got uh, 5,000 on my Facebook list, plus I've, had, I've got a couple pages, two pages also, so I've been able to get the word out there. <laughs> <laughs> So if you, if you need an if you need an admin, just uh, <coughs> Facebook address and, and uh, keep my last four digits. Because if I have anything, then you can you see my number. You can just key me in. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm meeting out. You can see you in the next one. You got you. All right. Two eight nine eight. Sorry for the late. Hi, how you doing? Well, it could be better, it could be worse, just kind of enjoying that. You know, all these dates you need for something new. Hey, my name is Manny, and I've been following this story since uh, Sunday last, um, last week. You know, I, I can't help but wonder, you know, these gentlemen in the BLM, a lot of people are saying they are uh, United Nations or, or, you know, foreign guys and I heard one of the callers say that these guys you know weren't even talking you know now I've seen a video on Infowars where one of the BLM guys is actually confronting you know the, the Patriots you know at the, at the gate before the cattle was released and he was speaking English with them and I'm thinking you know I'm with you guys 100% you know I was planning on leaving uh, tomorrow morning with a friend of mine out of Burlington North Carolina I'm in Virginia we're going to be at Elkhart, Indiana, down to Las Vegas to drop off a trailer. And I was going to go down there, you know, if anything happened. Now, brothers, you know, we got to be realistic in this situation. You know, I'm a veteran of the Marine Corps. Okay, I served eight years. And one website that we <coughs> veterans recently discharged to go to is one of the first websites we go to and search for jobs is usajobs.gov. I can't help but wonder, and I have no doubt in my mind, that some of these men, armed men in the BLM, are veterans, you know, recent veterans of Iraq and Afghanistan, you know. I can't help but think that these men, you know, went to usajobs.gov and searched for a job, and there came a, a post, you know, a, a listing, a job listing for 
Bureau of Land Management. You know, I have friends in the Forest Service, you know, fighting wildfires in the summertime. You know, they're part of the, the Department of the Interior. I have park rangers that are friends of mine who are tour guides at, at battlefields, Civil War battlefields here in Virginia. And they're former veterans. And my thing is, um, some of these men are veterans. Now, I, I can tell you one thing. While some of these men are veterans, and I know it's easy to say while I'm here, you know, laying in my in, on my recliner, you know, if I had been one of those federal agents in uniform, and after assessing the situation at the ranch, I would take every damn patch, every bag, anything designated me as DLM, Ranger, off, okay? You know, we sign right there and then. You know, we have a, we have this mentality that just because we're Americans, you know, we can't shoot to kill. We don't want it to escalate to that point, but we will defend. Am I correct, gentlemen? Okay. Absolutely. I can guarantee you that if the uh, BLM were to start shooting in that crowd, they'd all be dead right now. No, no, listen, I'm already dead. This thing is going to escalate. All right. This might have been the first showdown. Okay. I, I see it as a, as the raid on Harpers Ferry. Okay. When the Marines went and took and captured John Brown, this is the first step right here. The battles haven't even started. Okay. The war in, it hasn't even started. My God. Okay. This is all biblical. Wars and rumors of wars. This is one war that's going to come to America. Okay. And I'm thinking, you know, do your job. There's no excuse for being a part of the heavy hand of pirates. Okay, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna echo something that's been, you know, that, that's been echoed so much throughout this past week. I was just following orders was not a good defense for the Nazi war criminals of the Okay, right. That's that's just how it is. Okay, this war hasn't even begun. It's coming. A lot of people are asleep at the wheel. Too much apathy across this nation. You know, I bet you three quarters of the population don't even know what the hell is the Bundy Ranch. I can guarantee you. Okay? This thing is going to affect all of us. I'm not talking just about the Bundy Ranch. This is the first showdown between the federal government and us, you know, patriots, us militia members. Okay? This is going to go on and on. And it is, we can't, you know, it's sad because we're going to be ending up fighting. Americans, okay. Here's a a, a little. Uh, I'm gonna try to what's the word? Compare it to something. You know, 13 years prior to the firing on Fort Sumter, all right, Americans were fighting together in in Mexico, all right, kicking ass, okay. And then 13 years later, they were butchering each other on battlefields. History repeats itself. We're just doomed for it. Okay, we're seated all over again. So I just want to tell my fellow patriots that are listening in, just think about that. When we're in battle, you're going to be shooting Americans. Okay, I don't know about the United Nations coming in. Okay, the blue helmets. Okay, yeah, it's hearsay. I haven't seen an, a single bit of evidence to confirm that. I can tell you one thing. I wasn't there at Bundy Ranch. I was trying to get out there. But I see those men, and they were Americans. And if they step off that line to the BLM, they knew the situation was was either right or wrong. And they stood there on the side of BLM. All they wanted was a paycheck and following orders, and they were wrong. Because if I'd have been a BLM agent, I would have taken off my badge and crossed over the line to you guys. That's how I see it. Well, I mean, again, there was three or four people that did say that some of the uh, some of the people that worked for the BLM definitely looked at the foreign. Uh, what nobody's, you know, we're, we're trying to dissuade, you know, people saying, well, just because they're foreign, you know, oh my God, they're all blue helmets. I don't see much. You know, shut up. You know, There's just so much foreign. disinformation for crying out loud. I'm right. gonna hear, you know, with what we were doing. Okay, I'm going to tell you the situation back home. And this is probably the same situation that too many patriots across, across the country were having. Okay, we're on social media. Okay, yes, Facebook. And everybody's trying to get off and be on Facebook. We're tired of Facebook, frankly. 
You know, we want to do the, the face-to-face thing. Just everybody lives hectic lives. Anyhow, I'm over here, you know, on, on messages with five other guys just getting updates and updates and updates. And everybody's looking for new information, new information. Because if something came out that was, you know, hey, shit hit the fan then, we were all ready to mount up and head out. Okay? And some of us were taking a position of, and some of, and some people were taking a position of, well, you know, I'm in Virginia. My duty is Virginia. I'm next to the Dragon's Castle right here. Okay? So what's priority if she has to stand over there in Nevada? You know what I mean? And I'm over here talking to Sinish, and I don't care what the government calls it. Okay? I'm a freedom fighter. I could care less what they think. I'm ready. I'm tired. We're all tired. I'm ready for a fight. Okay? But it's ingrained within us. The Patriot boom is ingrained within us that we will not fire the first shot. And a lot of people are starting to disagree with this. Okay? Because every day they give us a damn reason to start a revolution. Every single day is something new. You know? If it wasn't, if it wasn't the budget rent, it was going to be something else down the road. Okay? It's just getting... It's getting, it's, a, it's a crisis we're living in right now. It's a crisis. And I don't see any way of it stopping. No, you're right. There are pushing a lot of buttons, man. Every, pretty much every bill of rights, you know, every right has been being trampled on as we speak. We're seeing, uh, you know, uh, freedom of speech zones, Second Amendment being, you know, corrupted left and right, you know, churches and seizures. Everything falls short of uh, just quartering soldiers in your own house. They pretty much trampled everything else. But, uh, I'm going to have to agree with you, man. For the most part, uh, you know, we're just kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop. Um, you know, it's, it's unfortunate that we, we come to this. I feel that there is uh, a nonviolent solution that we can all kind of make this turn all the way around. Um, we're looking for, you know, something like a constitutional convention where a quorum of the states get together and, uh, you know, abolish, uh, you know, tyranny altogether, put up higher, higher more transparent uh, punishment. Uh, I think, you know, as far as the Second Amendment goes, you know, they, they need to kind of add to that. They need no way, shape, or form anybody should ever impede on anybody's uh, rights to bear any arms, you know, within reason, uh, you know, except for, you know, kid touchers, murderers, and burglars, pretty much. Look, hey, hey Brian, I just want to say yeah. this. Look, I, I did three tours to Iraq. All right, I was the first Latin yeah. reconnaissance down all right, with the Marine Corps. I have war, war, okay? I had one good friend that was killed over there, okay? I don't want nobody to die, nobody. Not those guys over there, not our guys over here, especially not in this country, okay? But we can't back down either. And, and you know, I'm a support. How about a, how about a whole bunch of active duties and veterans just go put out some citizens' arrest on some tyrants? How about that? Oh, yeah, I'm all for it. You know, here's one thing, here's one misconception, you know, that these liberals have, okay? These people actually, you know, I can't call them liberals, but these people, these tyrants, they think that, you know, the entire military, okay, is going to be used to close down a rebellion? Uh, how can I don't it be know, that? they're going to help. How, how can it be, how can it be that all these veterans, a lot of veterans, are in support, you know, of the Patriot movement, are conservatives, all right, but the active duty is not. I was in active duty two and a half years ago for part of that. You know, and half my friends that are still in are in the same mentality. I still keep in touch with them. Okay. No, I, I realize that you, bro. You're right. Jump. I have a lot of friends that will jump at a moment's notice. Hey, am I muted or unmuted? You're still on. Uh, oh, okay, cool. Um, you know what? You, you also got to be aware of the whole divide and conquer game that they pull on us, the left-right paradigm. <clears throat> I like to say it doesn't matter if you're a libservative or a canibral or a um, Democrat or a Republicrat, okay? It's, it's, you know, two wings, one bird. <laughs> and, you know, people got to gotta stop falling for that. You, you ever listen to Bill Hicks? It's like Bill, Bill Hicks says, oh, I'd like the puppet on the right. He shares my beliefs. No, I like the puppet on the left. 
Wait a minute, there's one guy holding up both puppets. Shut up. Go back to bed, America. <laughs> Your government is in control. You know, so I mean, that's the way it is. And, and people are brainwashed to be such Nazis without even realizing it. They're all advocating individuality, but they're disrespecting individuality and trying to put people in boxes and stuff. Like, there's a lot of things that the right says that I agree with and a lot that I don't. And a lot that the left says that I agree with and a lot that I don't. And a lot of my other other opinions that are completely in another galaxy away from both of those, right? And it's like, because left and right is so compartmentalized in their box, that if I say something the left doesn't write, well, the, like, well, the left accuses me of being right. Well, simultaneously, the right is a, accusing me of being left, and it's a crazy dichotomy. It, you know, I was telling this lady the, uh, last night, I think, you know, it's kind of like um, a, a question of like if someone says, okay, um, pick which co color you like, uh, you know, red or green. And I say, well, okay, well, um, I like blue. No, 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 you're not allowed. Red or green. Red or green is the only reality. It's like, okay, um, why can't I pick blue? Because you can't. All right, you're claiming authority over me. Please offer evidence of claim. You know, <laughs> it's like, but people don't even realize they're doing it. I mean, the society's run by Nazis. We're raised in the Nazi school from little kids. Don't you think we've inherited their mind? I agree. Some have, you know, some are getting used to that socialism real quick, and it's unfortunate. I'm going to try to jump in the next call. If I only had to say anything else there to the group on it, it's been awesome talking to you, brother. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm going to mute back out for a while. That's all I had to say. <laughs> Stay tuned and uh, keep, keep us posted. And, uh, you know, I like your style. It's always good to hear from veterans that are still in touch with actors and can kind of give us another perspective of, uh, you know, I know a lot of actors too, man, and a lot of vets as well. We all know, you know, you took the most out holding the fans and a lot of guys and definitely do what you did. I personally, you know, have some other conjecture regarding, you know, recent, uh, you know, suicide. I don't think they're all suicides. I think it's guys that stood down and said, no way. And then, unfortunately, you're going to go and tell them You may now ask your question. All right, thanks for calling. Your uh, caller 1018, how can I help you? Oh, sorry. You still want to keep my bad dude out of Chicago one. All right, a uh, anonymous call. Muted. Yes. yes. Hey, uh, hey, Brian. So, uh, Archangel again, how are you? If you'd like to ask a question, uh, your request has been received. All right, uh, I'm just looking over a couple of things. Um, do you know any truth to this uh, thing about Harry Reid saying it not being over and um, show Unmuted. that the feds are planning a raid? Do you know anything about that being true, false, or indifferent? I can only give you my perception based on my perception, so I no, don't know anything about an eminent attack coming back. What, what I can probably possibly surmise based on my interpretation of what's going on, is don't anybody blow up or take it as fact, is most likely that uh, footage might have been a little old before the first time they actually came there. So if they're playing that back now, it makes it sound like, oh, the, you know, the BLM is coming. And this was actually prior to when it came the first time. That's my conjecture. That's my guess. Um, I'm not going to say they're not coming because we just don't know. You know what I mean? But what is there? Well, it, you know, I was thinking. thinking of, know, I was so. thinking of. I'm sorry. I was thinking about this, and the fact of the matter is, that no matter which way this goes, this is going to be a screw story for for the Bundys because. It's either number one, they're going to come and they're going to raid the ranch and they're going to try to take the family out. Uh, well, not when I say take out, take them out of there. Or even if they decide to say, okay, listen, we're not going to attack you. Let's do this in court. What do you think is going to happen the minute that they walk off of that ranch? These people are going to be putting cops and that's going to be the end of it. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know, you know, where the happy ending can come in in this. I'm just starting to think a little outside the box here. No, so too. We don't know what the thing is. I don't know what the thing is. I don't know what the thing is. I don't know what the thing is. From my eyes, I've spoken with Richard Max directly a few times. I actually did security for his group when uh, they were here during the tea parties in Chicago. And I've got people that can verify that. But um, that's when I first met him and then uh, had him on the show a couple times over the years. But, you know, based on that, what is, what, is, what does Richard Mack know that he's in touch with the BLM? That's not even his state anymore. He's not a sheriff anymore. Love the guy, but, you know, based on this footage, what we're hearing, you know, uh, 
what, what, how does Sheriff Mac know that the BLM can they back their us and, and pop these ranchers or pick them up or whatever the case is? As far as we know, based on the sheriff, sheriff's in control, stadies are around the area, there might be a couple of feds still lingering, National Guard apparently is left, and uh, BLM is apparently left. You know, we're hearing rumors of DHS, you know, somebody sees a bus that's white, that might have been the church bus, half these people, okay, I'm not going to say it, but half these people are kind of just waiting for more, something to stir the pot, more data, we want to know, we want to know, so they're putting out what they can, and that's getting turned into something else, so again, we don't know, all we know is we're waiting to hear from, you know, more people that are boots on the ground, um, I did talk, we, we did, we all of us heard from the, the bodyguards, the security team, um, we actually heard, uh, Bailey, which is the uh, rancher's daughter, in the background, and her crying baby that was uh, her crying child. I'm sorry, that was a little sick recently. Um, you know, everybody seems fine, and, and uh, they are asking for more peaceful protesters to show up. Definitely come bring supplies. Just make sure, even if you're a Second Amendment group, you take off your, your militia hat and you come in as a peaceful protester. If you just happen to be in a militia in another state, that's one thing. If you're coming as a peaceful protester. If you're coming in and you're you know, got your full battle rattle on and your uh, AR-15s all sighted up and ready and full and cocked and loaded. And you say, hey, I'm with the Arkansas militia, man. We're going to come in there. We're going to get us some feds. You know, shit, don't do that. You know, that's not what they want. That's what, not what we need as far as I know. Traveling across state lines as a militia is illegal. So guys need to put their heads back together and, uh, you know, come in as peaceful protesters. Yeah, bring supplies, bring enough to hold your own. And if you plan on staying a while, bring more than enough to carry whoever's there. You know enough to uh, to get past that point and, and have extra so you can share. That seems to be what's needed. They need electronics. They need batteries. They need uh, rechargeable batteries. They definitely need generators, comms, laptops, um, you know, antennas, things of that nature. Glow sticks, shades for by day. More ammo always helps. Uh, did did those um, uh, tractor trailers from the uh, Louisiana 14 make it through? Uh, comms didn't mention that they've chimed back in yet. I called literally while I was off trying to catch Richard Mack and his wife. I called six other people, man, and, like, nobody's answering right now. Uh, two guys did answer and said they're not exactly in touch with the people that were headed out there. One group, uh, chickened out. I'm not going to say who they were, um, but they decided not to go because they heard everything chilled out when, damn it, we've been telling everybody to keep going, you know, um, you right. know, just because, uh, some people left after the cows came back, you know, again, man, the house is asking for security. The problem is, is, is yeah, there's a variety of little aspects. Normal. The problem is, yeah. the problem is, is there's a variety of little aspects when it comes to ground zero, specifically the ranch. Okay, you've got the inside circle people that are in the house. You've got the people outside of the house that are trying to protect that family. You've got the outer outer layer, which is you know approximately within a mile radius, that's watching out as far as uh, security. All right, Tom's on, bro. We got some new coming in right now on the scanner about Bundy supporters. So you said more people are definitely showing up right now that are supporters? Uh, they're saying something about uh, sending several units so the bunch of Bundy supporters aren't listening. Um, I do have it all recorded, so. So what did they say exactly? They said Bundy supporters are what? They said there's a bunch of bunny supporters not listening or something to that effect. Right now they're talking fucking, I don't know what they're using. It sounds like they're in Christmas somehow through the radio because it sounds like static, but there's people applying to it. So, I mean, we rejected the, the bunny supporters of what? There's several security officers. Is they said that they were moving for uh, some funny supporters. So security officers are saying that they're moving Bundy supporters or that Bundy supporters are moving? No, they're saying that security officers are moving towards the Bundy supporters on a scanner. I'm listening in right now. Um, there's no one at the scene yet. I don't know what scene they're at. So, I mean, it sounded like I don't know where it's from because it's, I don't know why the city PD would be broadcasting what's going on there. And again, let me reiterate: if if, if anybody's going to come in, right? Let's say, let's just say, and God damn it, like I'm saying, let's just say this is all theoretical right now. Okay, let's say the DHS is heading in there. You've got 
locals. We've got scouts on the ground on every entranceway. You've got the outer circle. You've got the second outer circle. You've got the inner circle. Then you've got inside the house. I think we'll probably get a heads up from actual people that are actually around there when this actually does and may pop up. We should have some sort of head warning from at least two, three people that are all saying the same thing. That's confirmable. Right. Do you still have me on, Brian? Yeah, uh, sorry. I have web code for me, most code for it. Hey, yeah, put they that up to the mic, right? Just put it up to the micro. Yeah, I can hear you, but I also want to hear that. Can you hear? Yeah. That sounded kind of like activity. So keep keep that uh, speaker somewhat close with your voice and uh, go ahead and say what you're going to say, but we want to hear it as it comes out if possible. Okay, if I hear anything, I'll uh, stop talking. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention was uh, this real interesting article uh, about Glenn Beck saying basically that uh, the people at the ranch were all right-winged and they were armed and ready to kill and this and that and they weren't, you know, peaceful protesters. And he stirred up a bunch of nonsense with his, with his, with his bullshit. Did, did you happen to catch that article? No, I, I've got to admit, it's, it's um, exactly what you just said. A, I don't watch TV. B, I barely listen to the radio. And C, even alternative media sources, for the most part, I'm, I'm not really paying that much attention to, especially during these last phone calls. So um, I, as far as Glenn Beck goes, I've got personal issues with the guy. You know, he's an instigator. I, you know, if anybody else out there just loves him to death, well, God bless you, but not a big fan. Um, you know, I've got to let him, him off monitor footage of him, and as far as I'm concerned, he's still, uh, might have some things, you know, that brings stuff to people's attention, but again, it's the sleight of hand, just like what's going on right now. Usually when yep. everything's in the forefront and, and, and you've got something in this hand and they're shaking this hand and it's pretty and sparkly and so many bright colors, there's something <coughs> going on in their other hand, most likely, so we want everybody to kind of... I, Watch Washington, yeah, I, watch what's going on overseas, watch other channels, and there, um, there's most likely more than just this going on right now. You know what, Brian? Yeah, Sorry, Brian. You know what I love about Glenn Beck, and I'm using the word love facetiously? What he gets, he's like, oh, and, and, and coming up this next show, I've got this earth shattering, ground breaking, mega, mega news I'm going to share with you. It's an inside scoop I'm going to share with you. The day comes, he doesn't even like, he like totally forgets what he said the day before. And he just like acts as if nothing was ever said. Everyone's waiting for this big fucking news. And then he can hear the crickets chirp when it's time for him to say it. It's like, news? What news? I never said no news. I don't know what you're. Doing. And it's like, okay, whatever, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, I told you that day one when I was talking to you, but uh, what you were saying a minute ago, yeah, um, this government has a real uh, bad habit of, uh, look over here, look over here, while the other side is either taking your wallet or, or ripping another piece of the Constitution or doing something like that. It, it's, it's a constant thing, so at this point, you know, um, just besides what we're watching at the ranch here itself, which is, is a priority at this point. We still need to be watching what's going on elsewhere around, too. You know yeah, I mean? exactly. It's like, hey, everybody, look over here for this missing plane that we know where it is. We put it on Gilligan's Island. And while you're watching over here for that, uh, we're going to put Nazis in the Ukraine to mess with the Russians, and then we're going to screw with the Bundys over here. <laughs> you know, it's all a shell game. It sure is, and, and it's a shame. This, this is what we call our government. And, you know, at one time it, w it, was, it was patriotic being an American. And as far as our government, I don't call them Americans. I call them the U.S. Corporation. And I'm sure you've heard me refer to them by that way. They're just a corporation. They're nothing more. And the power that they have over the people is only as strong as how the people believe their power is. Um, I've heard quite a few different people speak on your, uh, you know, on this uh, call over the last couple of days, and a lot of them have mentioned the uh, the sovereign movement and uh, knowing your sovereign laws. <coughs> One thing that I have to say about that is 
And it's all good and well. I mean, there's a lot of people that I that I have come across that, that live that lifestyle to the max. They, they drive without license plates. They drive without a license. They never have a problem in the world. There's a lot of things involved with that. But the main key is with that, if you're going to start that type of a lifestyle or even use any of those defenses, you had better know exactly what you're doing. Because I, I, I read this in that, it took me over two years to start to understand completely about it, about certain words you don't use if, if you do want to get arrested and go into court. You say one long phrase and you're done. Exactly. There is no more, I'm a, I'm a sovereign citizen. You know what? Um, my, my best friend, Katerina Edwards, she's got a... a Facebook group called uh, Be You to the Fullest and she does a YouTube channel and everything else and one of the big things that she promotes is well learning how to be yourself to the fullest and you know be authentic with yourself and in line with your integrity and you know accept yourself pros cons and everything because if you're if you're being down on yourself and abusing yourself and torturing yourself, your brain is shut down. And if your brain is shut down, you can't think critically, you got no discernment, you're like a little independent child, you know? And you gotta kinda make peace with yourself and be okay with you being you, whatever that is in the moment. And once you're okay with that and your brain's activated again, then you could look at yourself logically and go, okay, I don't really uh, care about this about me, so I wanna change that to this. And, you know, you can't clean up a mess that you can't see. And if your brain shut down, you know. <laughs> Um, and there's so many more things going on. My phone, I think my phone's getting jammed out, to tell you the truth, because um, it's just making a lot of screeching sounds, and uh, it's make nothing but jumbled noise, and then it, I have to hang up mainly. So, yeah, sometimes it gets uh, interrupts, and sometimes it uses different formats to communicate. Uh, caller 4470, you're up. Hey, yeah, this is Recon Re Re America. How are you doing, Brian? Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, hey, I got some questions for you. I uh, been in this for a while, and uh, we got boots on the ground there, but I think we screwed up, and I think we missed an opportunity here. I've been listening to a lot of your calls and stuff, and I appreciate what everybody's saying, but, you know, we don't need to sound like a soap opera like it was on Facebook. What we need to do is figure out what to do forward. You know what these calls are about? Yeah, so, yeah we're out there. So here's two mistakes that we made. We, we had a big missed opportunity here. We should have been arresting the people driving off in the trucks with cattle, the cattle last name, and we should have arrested anybody that stepped up and run his land. And I think moving forward, you guys, there's a lot of people that want to start this shit. I'm not one of them. I don't want to see my country destroyed. But it's inevitable that it's going to come to that. But we don't have to fire the first shot. All you have to do is ignore rights and everybody else's rights and arrest these bastards for what they're doing. We do have that right. We missed those two opportunities. So as we're reducing them, uh, I think that's what needs to be done. If they come back, I'm not going to say if they come back. When they come back, if they set foot on Bundy's land, then have to the people out there start arresting for trespassing. They have no right to do this. They have no legal to do Anything to do with I agree. And that's, that's where I missed it at. Uh, 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 I have my guys down there. I still so I don't think I'm getting to my guys for the next 18 hours now. It's starting to ruin me. I've got some good info back from there. But that, that's, that's been the deal. They said we missed every opportunity we could. I believe the people down there we missed it all because we were too busy saying, look at me. And this is on the way, look at this, bleeding hearts, everybody fighting over what should be done, and everybody needs to wear a picture. Uh, 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 protesting, doesn't, uh, protesting doesn't work in this country anymore, we know that. The people, they beat the Tea Party to death, so where people, I will protest and just don't know, And that's, that's we say that for a side conversation, we see that time and time again. We have to be meant to action. And it doesn't feel shooting somebody. I guarantee you, you start trying to arrest these guys, they're going to be good. They're going to be good. 
for the next people there to be arrested and taken down to the county jail. If the sheriff doesn't want to get on board, the rest of the guys can throw them in the jail for that to have to happen. If anybody wants to be serious about this move, you got to be willing to do shit like that. Not just stand out on the freeway. You know, you know, everybody that was pointing a rifle at a federal rifle, they're at a fed. They're going to hunt them down, round them up in their own homes, and take care of them. They're going to charge them. And if they're stupid, they're going to go for those charges. If they're stupid, they'll let them in their houses. You've got to be prepared. You've got to be prepared in this battle all the way around, guys. You can't just go and say, hey, it's time to kick ass now. It's not enough. We had enough 200 years ago. We had enough 100 years ago. We had enough 50 years ago. So we're, how, how, how often do we have to keep moving our line back and saying we had enough and not doing anything about it? And that's what's going on. We did nothing about this. We won nothing. We gave them the opportunity to do a complete PSYOP mission on everybody out there. They got facial recognition. They videotaped every damn vehicle that was out there, the license plate. Why do you think they did all that? Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah, mission. Yeah. You know, thought that that was, we got that. That was yeah, it's, it's what happened. It's totally what happened. I can guarantee you 100. They, they didn't go out. They went out there to test that. That's smart. They were. And they weren't very smart. You're saying you're saying that they don't think you don't think that there's anything to do with land, cows, land grab, you know, or anything like that. Right? It is. No, it is. No, no. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Go ahead. Right. You can start it off. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, don't, don't get me wrong, Brian. I know what they, they want everything out there they can get. They've built in every rancher in Nevada. They've been doing it year after year. Uh, the state I'm in, they've been doing the same thing with the small guys. Now they're going to start working on the big guys. But it, 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 that's what they're doing. Now they know what they're doing. You're saying this has turned into a psyop now. They keep using it now. They have no idea. Yep, yep. yep. They, 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 they call this that. Yeah. Why, why would they send so many, uh, for, for just the amount of people out there, why would they send as many agents to do this? They were expecting something. They were totally expecting something. And they got what they expected. And they did a PSYOP on them. I guarantee you they did. Everything added up to a lot of houses. They just pull up, they just pull up, pull up every time, you know, mm -hmm. check some of these parking orders somewhere, especially in yeah. a you know, type center. You know, like when, yeah. they, I mean, when they reset the phone towers, when they reset the phone towers, I was like, oh shit, you know, obviously yeah. they're opening the queue, so from that point forward, they can monitor what's coming in and that vicinity, uh, you know, and what's connected to what. Exactly. Uh, we already know about the drones were up there, so we know that, you know, they can easily get license plates. We were telling people to cover up license plates uh, once yeah. they get there, so it'll be busted covering them from traveling, but even then, on the way there, for the most part, somewhere that's all recorded and detailed and digitized, and somebody's going to monitor that over the next few weeks just to kind of boom their ground on everything. You're right. You know, yeah. there's no reason. I mean, knowing what I know, man, you know, again, I talked to a lot of people that were very organized, different types of, uh, you know, branches of the military, one being PSYOPs, and, you know, there was someone who had worked in the drone program that says, man, you wouldn't believe the kind of things you can do with that kind of technology right now, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Take it, put it all over the list right now. So, yeah, my house right now, and uh, then I stop by, you know, my buddy's house to pick such and such up, you know, to bring down there, and you know, I bring three more, four guys. They already know that man, and you know, no matter yeah. what, from sure, because you're right now. They know they expect when I was coming in. If there's already, you know, mm -hmm. since I'm. Uh, we call you know, buying the vehicle that I'm in, there's already GPS and locator in there, which already ties to some sort of corporate agreement, most likely whoever's, you know, got that capability that made it, uh, that, that there's what you call it, transceiver responder device in the first place, you know, they, they, they can hack into that, like they can hack into our phone, yeah. they know exactly where I'm at at all times, so, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm not really yeah. too worried, as long as these people are coming in and peaceful protesters, like you said, left, the men, you know, alone, it's all the range, you really want, although the yeah. guns made a call. Or, you know, back up and, and, and militias. You know, that's one thing. If, if Nevada had came in there and only Nevada would stay there and a bunch of peaceful protesters shows up, whether or not they're militia when they're back home, you don't come into another state as militia. Okay? You're not mm -hmm. supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. That's what well, we've been trying to tell people. Then we got 
this is Colonel such and such from you know this two states <laughs> over that here at Ground Zero. Sh shut the <laughs> fuck up. He'd be like, yeah. I, I, it's cool. Call me on the phone. Tell us who you are, bro. But you don't have to give us all the details. Hey, yeah. I represent uh, California. Cool, man. What's yeah. going on out there? Hey, well, for, from my perspective, I've seen such and such and such. But then you know we had. Uh, Oh, this is Commander Peace Player One from blah blah blah, and, and you know I've got 14 guys of my henchmen that are out here working all yard battle right or whatever you guys need to do. Feel us some time. Shut up, shut your mouth. I'm gonna meet you out. You know you can't talk like that. Luckily, there's only a couple, and uh, overall, a lot of people that have chimed in were really sound-minded, all kinds of concerned American patriots and uh, the administrators, news media channels, and cool dudes like you. This is Sergeant Druid, and I got 20 goats ready to go, sir. <laughs> yeah, <wait. laughs> yeah. You know, everybody's got their own perception. Everybody's more than happy to swap themselves a little bit, dude. And you know, I just really try to be real humble about that kind of stuff. Hey, I happen to know, you know, my second amendment group. I'm not afraid to say who they are. I've been in recruiting position, so you know, I'm not, you know, up the line, you know, as far as someone to take out, dude. I'm just a guy. I'm, I'm good at networking, I'm good at people online, and, and trying to be a mediator and, you know, a, a great communicator. Hey, you know, hey dude, I, I'm not. Grant, I would never do what you're doing, man. You know, the majority of Americans would not stand up and do stuff like this. I've been doing it for a long time, you know that. I would never do what right. I think this is the greatest thing in the world. But I am saying one thing that we need to pass on to the people that hop on here. I want to go to a battle yeah. with these. The only way that we're going to go to that battle is to start arresting these bastards and do illegal things. And we can do that. It takes a lot of balls to do that and stuff, man. I, I, you take a time. I've been dreaming that shit for years. If, if, okay, if I were to have the proverbial wise words, what would be the wisest way you would say right now? That I mean, you've been in the movement, and, and I know Chicago one's ready to jump out of his phone right now and tell me what he thinks about this town here for you. <laughs> what would you say would be from... Let's just point A to point D. What would be the proper procedure? Me personally, I'm thinking find out exactly what they did illegally, get bona fide proof of what they did illegally, take it to the public, take that to the sheriff of that area, and demand that you be deputized so we can do a citizen's arrest on these people on the spot. Would that be similar to what you would do? Yes. Uh, I would probably take a different course. Uh, what would what happen there? <laughs> regardless of the state, because there is no sovereign states right now, everybody's a part of America. They gave in for that, so there is no such thing as a sovereign state. They're sovereign citizens, but there's no sovereign states. Therefore, if you go well, on, I would have to disagree government. with you because when you become sovereign, bro, you're no longer, when you become sovereign, you're no longer a citizen, so that's a huge oxymoron. Now, right, right, know right, right. Of three, or four, three or four groups that definitely <laughs> right now in Republic, they have President, vice president, secretaries of state, governors of each state. Yes, they're yes. all in common law. They're, they're living in republic, man. And, uh, no, I, I, I'm, I'm not. No, it does. I know it does. Uh, but it's, my it's my, pers now, my quick right? perspective on that is that look, we do have sovereign states, but here's the problem: sovereign states is an idea on paper. If you don't have power of enforcement, in other words, people aren't willing to invoke their rights and make good on their own rights. You don't have what you're not willing to use. Like I gotta have a hammer on the table. It's not gonna nail the nail in itself. I gotta pick it up. Right, 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 right. But, but just, just, um, just hear me out, okay? Please just. I'm on, I'm on, sorry, sorry. It's hard to okay. I know, I know. I'm on. Sorry for me too. <laughs> Okay, um, right, bottom, line, bro. bottom line is we're Americans, okay? We're Americans first. Whether you're from Washington, California, Chicago, I don't care where you're from, you're freaking American. And you got to stand on that. We're American great patriots. Uh, therefore, we can practice our rights, and our Constitution and our God-given rights, we can practice anywhere on this land. So... We don't have to go through the legalities that they put before us, uh, certain legalities. So that being said, I would have, if I would have been there personally, what, what would have happened if our group would have been able to make it there in the time and send more people? We would have stopped the trucks, we would have arrested the drivers, we would have put a crew out at the Bundy Ranch regardless, we would have got an invitation from the Bundys 
that would have led us through their line. Uh, those are public highways. Sure, they're funded by federal money, but they're public highways. You don't pay taxes and drive on them. You don't have to stop us and drive on them. You practice every right and every mislaw that they have there. You know it and you practice it and you go by that and you're going to win every time. And you and, and the only way that any state will set this off and set the battle off that needs to be is by doing this, by knowing the constitutional rights, the God given rights not listening to the feds and their stupid ass rights with the tyrannical law that <coughs> is in this country and just doing what we know is right. The right never brings you to a wrong place. Morally, however you believe, whatever you believe in, when you're doing right, you can't do wrong. I and try it, I try it, I swear to God, I try it, I really am. <laughs> I'm trying to use not even trying to get that kind of mentality. On the first one, no, hold on, I'm just trying to hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, apparently, there's this guy, uh, they ran from his name, Eric Grant. Eric Grant. Grant. All right, no, well, it's not R H H N. He was on the call earlier. I don't know if he's heading up there, but I know that guy personally. All right. Uh, Grant, anybody knows an Eric Grant that would set it out there let you know what's up? Uh, hang on. 470, I'm going to give you 30 seconds. I got five people in the queue that have been waiting patiently. They let them in. You're good enough for me. All right, but uh, I appreciate you a lot, man. I know you've been hanging on for a while, so uh, keep doing what you're doing, man, and uh, keep spreading the word, man. And, uh, and we love you coming on, you know, trying in anytime. Uh, sorry about the hold, man. I know you've been on for like a half hour at least, waiting. 1395, you're up. Okay, um, this is the first question. Oh, ma'am. Um, what I wanted to talk about is, um, I've seen a video of Harry Reid actually admitting that this is an over. So I believe that, yeah, stuff may not be going on right now at this moment, but I believe this is a calm for the storm. So I believe that's, that's a confirmation. We need more. Confirmation. All right, well, let me, let me, let me, let me do this. Let me try to say this. Let's say, in the last conversation, in the last segment that we recorded, and I said, this show is not over, right? Yeah. And I shut the show off right now. And then you see that video of me yesterday saying that this show is not over. <laughs> and then you come to the call and we're not here. What just happened? I don't know. So do me a favor. Uh community conference call on Facebook. Go to go to Facebook, go to community conference call, post up that exact video, and we'll get with somebody on the comms line to go ahead and confirm when that video came out, when it is, and when he said it's not over. If he if he said it's not over two days ago, he's right. <laughs> well, it's but uh, if that just it's came out in the last couple hours. Yeah, I posted it up there already. Okay, sorry. No, okay. okay, then give us your opinion. Did that just come, source, that just come out? If you want a good source to get to it directly, you can go to Drudge Report Facebook, and they have it posted there. And we are changed. Direct we're not with also. Uh, Drudge we are Report. changed. And we are changed. Oh, Drudge Report. Yeah, yeah. Love Luke Rudowski, Rude How do you say that? Rutowski over at We Are Changed. Um, he's a pretty cool guy. Um, he's definitely been in the media for a couple of years now. Um, he's doing great things over there. I actually used to administrate uh, uh, Illinois Chicago's We Are Change for a while there. And uh, after doing so many confrontations and the wrong people are shaking the tree, I just decided that I didn't want any more visits from Secret Service. So I got out of that. And he's had a lot of pressure over time. So he's kind of a hero of mine. Um, you know, anybody here can have, you know, I don't want to change the topic that it's called, but uh, you know, anybody's had experience, you know, or, or knows, or thinks they know about anything about Freemasonry, this guy would know about it, and then he's, he's got a list, he's got uh, their offenses, um, he's a really good contact, uh, you know, unfortunately there, there was some conjecture whether or not he was adapted into that community, but, uh, you know, regardless, uh, he definitely has a long list of evildoers that he's compiled over the course of time, if, if we were to start somewhere, uh, as far as the list and their actual factual, mm -hmm. you know, database that we've been gathering, 
Anonymous, I know you are listening. Anonymous, I know you are listening. Compile that data and please get it to us, please. Anonymous, we know you are listening. Anyways, uh, we're looking for, you know, that would be a real good place to start in my eyes. If we were to do a constitutional convention and straight up say everything that these guys did, if you do it again, you're getting hung on a tree in Washington and we're putting it live on TV after you've been tarred and feathered. Um, you know, I know there's uh, laws against cruel and unusual, uh, unusual punishment, but, you know, they're willing to, uh, you know, put my buddy who was dying of cancer, who was growing his own marijuana in jail for many, many years, and he died in, in jail from cancer. To me, that's cruel and unusual punishment for, for doing something that was harming nobody, and if anything, was keeping him alive. So, you know, if, if they're going to put those kind of un cruel and unusual punishments on us, I don't think tar and feathering uh, is really, uh, you know, uh, a light sentence as far as I'm concerned for anybody who's committed treason, anybody who's dragging this country down to the ground, um, anybody who's got backdoor deals that are, you know, living off of RRS taxes, that have, uh, you know, stolen land, that have, uh, and, and I'm, don't, don't get me into stolen land, I'm Native American partially, so, um, you know, but, but that have actually are stealing land, you know, that we can prove, basically, um, you know, we need to call, take them all into account. You know, there's so much offshore stuff happening. These guys are sending funds out of the country. You know, the guys that are playing with gold right now. Um, you know, everybody who's allowed chemtrails, everybody who's allowed the poisons in our water. I don't even get me into GMOs and all those scumbags. And those will be later shows. Um, as of right now, I want to focus on. So until you can prove that that video was recent, ma'am, um, I'm going to go ahead and ask you to turn back in. If you, can. you may now ask your question. I'm going to jump on to caller. Meeny, meeny, miny, been waiting. Muted. Say 3 1, you're back in the queue. Hi, Brian. You know let's, let's, let's play a little game. That was kind of creepy. If you'd like to ask a question, your request has been received. And 1166, I believe I've got you all in the queue. 1166, you know what just happened? Oh, hey, okay. ma'am, you chimed right back in. I, I didn't, I, I thought I just opened a couple lines. There should be some people. That are unmuted right now that are still in the main queue. Um, so there's three people plus myself plus Chicago. Actually, I see Chicago. Unmuted. Glad you're back in, man. And there should be a handful of people allowed to talk along with Tom's, along with Chicago one. Uh, 11, I'm sorry, 1395, 6831, and 1166. Let's just have a little roundabout scale talk. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let um, 6831 go first. Okay, this is Michelle from Oregon. Hi, everybody. Um, hey. I have, I have uh, let's see. Okay, my first question is, did, did anybody find Wayne Cooper? I'm looking at his phone number right now. I was, I was told he was headed back. I, I, I know last when he called in the morning that he just said he just got home. Um, that's the chief of security that was running the show for the last few days uh, inside the house directly with the ranchers. Um, he let us know he's home safely and he's cool. Um, he actually was talking about going back and wanted to regather some things and for some friends. Um, and then we talked to the head of security who said it's kind of been a cluster F ever since he left. And they're just trying to get everything back together again. Are you in direct relation with Wayne right now? Um, is uh, that no, in I your didn't. capabilities? I, I, excuse me, I, I didn't interrupt. I saw it on Facebook from uh, one of the ranch pages that he was uh, MIA a while back, and nobody had seen him, and he was expected to be on his way back. He was on his way back to the ranch, is what I uh, saw on there. I didn't want to put anything on Facebook. I thought, okay, I'm going to go get in on the phone thing and see what's going on, talk to Brian. Um, also, I would like to say, I, I'm really afraid for these people. I think something's going to come down, just like most of us are thinking the same thing, and this is the calm before the storm. I am afraid for their lives. Uh, so, I, I kind of did something on my own, but I hope I did it in such a way that it doesn't cause any bullshit. I have a friend of mine that um, knows a lot of freaking bikers. I just got in touch with her. She's been uh, on the road. She didn't know going on. She didn't have a clue. She knows now. She made a phone call to her biker buddies, <clears throat> and so, right now, we have a lot of bikers that are on alert. If we need them. If the ranch makes that call, if we all get text to the ranch, hopefully we'll know before then, because then it would be too late. You know what I'm saying? Right. 
I am really, really afraid that there are people who are going to die to get it over to my mouth, but that's just the way I feel. I'm scared for them and for all of us. You know, um, what I'm, you're right. What, what I'm actually doing right now, uh, this is interesting. The number that Blaine called in on, if anybody can confirm this one, uh, the number that I talked to Blaine on before, I'm looking at her right now. Yeah, you know what? It comes one. Are you still on? Chicago, I'm still on. I'm here. All right, cool. Hey, uh, I need to hang up. Give me two minutes. I'm going to call Blaine direct and see what's going on. All right, I'll be right back. Uh, you can just handle the pool. Uh, let the lady speak for a minute, and then there's another person that's on the queue right now. Uh, sure, I'll mute myself. No problem. One thing before you go. One thing before you go. They are talking about it. Uh, they just said there, uh, there's a few, like, uh, I guess four people. Uh, I don't know. I'm a I'm guessing they're in the town because I don't know where else four of them would be. Um, and I doubt there's three out in the middle of the field. So I'll just keep you posted. I'll just keep you posted. Um, I do have audio of the conversation. So I don't know what to do. Uh, yeah, definitely hang on to that. Keep us posted. And, uh, ma'am, I'm going to let you go ahead for a minute. I'm going to be right back, guys. I got to call Blaine's phone real quick. And, uh, What's going on until I find out at least. Uh, I have something else, I can't think of it right now, so uh, go ahead and let somebody else talk. Hi ho, Kermit the Frog here, coming live from the Bundy Ranch with the Druids sacrificing 20 goats. Kidding, of course. <laughs> what? When did you hear it calling? Oh, that was like on the first day. It was hilarious. I got like a crap load of MP3 audio Brian sent me. Um, that's better quality than the freaking li crappy live streams I got going on uh, through YouTube right now. But um, I gotta I gotta go through that and find that. I would like to like clip out like just that section and make it its own YouTube video, you know, yeah, freaking druids call the sacrifice goats in support of the Bundy Ranch. It's like, regardless of what uh, going on on the first day of the call, I'm talking about right now, there was uh, about Bundy supporters not listening or complying. Uh, I don't remember. I'm still listening. Uh, well, I just, so, kinda, I just kind of chimed in cracking a joke because everybody was... You know, getting so worried, uh, I needed something to, you know, kind of lighten the mood and ease tension. One of the ways, because I do voices, all sorts of stuff, one of the ways I ease tension is I just pop off with something totally out of left field that makes everybody laugh. So I don't know, what what does it have to do with the Bundy Ranch? I don't know, what does easing tension have to do with the Bundy Ranch? You tell me. I'm not joking. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, there, there's police going on right now, so I mean, we get an important update, so I'm just trying to get out there. Yeah. Well, speak up a little if you want to get them out there, because you're kind of kind of garbled a little bit. Can you guys still hear me? Oh, we can hear you. Yeah, that, uh, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to call in, because I uh, didn't know to go viral, and it's just when he spoke, when Harry Reid spoke, it was his arrogance. <coughs> that really got to me because he spoke as if he sees himself above the American people. Because he said we cannot allow the American citizens to think that they can break the wall and get away with it. So it's not over. I mean, uh, I just, I've been listening for a while and that just got to me. So. Well, he's one of the globalist scumbags. He doesn't just think he's above the Americans. He thinks he's, he's above the entire freaking planet. He's of that indoctrination, if you know what I mean. Yeah, and I'm sure he's not the only one. Oh, he's not at all, all. not at all. Not, but it's just the way that he spoke. You know, he's just—he's it's, supposed to be re representing. He's a senator from Nevada. He's supposed to be representing. Oh, he's, Nevada. Be flat, 
like multiple times right. on the line. <clears throat> you know, as you keep breaking the law, you get in the way with it. You know what most people don't understand is that these these one percenters, if you want to call them that, have the exact same. It's like an inverted but same version of the same problem that um, the rest of the ninety nine percent have. The one percent were indoctrinated to view the world in a certain way. And the 99% were indoctrinated to view the world again in a certain way, and those two oppose. So it's like you know, kind of think about it like, you know, for example, if um, if a little kid grows up in in a racist family and you know gets that indoctrination of of being racist, I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean that little kid was evil and grew up to be evil or whatever, even if they did some not so wonderful things. But that's their programming. Their indoctrination, just like the sheeple, we're all programmed to be sheeple. At first, we go through this educational system that narrows our minds, eliminates our imagination, makes us like extended adolescents, makes us think like like Nazis, narrow our minds and be insecure, so that we're easy to control and manipulate. But these top one percenters are so insecure. I, I feel I almost feel sorry for them. They're so insecure that they think in order to keep their own lives in control, they have to control everyone else in the world. Now, if that's not the height of insecurity, what is? You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. I understand exactly what you mean. I mean, but I mean, how? You can't do that. I mean, that's how. That's how America. Oh, I agree. My ideas. Yeah. And you know, entrepreneurs and people that come from nothing, you know, and build themselves up. Yeah. They, you know, you can't, you can't grow a nation without ideas. And I if agree. You got everybody controlling every little aspect of your life. Everything's gonna fail. Yeah. You know, because you see, what people got to realize is. There's there's um there's consequences for everybody. Like on the side of the general public, there's consequences for remaining complacent. And on the side of the one percent, there's consequences for being a megalomaniac. You know what I'm saying? There's there's consequences either way. So to me it's not it's not about good, bad, right, wrong, evil or not. It's more like a physics thing. There's consequences for actions. You stick your hand in the fire, you get burned. You walk off a cliff, gravity has its way with you. It doesn't matter if you're a 99% or a 1% or a 3% or, or what you are. If you step off that cliff, gravity's not prejudice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just that the people on the 99% know a little bit more about consequences than the so-called elites do, because most of us know what it's like to have it rough, you know, whereas these guys were born with a silver foot in their ass. So they don't they don't know what what it's like to have consequences because they've they've been they've been sheltered. But you know, more and more of them are starting to have consequences because as power gets consolidated, they're they're slitting their own throats. I mean, they you know this all powerful Illuminati that works together, ha, huh, not anymore. They're 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 shattered like a mirror as far as factions. These people would sell their own their own mothers for a dollar. You know, I mean, it's really gotten you know just a neurosis gone crazy. So I mean, they are starting to learn what consequences are. Because they're they're backstabbing each other. Yeah, it's a battle for me to be on top, and yeah. usually when that happens, it all falls apart. Because you got everybody trying to be on top. Yep, and to me, I mean that this is a wonderful opportunity for the people to wake up. Because really, you got to look at it this way: all, all the BS they're playing, it's not even about us. Just like if you have a chess board and you're playing chess, it's not about the pieces or the board. You're just playing your opponent and trying to win the game. While these elites, they're up there playing God, and they don't see us, they don't give us any more or less thought than, than we would give an inanimate, non-living chess piece on a game board. That is how they perceive us. And they're playing against each other. 
And that's that's yeah. the way they view it, and it's sick. But that's the way they view it. People are starting to wake up to that. You know, you know what I wish, and I mean, I, I wish there was an, another way. What I'm about to say that I wish is only because I, I know that it seems to be necessary. I wish. Uh, who's what? Is Colorado one here? I'm uh, Chicago. I'm Chicago one. Dave Kelso, right here. What's up? Uh, I don't know. I was just trying to uh, figure out who to shoot. Yeah, I'm. I was just trying to um, say something. Let me, let me re-rail my derailed train of thought here. Um. Anyway, what? Hey what, what I? Uh, just, uh, I'm back on. If you don't mind hanging out for a second, Chicago one. <laughs> sure. Um, I did. I did just call back the same number that called us uh, just this morning. Um, it, was, it was Lane's residence is where he called me from based on the caller ID I took out. Um, his wife did answer. She said, hey, you know, Lane was here. He didn't say a whole heck of a lot. You know, he grabbed some things and uh, he's planning on headed back. If they wanted him back there because we know, all know, you know, those that have been paying attention, you know, the chain of command has kind of been interrupted a little bit. Uh, since we took off and some of the other groups took off when everything settled down after we, uh, they gave the cows back. But uh, she's not really too concerned about him. Obviously, if anything, other people calling her, asking where he's at, is probably making her nervous. Uh, as of right now, let's just say he's in transit back on his way there. Um, I've given her the number to this call. I actually gave her the, uh, the secondary maxer, uh, master access code that a couple of us have. So she's actually able to push forward and just chime right in and start talking like uh, like some of the rest of us um, whenever she wants to. So she's allowed to do that. She sounds a little tired. She sounded a little bit worried. But, you know, as of right now, she said, no, you're about to go. You can see the pool. I'm just going to say, you know, he's in transit, probably driving, probably doesn't want to be on the phone. And if he is, he's talking to, you know, other people that he needs to communicate with right now. But, you know, recently he's been okay. So... We can kind of relax a little bit for now. Yeah, on the midwest. Oh, I'm sorry. On the midwest, there's also shit in transit from the midwest as well. Um, Mike can tell you more about that. I already told you, right? Right. Uh, well, I've been telling people from the east coast if they want to. I've got uh, plenty of supplies that. Uh, I can donate. I got plenty of uh, other people nearby that if we knew, if we could confirm anybody wanted to stop by in Chicago, not that I want to draw attention towards Illinois, but if they wanted to stop by, I've got a, you know, a couple bags of food, um, things of that nature that I can at least chip in with. So if you're heading through, you know, Illinois on the major expressways, that's not too far from where I'm at. Hey, hey, Brian. If you're heading straight west. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Look at look at these conference calls we've been doing. You've already drawn attention to Illinois, dude. It's a little late to not draw attention to Illinois. <laughs> well, I mean, as far as the groups in transit coming here directly, you're right. I guess I have, but I, I meant just as far as the groups, you know, heading that way. If they happen to be on the East Coast and they're going through a few of the major routes and are going through Illinois. Well, I don't think anybody's going to have a connection if you're giving people a bunch of cans of tuna or whatever, you know. <laughs> no, no. Actually, I've been stockpiling uh, these uh, protein bars, which we usually have been given out at FTXs and such. Yeah. There's literally hundreds of them in my possession. Yeah. There was a huge sale at the local uh, market that was, uh, they weren't ex even expired yet. They're still yeah, not, yeah. but... I got them for ten cents on the dollar, which is great. Go so ahead. you're not going to get into trouble that way. Now, if it was pop tarts, that's a different story. That would be arresting kids for freaking pop tarts, man. You got pop tarts? That's like weapons of mass destruction. They will be in there with their radiation suits and bust your ass. But you know, protein bars. I mean, is I've cool. got extra bug out bags, extra um, electronics, um, you know, things of that nature. I'll, I'll I'll go to the store right now and grab two hundred bucks and get you guys more food and water if I know you're headed here. So. <laughs> Anyways, uh, just wanted to throw that out there. Anybody's passing through Chicago, freaking let me know, man. I'll meet up with you right now. Shake your hand. I don't really care. You're a Fed. I'm not doing illegal. I'll do have it right here done on the phone so America can watch your ass arrest me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing anything. 
I, I could do the same well, thing if somebody who was heading over there from my area. You know, I don't have much, but man, I got some some uh, rice and beans and stuff like that. I could damn sure send water. You know. The thing I'll is, though. Water, the thing is, though, is that regular people like us that are just like up here just having a conversation and the only crime we're committing is thought crimes of conversation, they don't they don't mess with most of the people like us because there are so many of us out there now having conversations. They don't have the manpower, the resources, the, the, the jail cells, the courts, the nothing to to mess with everybody that's out there having conversations about this stuff. I mean, there are so many millions of people in just the United States alone having these types of conversations. They don't have the manpower to go screw with everybody. So you got to make yourself really important in order to get on the, hey, we're going to fuck with you list. Quite frankly, we're not that important. You know what I'm saying? On that level, from that perception of, you know, we're just people having a conversation. That's all we're doing, just talking and respecting everyone's awesome. right to their opinion. You know, people can agree There's, with uh, us or not, whatever. Seventy some odd people, seventy some odd people still on this particular call, but I know we're being rebroadcasted in other places. I forgot to mention again, if uh, anybody did want to call in, if you're getting this broadcast uh, as of right now, Monday night, uh, going into. Uh, Tuesday morning, you can actually call in at 559-726-1300. The same number I think we're always going to use as often until, uh, you know, a lot of trolls start showing up and we'll skip it over. But uh, if you want to use participant code 276125, you can give that out to anybody, attach it to that number. Let them know you're here. Let them know we want to hear from people that are there, that are anybody who's got actual confirmable intel. Um, you know, we're trying to get boots on the ground. Obviously, locals, for God's sakes, please chime in. If you know somebody that lives near this area, please have them call the show. We definitely have uh, a list of things that we're trying to reach out yeah. to the community. Yeah, uh, they're talking about it on the scanner for sure. Um, they what? They're talking about it on the scanner for sure. Um, they are listing out people's names. Uh, so I don't know what's going on. And then after they list out names, at least four of them. Hey, you know what? Even if the uh, BLM wants to call in and get on the show and state their perspective, that'd be cool. I'm about to email Mesquite and see what's going on. Hey, uh, 1166, uh, you're still chimed in on the call. Did you want to add anything? Well, I had a bunch of questions. I came into the program late because I was on another conference call that was scheduled to. Muted. Um, All right, no problem. Go ahead. I was wondering if any of the uh, crazy rumors that have been flying around today had either been dispelled or confirmed. Um, you know, I've, I've been getting, I get a lot of. If you'd like to remove yourself from the queue, please press one. Otherwise, press two. After the, uh, the, the press conference this afternoon, but uh, you know, there's been reports of a bunch of black SUVs headed that way. There's been reports of a bus of. Uh, of police types coming out of Las Vegas going up there. Um, you know, we've heard reports about videos being made by Richard Mack that seemed to be out of context with, with him predicting that there was going to be a raid on the on the uh, ranch itself. You know, we've been hearing all of this stuff today, and everybody on site keeps saying, you know, no, we haven't seen any activity here since uh, Friday night, Saturday morning. So. As, as of right now, if, if as of right now, if it's on Facebook, period, it's bullshit. All right, because there's so much conjecture. We we've seen them with our own eyes. How many? You know, again, you could show a video of M Raps from uh, two years ago on a train, and they're still showing that same clip and video, trying to say there's M Raps going to to this site right now. So that's got to stop. You know, you've got conjecture coming in from all over the place. And unless somebody can give us answers, we've got a lot of questions, bro. Well, we're trying to get in a lot of answers. We're trying to get more of the boots on the ground. You know, since this started, uh, you know, at the beginning of the week, last week, we've been trying to be on this, you know. Um, what, when did this? No, I said, well, we started officially Thursday, but there had been many conference calls blasting all over the place. But officially, this is the one we released to the public. You know, I just made an account, man. That's how it started. This isn't even a radio show. This is just... Uh, 
a bunch of people that happen to be spreading the word. It's uh, you know social media in the making that turned into a conference call. So we're trying to dispel all the Facebook rumors and the, what I saw and she said and he said we want the actual people that are actually there that can actually confirm it. We've had plenty of them call. Again, I just talked to the uh, bodyguard of the ranchers' his wife who said, yeah, he's heading back. So when we can get her to chime in or him to chime back in or the head of security we, we talked to the evening prior who said, hey, man, everybody just left. Everything's cool right now. It's kind of reckless outside, but, you know, on the inner circle, we're all good. We've got plenty of people watching out on the uh, secondary circle. Those guys are kind of mixed up right now. And on the outer circle, he wasn't really in contact with all the other people in the outer circle that are kind of, hey, we're protesters and we're here to support you, but they're nowhere near uh, unless it's around feeding time. Uh, the, the ranchers have supplied food to them. If anybody needed anything, they're offering, you know, uh, barbecue and things of that nature. So everybody at the ranch is cool. It's everybody outside on the outer ring that's like, all right, well, we just, you know, we just saw three tanks drive by and somebody, you know, throws up an old picture of three tanks and bam, it's the truth. No, dude, that's got to stop. You know, I'm kind of, I, I got to admit, man, I'm, me personally, I'm a little bit ashamed. There's a lot of that uh, dirty laundry Facebook mentality. I'm sorry. You know, uh, most of the fans here are from Facebook, and, and they could probably agree, but, like, that's not confirmed intel, man. You've got a variety of different groups now trying to converge and see how we all kind of communicate, and it's not very good. And, and I'm kind of upset, not not only based on that, but, you know, uh, you know, Second Amendment supporters in their own states might have a really good line of com communication. Maybe I see mine. It's not the greatest. It, it could be better. It's pretty good, but it, it could be a lot better. Um, considering you know our our base, um, but am I muted or unmuted? Days, I can't speak for them, but I can say what we've experienced yeah, is maybe I'm muted. all these other groups that are coming in from thirty some odd states that have chimed in over the course of the last few days. They're all headed there, right? Well, not all of them, but some some are just chiming in saying, "Hey, I represent." You know, how you doing? Blah blah blah. But the ones that were going there, out of twenty five ish people. Only like six max of times back in with us. So were they even really going? You know, who, who are these hot shots? And then when they get there, how are they behaving? We told them to go in as peaceful protesters that just happen to have their BDUs and happen to have their weapons broken down, you know, in the trunk, um, so that there wasn't any harassment as they were trying to make it in from, you know, Here, the, the two inner circles to get towards the ranch to get all in line with the chain of command and do what they want you to do. You'd help out. Don't be a lazy ass over there bugging everybody else and, you know, uh, on the outside taking pictures. Hey, man, here's some intel. Super boom, here's the pictures. That, that, that's not helping. Jay, are you on the line? People come in as people, protesters. You know, work, work the way Jay. Work the chain of command as soon as possible. And okay, it says Jay Larson's on the line on my end with Skype here. I'm trying to conference him in, but I don't hear him. I guess we'll check that out later. They're just trying to get everybody to fall in line, keep their cool behavior, which is overall what we've done so far, but... We do know, you know, the chain of command's broken down. We have people that were still heading out there that there was, uh, I don't want to say too much, but there were some guys from out east that are all former police officers and, and veterans that are totally for the cause. They get it. You know, some of them uh, had been from the west in the past, so, but they're all mainly east coast now that we're heading right through, that we're going to bring radios, comms, generators, food, yada, 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 ten hours ago. Where are they right now? All right, we've got plenty of people like that. That today it's a 14 hour drive. Dude, I'm heading up. It's 20 hours, man. Where you at? You know, so we're just trying to get those people to call back. They know we're here. They chimed in. They said they're sending people out. Were you really sending people out? You know, there's the whole mentality. And once you get a little piece of intel that's even remotely true, remotely, remotely true to me, is this is what I've experienced and this is what I saw. It's not necessarily exactly, you know, the breakdown. We need to see the bigger picture. The best thing we can say is what we saw, you know, the ranchers uh, and the people supporting them, and there wasn't that many, uh, give or take 150-ish maybe, um, that were behind them. And you had maybe 35-ish max uh, BLM guys that were blocking access to the cows. And people are like, dude, we're going to keep marching forward. We're getting our cows back. And they're like, you know, hey, if you move forward, we're going to shoot. This is on footage. We saw with my own eyes. It's the right people were in the photo that, or I mean, sorry, the video that 
I could verify that that was actually happening. You know what I mean? That's verifiable. You know, when Sheriff Richard Mack was just, you know, audio that we don't really fully know when that audio came from that was on somebody else's show, all right, put it for face value, put it forward as evidence on the table. We don't really have to analyze it too much. Just, hey, is this verifiable? All right, so we said that. When did he say it exactly? Is based on, hey, they're going back out there. Well, we don't know. They're going back out there. They were out there three, four times. You guys were coming in and going out. So Richard Mack saying that. When did he say it? And what exactly was he speaking about? And was it the situation in particular? Maybe. But if he says, hey, they're going back, I, I haven't heard the full conversation. So if anybody wants to give their verifiable opinion, we're just asking questions. We need answers. If you have some answers, sir, I'm going to go ahead and move. I got three callers in the queue. So, Ryan, Excuse me, Michelle. Go ahead. Um, so the uh, post that we saw earlier from Sheriff Mack, we don't, that's, that's not been verified, correct? Uh, as far as I know, until a few people say, you know what, man, that was literally two hours ago, yada, yada, okay. going back. I'm going to okay. start calling every number on this list for people that are in, on, and around the house. I'm not going to do no. that right now because somebody said I saw something. Has, on, on TV, I'm sorry, um, that was recorded off the radio that my friend posted because he found it on somebody else's wall who downloaded it from a video. You know, come on, man. Um, okay, how about this? Does anybody have a phone number for Sheriff Mack that they can call and verify? I've actually called him and his wife directly on their cell phones twice in, since we've been on this evening uh, since 8 Central, 8 a, uh, sorry, 8 p.m. Central. To, to no avail. I left them two messages now on the wife's phone, hoping they can chime in. May or may not happen. You know, I've talked to Sheriff before. I've done security for Sheriff before in Illinois. Um, he's a busy cat. But yeah, Getting I was late. just wondering. I, I didn't know you if know. it had been verified or not. You know, like we're all kind of freaked out about this. But I'm, like I said, right. man, I'm, I'm afraid that, that something's going to happen pretty tonight. Close to what I said on the, that's pretty close to what I said on the line. So um, okay. I'm going to open up 9240. And uh, 1166, did you want to wrap up with anything? Well, I've got, I've got a lot of things to talk about, but um, I don't want to... I don't no, want no, to... please. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead. No, you're, you're a good talker. You're a smart guy. I didn't mean to come off as a know-it-all. I'm definitely not. I'm asking questions, too, bro. I just... A lot of people are coming at us with questions. That we, I'm trying to move the conversation through to get more answers. You know what I mean? There's a couple people in the queue. Uh, I wish I knew. Feel free to listen. When I've got somebody with answers, chime back in and ask them questions. But I am overloaded with the what ifs and the how buts, and I'm seeing this, and I'm. I, I want people within those three rings that were heading there over the course of those four days to say, "Hey, man, I'm here. It's cool." You know, then the outer rings say, "Hey, man, I'm here. It's cool." You know, we do know that all three rings have been in communication, but yet not in, not all of them in this particular phone. I, again, I've called and I've spoken with uh, Blaine Cooper's wife. Who is the head of? Uh, well, he's the head of security, and he's heading back there. So most likely, when he gets there, he'll chime in and let us know everything's cool again. Um, you, you know, it's kind of drive. I don't expect to hear from him for the remainder of this conversation. But most well, likely, I, I get there spoke, probably. <coughs> I spoke. I spoke with him in this afternoon. My people are currently on the way back. We've been there for two days. Um, I, I'm. I'm a block talk radio guy. My name is Cherry Dot. I'm in Colorado. You know, everybody can know who I am. I have a network of people all across the country. I, I was a delegate to the Continental Congress, so I've got a lot of connections across the country. And uh, we started trying to get a hold of people and found out some of them were down there, so I ended up having more people down there on the site than I thought I did. But all people were contacting me to say, what about this, what about this, what about this? And I've been shutting it all down and saying, look, all I can tell you is what I'm getting reports on from the ground down there, right there. You know, they're, they're sitting there at the press conference and, and uh, talking directly to the family, and, and this is all malarkey as far as I can tell, and, and everybody needs to settle down and, and really verify things. So, uh, I'm just, I was Jerry, a friend of mine, uh, turned me on to this call, and I uh, just came over here to, you know, to uh, increase the network, if you will, and, uh, and to offer... Uh, sure. My, my 1166. 1166. You're a seasoned patriot. I can tell you've got a uh, a solid foundation as far as the mind goes, as far as I can tell. 
I'm going to put one request on you, and I hope you can do it. You just told me, you told all of us that you know people that are boots on the ground. For the love of God, I'll buy you two beers if you buy them one beer, if you can tell them to call the flipping number if they're boots on the ground so that we can hear from them. I mean, we've been spreading this word all along. People are doing that for us, but yet the more people that we can confirm a story that are there directly from the horse's mouth, then we can finally put some answer ticks to these questions, the list of questions that I have, or that we all have, that, that I've, I've, I've populated, okay? They're, they're very basic, they're very simple, but we need, you know, if one guy in the outer ring says one thing and one guy in the middle ring says another and the guys on the inner circle say another, we're off to bugs. This is not going to work. I mean, we're, this is a lead up, in my eyes, for what I'm kind of trying to help out with is, what if this was to be used when American Spring happens? If the lines of communication and people don't get it and all that conjecture is out there and people are freaking the shit out, somebody's going to go postal, dude. And I'm trying to keep it so that there's confirmable details that we can work with. Again, the questions help, you know, speculation can lean you in a direction, and I'm trying to avoid that. All we need is if you're in communication with people there, for the love of God, give them this number, please. I will buy you two beers. But offer to buy them a beer when they get back, okay? Tell them to chime in. Tell them to chime in. Say, hey, I'm calling. I'm boots on the ground. Sorry, I've been holding for 20 minutes, but yada, yada, yay, this is what's going on, and I'm in, you know, what circle are you in? Are you at the ranch? Are you on the property? Are you on the outer ring? Or are you even on the outer side ring? Because there's all kinds of scouts out there right now. Well, we've got a couple of different accesses, so people can access and I know Oath Keepers, a lot of you brothers have chimed in over the line. I, I particularly take the words of Oath Keepers usually as, like, let's say on a scale of 1 to 10, half the people calling you got me at a 2, 3, or 4, hopefully you got me to a 5, but within Oath Keepers, at least, and I can say they're a qualified member. I'm going to take them out of 7 or 8 because they've taken an oath, they're standing forward, they're true patriots, they're on the front lines, especially if they've been in law enforcement, you know. These are the ones that hopefully as long as they're sticking to their oath and have the people's best interest in mind that we should be kind of giving them a little more high regard than the tyrannical scumbags that are just above them. These are the guys that are going to stand down to that shit and protect us. Excuse my friend. Am I right? Brian? Brian, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, basically, in the suburbs of Illinois, about 45 minutes west of the downtown by the lake. Um, I'm with the uh, Illinois Sons of Liberty um, as a recruiter as of this time in the last few years. Uh, I have no authoritative position in there whatsoever. They just knew that I'm really good at doing what I'm doing. So I had my commander on the phone Thursday night because I was freaking out. Everybody went to DEF CON 1 and, hey, what do we do? Conversation turned into this. That's all I can say, man. If you want to hear what we've been saying, there's a playback number for this version. Uh, it was 559-726-1399. You can press the audio key is pound, 9127 pound, and that will let you listen to this portion of the phone call. And then in that phone call uh, portion, you'll actually hear the code for the one prior. And the one prior, you can also go to uh, Community Conference Calls on Facebook. Again, that's Community Conference Calls on Facebook. It will all pop right up, and you can see some of the uh, live feeds that are going on, uh, as well as some of the non confirmable intel that's being passed around and again that's some of it shouldn't even be considered intel because it's garbage. Garbage. Don't send me garbage. I need answers. <laughs> Brian, you have my number. Why don't you uh, text me your number so that if I've got something I can contact you directly because obviously you're not gonna stay on this conference thing uh, twenty four seven, right? Yeah. I was with Van Winkle and I was an octopus and just had as many faces. I would be on this call 24-7, but I've got a 9-to-5. I've got a wife who uh, has been extremely patient. Um, I'm, I'm writing your number down. I'm the future, but I'm going to ask, just like we're asking everybody else. If I'm on the phone on a conference call after 8 o'clock Central throughout into the morning, right, and somebody chimes in while I'm on the conference call and wants to give me the information directly, doesn't do me a lot of good because it's still second hand. You know what I'm saying? When you call me and say, dude, I've got, you know, a guy that's got boots on the ground, who's got boots on the ground that told me, all right, boom, we're already three hands down. And then it comes out of my mouth and it doesn't look very, 
you know, I, I just don't want to be the third hand down. If you can get the guy who's there on the conference call so everybody can hear you, that's what we're trying to accomplish. And I've got four callers in the queue. So I've got your number, sir. I will text you. That is a last resort. But by all means, give them the conference call number, 559-726-1300. And the participant code is 276125. Some for that to call it, man. I really appreciate what you're doing. Keep that chain of command going. And definitely have those guys call in. If you can't have them do that, just yeah, keep me updated directly. Um, I've got a lot of people trying to do that right now. I've got 75 messages on Facebook. And I'm scared to even see how many uh, new uh, followers and friends that are going to lock up the computer if I even go into that window right now. But, <laughs> You may now ask your question. Hey, Brian. Hey, 1018, you're still in there, or did I just pull you in? Um, you just pulled me in. I've been on, on mute for a while. I've been wondering when you were going to unlock me. Hey, Brian, guess what? I don't know how this thing works exactly. Hey, Brian, guess what? Yeah, Brian. I got... I got my friend Jay Larson, and he's a veteran. Can you check yourself off the Hey, Brian. Because it was red line. Oh, wait. Uh, well, that's six, six, three, one time in. You can hang on. Um, one though, you were trying to say something. It was just coming in a real muffled and at somebody. Am I able to be heard, or is this thing like going crazy, or what? And um, one may have disappeared or muted himself out, but um, one, you're always welcome to come back in. Uh, six eight three one. I'm sorry. Yeah, did you uh, have anything to wrap up? I'm gonna push to the next caller, bro. Uh, I'm not brother, but I'll. It said unmuted, but uh... sorry. Um. <laughs> I think the only other thing I, the, what I forgot to add in was that, that, let's see, I, bikers are lined up. Um, hey, I, Dad, calm the wrong, no problem to check them out. Dad, um, I got a little from this one. Now you're really echoing real bad. All right, hang on, let's try this. Hold on, brother, you're echoing like crazy. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the hell. You're going to mute yourself up. Tom, six, Tom's one, mute yourself up for like 10 seconds. Hang on, I'm gonna let six eight three one wrap it up, and then I'll let you talk. I gotta get her out of the queue. I think that's causing the echo. Am I, I able to be you, heard? Just so you know, comes one. I see you in here twice, so I think <laughs> you're somehow also on your other line under the same number. Cause I can it said I'm up. unmuted, but I do not right, think I'm coming through at all. Uh, six eight three one. <laughs> yeah, I can just. Uh, I have the means to start getting uh, truckers there too, if if the need arises. That's all I'm saying. So I will mute myself out. And I'm going to stay out for a while. You got a good point, hon. Um, we are definitely hoping to reach out because we know CB radio operators are going to have the longest range comms amongst each other. They are their own repeaters, man. And I know truckers are, a lot of them have been listening to this. So, hey, if you got your ears on, I would love to hear from some logistics fellas that are out there, especially if you're on the West Coast. But, if, hey, if you're near Chicago or anywhere else, you go ahead and chime in if you're. Uh, if you happen to be uh, riding on the 18-wheeler across the road, I know you've got your ears on and you've been listening. Uh, a bunch of dudes chimed in the last few days. Feel free to okay. start six. We'd like to hear from logistics guys as well. And you, ma'am, definitely keep those logistics guys on hand. That will come in real handy in the spring, if you know what I mean. Yeah, man, and I know a guy just uh, several miles down the road has got a huge-ass tower, so, you know, I, I can get in touch. Like I said, just... I'm glad you finished that small phrase with the word tower, because if he would have just said he would have used that, he had a huge ass, I probably would have muted you. Thanks, <laughs> hey, man. I'll mute myself out. You rock, Brian. Thanks, <laughs> Muted. All right, 1762, unless, uh, 1762 hold. If you could hold muted, for Muted, unmuted, we'll muted, unmuted, 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 unmuted. It all boils so down to muted anyway. Something's you. messing up. Hey, I don't know what the hell I'm going to say. Hold on, let me try this. I, hold on, hold on, let me try this. I'm gonna mute the other you that I see, and then just mute both, and then I'll mute on this one. 
So it's just you, me, and 1762. So yeah, go ahead and mute on your end. And again, chime in when you got some uh, pertinent comments for me, Bill, that you can you know say in front of all these people that just happen to be listening. 1762, go ahead. Hi there. Um, hey, how you doing? <laughs> I'm pretty good. I'm really excited that you guys were able to put this together. Um, I, I wish I had more uh, pertinent information for you to there, but I wanted to call in to offer something that I do have if, it, if it's something that y'all can use. Um, I'm the founder and operator of Two Finders Network, and it's an online station. It's mine. It's 24-7. Um, I've got it set up to where, like, I could even go on the station stream on the dedicated device and um, you know select a blog talk show or whatever, so I can put anything on the air that I need to. So um, anything that you guys think that you would want to sort of basically simulcast, just you just let me know. It's super super easy, and I, I'm not even going to take up your time like throwing out the different ways that the network can help, but you could just imagine, and I can do that for you. Could you repeat the name of the uh, network again, if you don't mind it? Not at all, and I did put it in your messages, but I, I know that it's publicly CD, but it's, the network is uh, truthfindersnetwork.com. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, we definitely heard that. I know I have. Uh, yeah, Truthfinders Network, yeah, when I kind of I'm the original movement. on our calendar. It, it got Are you? taken away for a while when I got really, really sick and the, and the girl couldn't handle it. But And I'm I just barely recovering, but I have. I, we just started up a new, a new show. Um, but I was going to interrupt regularly programming, um, which is tomorrow night, for a special edition. Um, I've done a show called The Hot Zone for a while, Hot Topics, Hot People, um, not necessarily hot, you know, the way they look, but their their controversy or whatever. Um, but that's open to y'all. And um, there's just a lot of ways to make it possible to broadcast from my station. And I just really wanted to offer that to y'all, and then to let you know that I I am gonna discuss it tomorrow night. I'm not gonna be putting anything on there that I haven't personally been able to vet, which isn't a lot, but. I want, I'm hoping we can at least get some people's experiences out. You know, whether it's an experience there and they're, they've come back, or you know, in what you're doing, for example. Um, I just want to get the results out, the stuff that's working, and then let people know the stuff that's not working, that kind of thing. And I'm in Texas, so I'm very well networked well, in, in Texas. That's huge for us too. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say this. Uh, as of right now, David Kelso, who's also on this call, he's a uh, Chicago one. When you ever forget about him, he's usually on the line or around. But now we've got community conference calls. Yeah, but I'm muted. Kind of trying to relay more information regarding this conference right. call. Let me try something. Um, if, if you'd like to ask a question, please press 1 to uh, add your, your request has been received. Well, I wasn't even re You don't mind communicating with him uh, everything that some of the capabilities you have. He, we'd like to know more about the reach. Um, th there are some other offers to kind of help re-syndicate or re-broadcast um, this program, uh, which is now what it is quickly turning into. Right. <laughs> but uh, through him, uh, I would like to definitely touch with you. Now you said um, Dave Kelso, right? Correct. Yeah, if you go to community conference calls, you'll see him as the one of the administrators yeah. for the page. Okay, I'm also in there. Okay, I'm going to add him as a friend, and, and which one are you? Brian. Brian, 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 Brian. How many administrators are there? That yeah, there you are, you're down at the bottom. Um, All right. It's I'm, a, I want to narrow down. One, two, I want to narrow four, down. Five, six, seven, eight. You've got eight. Jewish. All right. Thank Whoever keeps right. adding new administrators, um, you're officially <laughs> fired. Um, I, we need to get that back down to two, uh, myself and Dave Kelso, and uh, there was a, a, a second that he could put on it, but he knows what I'm talking about. Hey, I have to actually open this call, and I want you to stay on the line. I've got boots on the ground that's about to chime in. I'll stay on the line. Hey. Stay on the line. No yep. Hey, Di. Hey. hey, Ryan, I need you to go through the queue, everything that's muted, until you find Howard. He is at the ranch. He's been holding. 
uh, Howard, for the love of God, Howard. if you've been listening, my friend. Yeah, Howard, if you've been listening, I'm only seeing a couple of people in the queue right now. I've got uh, this nice lady that just chimed in, yourself, uh, Tom's one, and then he... Uh, he may have hung up. Back in. And, Howard, uh, if you're uh, listening to me, hit star six. No, I just can't talk uh, at all because um, cause I keep on interrupting. Uh, yeah, I'm not a one way to do it. Shit, I would just pop in too. Um, Tom, I'm going to give you a 30 seconds. Just go ahead. So I, I apologize. Howard, hang on. We got you. So you got Howard? Really so no, go Howard ahead. Hang on, Diana. Open. I'll get my headset on. I'll do that in a minute. And uh, I've got a lot of windows open right now. All right, uh, Diana, I'm going to keep you in the seat, uh, but you're actually temporarily moving, okay? Go for it. Thank you. Uh, Howard, you're going to be in here. I'm here. I'm here. Can you guys hear me? Boots on the ground. I'm boots on the ground right here, live at Bundy Ranch. I hear you. Uh, and the, the you guys hear me? Before, we've got a, yeah, but we've got a couple other people in the queue. A lot of people are just listening, uh, and a lot of people are, are popping in just as you're coming on. So luckily, we got you ahead of everybody else. Uh, Diana, okay. I'm not going to forget about you. Diana is one of our locals that's been doing this uh, really. Any locals and any boots on the ground to get back in on this call and just keep uh, the three rings. Um, you know, the outer circle of the locals, the inner circle that's guarding around the ranch, and then the inner circle near the ranch, and then the last, you know, ground zero people that are actually inside uh, at the homestead. Can you give us uh, some perspective? Do you mind me asking, like, which party you're with? Are you actually in, inside the house, just outside the house? Are you on the perimeter, on the way outer perimeter? I am, uh, actually, I'm at the at the meeting area where everybody meets where they come from, where the, um, it's the other part. Everybody, uh, the, 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 house is the assembly point. Yeah, it's the assembly point. Um, I'm actually um, on watch tonight. Um, there's cool. quite a few militia here. The house is, has militia that uh, guards it. The house is approximately two miles from where we are. Um, you know, on the road as, but, with your interactions, brother, I'm not going to say any more about your name. I'm writing that all down just so I can hang on to your data. But I wanted to ask, first off and foremost, without giving us too many details, did you say it's over a thousand people? No, not at this point. All right, we'll just kind of leave it at that. Are, are they still asking for peaceful protesters and supplies to show up? Um, they would still like people to be here. Um, and um, they definitely, you know, more people, it, it's, it's definitely calmed down, let me put it that way, but we don't know when or if there's going to be an attack. Um, there's been speculation, um, you know, rumors. I mean, I got a text earlier that somebody said they heard on the news that uh, the BLM was going to attack this evening. Um, you know, and all, all, rumor, all conjecture, it's all bullshit, right? Right. I mean, we've been by the by the compound with BLMR. Technically, we haven't seen anybody there. Um, you know, I went by there this evening. There's a couple trucks there. They were moving out. But as far as you know, officers, I think they're gone. I think that at this point, um, they're regrouping. We're regrouping. Um, you know, according to uh, what's been said by uh, Sheriff Gillespie of Metro. Um, you know, a deal has been struck, and, and now it's going to go through the court system. But you know, then you hear about the report, like Harry Reid said, you know, the American people, you know, broke the law, and they have to be punished for it. Basically, you know, we've been told that we're terrorists, and uh, and that we're wrong. I mean, you know, this is it, it's just it's a scary situation. I've been here almost every day, um, and I'm here with my wife and my daughter, and my granddaughter, and she's six years old. But it's important oh, for her to understand what's going on, and I figure that you know if we have to keep a stand as patriots, then you know I want my family with me as American citizens and patriots. You know, it's, it's a terrible thing. The government's just taking the land. They're taking everything that we own, and you know people are letting them do it, and we can't do that.
that anymore. We, we have to stand up as the American public. We have to. You need to talk. You know, people need to start calling their senators and congressmen and say, "Hey, we want the land back." They, the, the U.S. government owns a digit worth that to be almost 84 percent of all U.S. soil. Under the Constitution, they're not even allowed to own that much. You know, the BLM, which is the land, the Bureau of Land Management, is actually listed in Dun and Bradstreet. You know, they're, they're listed on, on the stock exchange. <coughs> they're a corporation, a government agency that's a corporation, and it makes you wonder. Right. Yeah. Um, as a, as far as the circumstances down there, where with the people that are still heading their way. Uh, we've recommended everything from generator, shade, food, water, batteries, com, night vision, all those things. Is there anything else on this list? Because uh, as of tomorrow, there's going to be crowdfunding heading towards you guys. Um, as far as uh, I can tell, pretty much that's it. I mean, you know, definitely, you know, if people have extra sleeping bags, they want to bring them because some people don't have them, uh, you know, things like that. You know, they're definitely welcome if they're coming in and camp here and stay here and make sure you bring the plant drink company. It does get cold here in the evening. You know, we get How cold would you say? Like, are we, can you see your own breath at night? Uh, no, it's not that cold. I mean, I'm sitting here now. We have a little campfire, and we're, you know, sitting here, and I'm just, I'm in a t-shirt, but it's, it's cool. I mean, you can feel it, and, you know, and you take those seats, it's going to go down, and it's kind of thick, and we're still in the body, you know? Right, <laughs> you know, I'm just you know, throwing it out there, so people know the circumstances. Yeah, so, you know, definitely, you know, you don't need heavy clothes, but, you know, um, you know, but you want to make sure that you're prepared if you're here at night you want to have something to, to keep you cool you know, because, you know, especially if you, you know, you're walking around or whatever. Um, there's plenty of room here, you know, there's a lot of wide open spaces. There's some uh, private lands right way around the Bundy Ranch that uh, the people have allowed us to stay, stay on and, you know, and, and hang out from. In fact, that's where the, the meeting area is actually on one of the neighbors' property. Um, and that's why the BLM couldn't touch us. And we have these two amazing flag poles that have been erected. Um, uh, they must be you know, two stories, three stories high. And uh, you know, when you come down the road, you can't miss them. You know, and it says leave the people on top of it. And it's just, you know, it's a great feeling. You know, we definitely, uh, they definitely accomplished something here over the weekend. It was, you know, it's just feeling there was uh, you know, some attention. I mean, it was probably one of the, probably the largest standoff between citizens and the government that's happened in probably, well, yeah, you know, Waco was, you know, probably what, but, you know, there's no first thing. A couple more questions, a couple more questions right on that subject, but it's like you were there, so you were there at the standoff with the uh, Bureau of Land Management as the people were trying to get the cows back right up there up front. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, here's a couple quick questions for you. Uh, we had some new reports, they're trying to say, that some of these guys that were with the BLM, basically what we're trying to gather is it seems like some of them may have been, um, maybe they were shorthanded at one point and were quickly hiring some people that, although they had experience, maybe they weren't exactly all Americans either. Is that true? We, uh, it, it, well, we can't prove any of it, but to look at them, we kind of wonder, you know. Um, now, you know, that being said, you know, I'm well aware the military has got a huge mix of all kinds of backgrounds, you know, if they're Americans, that's one thing, but would you also say maybe there's a possibility, because a couple of people said that a lot of them were wearing name tags that were like Smith or Johnson, and maybe they're just totally trying to cover up identity as well? I, I actually didn't see that. I was a little bit further back in the crowd, so I didn't see name tags, so I can't speculate on that part of it. Um, okay, but, but you were there for the standoff. Yeah, the uniforms were, were a little different. They weren't the same as they were today. You know, it, it, it was different types of uniforms. So, and, and that was one of the things that made us wonder, you know, why do we have some wearing one uniform and some wearing the other? You know, it just, it was weird. But, you know, the other thing is, when you're looking down the market as an M16, you know, it's an American on the other end of it. Or, it's supposed to be an American on the other end of it. It's, you know, it's, it's it's not a, it's a you know, it's a really, so you're, you're, you're at checkpoint Charlie where everybody's kind of meeting up once they come in, right? Yeah, there's a, you know, when you come in off the highway, um, you'll come down and you, you can't miss it. Like I said, you'll see the two big flag poles and flags, and, um, and people are usually there, and they're kind of made, it's, you know, not as many people milling around, people are kind of, 
you know, tuck it in the little corners, but, you know, there's still quite a few of them. You know, and, you know, most people are, are you know, are prepared. Mm-hmm. Overall, it's a peaceful scene. Protesters and uh, militia alike are kind of intermingling, and everybody's cool yeah. and kind of looking yeah, out for each other. Right we're, now. we're a very close family that you know we eat together, you know we we hang out together, and you know during the day, if, you know, like today we had a very huge um, uh, press conference. That, uh, it was great. Right. I mean, Sheriff Sheriff Matt was here, and, and he's just an amazing he was guy. There. Yes, he was, and he spoke, and he spoke great. And, um, and, um, Can you give us a little sure. bit about what Sheriff Mack said? I've been calling him directly on his cell phone. I called his wife's phone, and nobody's answering. I understand he's getting later um, now. Can you just give us a couple of seconds? He just said that, you know, that, he said that, we, you know, that most sheriffs need to stand up you know, and, and protect the Constitution and, and become constitutional sheriffs. And states that don't have them, like I think uh, New York voted out the sheriffs or whatever, we need to get them back because they're the only ones that are going to protect the constitutions. I mean, we have we have sheriffs like uh, Clark County here in, in Nevada and Sheriff Gillespie. You know, he needs to be taught. You know, he needs to get going. He needs, you know, this is his last term. He decided not to run again, but we need to make sure that when we, we put our next sheriff in, that the constitutional sheriff. And when you guys, you know, anybody that can hear me, if you're going to have to vote for a sheriff, ask the questions. Find out and don't, he said, don't put the word, have them put it in writing that they're a constitutional sheriff. Don't just let, no, don't let them say, oh, yeah, I'm a constitutional sheriff, and I just send a constitution. Put it in writing, certainly. And if they go to his, go to the uh, Constitutional Sheriff's Association website, they'll actually form or terms if they've done the work for him, he said. And that way, oh, yeah, right. file it. Oh, definitely. And, and, yeah. Yeah. They're so, going you know, to orders back to it. Yeah, we were stored from uh, from uh, Earth Keepers, uh, we were founded this year, and, uh, you know, and, and, and you know, the Earth Keepers are here, and, and they'll keep this on ground, and, you know, if we need more people, they'll bring more people, and, um, but we, we need to be prepared, and even Sheriff Matt said, this is not just here in Nevada, this is everywhere in the continental USA, mostly in the West, because they're trying to get the land back, they want to citizens out of the West, they want the land. Like, everybody out there, talk to your sheriff, talk to your congressman, check your land, you know, get on top of it. Don't let it fall apart. That's what we've done. We've allowed our parents and our grandparents, and, and even myself, our, our, my, my generation, we have allowed this to happen because everybody goes to the key part of the uh, program and it's election time. You look at the ballot, no, I'm a Democrat, I'll vote, I'll vote Democrat, I'm a Republican, I'll vote Republican. You don't look at who you're voting for. And that's why we have the people we have in office. And that's why they're doing what they're doing. It's about money. Right, we've kind of been laser by demofied. You're right. A lot of people are yeah. not realizing, you know, it, it's Coke and Pepsi, man. It, it's the same formula, it's just two different cans, you know, and they're both trying to hurt you. Um, exactly. Regardless of, you know, what other options are out there. We personally, the, the voting, not really working for me anymore. You know, we tried that, we don't, but that was it. There's okay, old, but, but on the on fraud, other aspect, fraud, and, the other, and the other aspect of that, if you don't vote, and people don't vote, somebody's getting put in that space. Okay? And it's going to be somebody... I, I hear that. Right. And we're trying to get and the right people in is, there, and that got I'm taken sure. over, brother. But you gotta find something, you gotta watch, you gotta read, you gotta look, you know, and if you don't find if you don't find the right person, try and find somebody that's running. I mean, you know, that, that wants to run and try and get them in there. You know, or run yourself. You Yet know, another person I mean, who doesn't understand two wings same without getting too deep into it. I wanted to ask you another question. And, and this is on a personal level, not exactly on topic, but I'm just curious. And I'm on mute um, right now. A lot so of they military, a lot of actors, a lot of old keepers and such. We're actually moving for a a guy named without opening a can of whoop ass right now. I'm going to say the name Ron Paul. So are you by chance uh, a fan of Ron Paul? Because I, I feel overall the people in general already voted him in, but unfortunately somebody else took, took that over. I, I felt everybody, you know, overall you could tell he wanted him in there for the most part, but you know, there's a whole because bunch of pirates that are yeah, playing. Politics. With the options, with the options we have, he's definitely the best option. All right, and, forward. All right. I mean, I'm, I'm also. I mean, there's there's a guy out there. He's a patriot. He was born in the military. He's trying hard. He's an independent. He's an independent. Anthony. You know, look it up. Stone Anthony, 2016. 
dot com. Stern, S T E R N. S T O N E. Anthony. Oh, Stone. Got it. Yeah, yeah, Stone Anthony. You're right. Yeah, he came up a couple of times. Yeah. Okay. He's a great guy, personal friend. Um, Try hard. He needs signatures. If you sign, if people would get on his website, and, you know, you're not permitting to vote for him. They're just getting him on the ballot. At least it's another name on the ballot, you know, and that's a good thing sure. because the more votes yep. you can take away, win or lose, if you take the votes away from the Democrats, it helps the Republicans. Two the words: electoral the college. Uh, that's where they rigged the votes. <laughs> you know I mean? it, it, it can change the thing, and you got to vote. You know, I used to feel like you and not one of those because they used to say, what's the point? You know, and now those not make any difference. <laughs> well, it's more like to me, it's man, like if it's on TV, I, I automatically just can't stand them. If they're being, uh, you know, profiteering and lobbied and yada, yada, yada. They're that's voting for TV, which, which wolf's going to eat you, you know. It's going to take no matter what I do as an individual, no matter what I've done as getting more people on board to try to hear what you just said to you. They're still doing their own thing. I mean, I've reached out so broad to uh, what I'm doing you. right now, you, brother, I hear you. and nobody I hear is you. doing it, dude. I do not trust the voting system in any way, shape, or form for shit a hundred years. Sorry, there's a lady speaking. I know. It, I understand you. It was me if I interrupted. Go ahead. Dude. Yeah, I, I agree with you. The system, the system's broken. And until we find a better way, we have to keep doing it. But the thing is, if we stop voting, we let them win. Okay? And, and we've got to let our voices be heard, and we need to unite, and we need to, we need to stop voting. How's that worked out for us so far, bro? How's that worked out for us so far, bro? The reason is because we don't have enough people vote with us. I talk to young people. I, I have a daughter 22 years old. I talk to her friends on a daily basis. And probably out of 20 people that I've talked to, okay, now they're, they're in their 20s, which means for the last three years, four years, they've been able to vote. Out of 20 of her friends I've talked to in the last six months, two of them have voted in any election. Okay? All right. Well, and I'm, people, let, let's do this. Let's do this. We, we agree. But I want to the topic on where you're at right now, bro. We agree. You and, my, you and I could sit over and talk for hours. I know. We do. You know, like an awesome, okay. awesome anyway, guy. Things I already know we got a ton of common books. Things are right. quiet right now on the front, on the front. We are waiting for the red moon to appear. Um, we're supposed to get that solar uh, moon tonight. So we're all sitting here nice, nice. watching the moon. Um, it's a nice cool evening. It's quiet. Um, okay. And uh, our security forces that are out right now, uh, everybody's kind of in bed. Uh, I know that uh, the Bundy's had a nice prayer session earlier this evening. We need with our friends. And, uh, yeah, you know, I think they're just trying to get some rest. It's been a stressful week. And I think the GL oh, yeah. is probably the first meeting that they're actually trying to sit down. Uh, we were sitting with uh, um, and the uh, the son, the one that had been paid six times. Uh, we were with him earlier this evening, my wife and I. And, you know, you could see he finally, he was taking a breath. You know, he was what it comes down time. to, I think, to what, what's the next course of action that you feel from boots on the ground based on all the conjecture, based on everything? Is your logical determination that from this point on it can, or like on a scale of one to a hundred, could it escalate? Is it really over? Like just a personal opinion. I'm not going to, you know, you're not going to us, but we, we know it's not over. It, it, it's so based, based on that, time. based on that threat level, ETA on that, anything that we can conject that could really give us, I mean, should we just keep some people here at all times for the next keep people, month? Keep until? people prepared to move quickly. Um, there is a, there's a, um, you can do on your, on your text, it's 58885 Bundy, you know, that's the, the numbers you type it to, um, type the word Bundy. And you'll get reports directly from the Bundys. Anything else that you hear, and this is exactly this is what the Bundys have told us, and maybe announcing at the uh, at the press conference. Anything that you hear that's going on, unless it comes from that text. Ding 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 ding, ding 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 ding. ding. Now let me ask you this question. Okay. So can you hey, say that again? Say that again, please. Five eight okay. eight five. Five triple eight five. Oh, okay, so five eight 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 five, and then you text the word Monday to that address, and what happens exactly? 
they're, they'll whenever the Bundys want to put a message out, whether it's they're under attack, they need people here for a press conference, um, they're having a prayer meeting, whatever they may have going on, they're sending it through that the text or whomever they get that sent in. So that's the information line that the Bundys are using. They're saying if you hear something on, if you send something on Facebook or you hear something on the news, unless you message inside Bundy, um, it's not true. That's what they said. Um, and that was what was announced and that came out of the rancher's mouth during that whole press conference. I'm sorry? That that happened during the press conference, which I did not yes. watch. So. Yeah, that was something that he told us at the press, press conference. Um, they, and actually, I think his sister is the one that told us. He a sign up here with it all for everybody to see. Um, but I've been on it, and uh, that's how I knew to get here. Uh, and uh, even today, uh, I had left for a little while. Um, and then I got the alert at like 10 o'clock this morning, reminding me that the press happened at 1 o'clock. <laughs> That's exactly um, what we need people and, like that signing in with that kind of data. That puts our 10 steps closer. And we can exactly. And, and that's why we did it. And that's why they said, you know, if there's an alert where they know they have people on the ground and need more people here, they're going to send that alert out and say, we need people and we need people now. And, okay, you know, let me be in level is, with you. You are sharper yeah. than the average tech that we've talked to, you know. <laughs> if we weren't on a public forum, um, I, I would, I, I'll tell you a little more about me, but um, this isn't the place, um, but we'll, we'll right. connect so another way. Let me get this. Are there other, right, it sounds, you know, based on what I'm trying to gather here and based on what we're being told, you've got, you know, again, I'm trying to break it down almost into reading. You've got the locals. Everybody's worried. Yeah, we've seen, you know, stores and all the, you know, workers in retail and such are just kind of freaking out right now. You know, obviously the local sheriff's and community is trying to quell that situation. On top of that, you've got stadies watching parameters, making sure there's no, you know, bugger room convoys of whack jobs. We, you know, that just happened to grab grandpa's tank from the DFW when he's got it rigged up on the, you know, chill out. <laughs> we just want to make sure you guys want peaceful protesters that just happen Absolutely. to bring peaceful <laughs> protesters that just happen to bring defensive munitions that are broken down properly by based on Nevada state law as well as recommending all the state laws from point A to point B. Right. And that they come as peaceful exactly. protesters. Here we have a we have an open we have an open carry law in Nevada. Most of the law is there's no law, there's no law against it. So you can legally open carry your firearms okay? Um, in your time. Um, and if you can try other than that, I mean, you, you have people in day like 15 on their shoulders today. It's on private property, so you're fine. You know? So, yes, you transport them legally if you want to bring them um, naturally. You know, we want everybody to, to execute their constitutional rights. Um, we are, you know, we're battling the Constitution at this point, so we certainly want to use our constitutional rights to the best of our ability and make sure that we all stay safe and sound. Um, and I, I, I want to say one thing, and uh, I don't know how many people are on this line with us at this point. Um, anybody that this movie is coming out here, and if you're thinking of executing your Second Amendment rights, okay, if this thing escalates, if if this escalates to a point where it was the other day, okay, it could go beyond that. You need to be prepared. You know, when, when I come here in the morning, I, I need to tell you the truth. I, I look at my wife and I say, yep, yep, those are the days in, goodbye. You know, because I don't know what the government's going to do. You know, I play the job. It, it doesn't do Nobody wants the martyrs, so there's a lot of, you know, there's a film that came out on one of the first calls that was kind of, you know, I'm an old man, I've been through this, I'm going to go down there, I'm going to go, I don't care, I'll run up in front of all of them. I, I have people uh, here, and you're right, I have, a, I have a 79... A 79-year-old friend of mine, um, he's my shooting partner, and he's in Texas, and he called me other and I woke up this morning, and he knows what's going on. He says, I loaded my stuff, and I'm heading up there. It's like, today's a good day, and I need to die, and I really don't care. And it's because we don't need that. that. You know, I, I hate to say it, there's a lot of that out there that we're trying to quell. And we, we appreciate these wise people. Easier for when this shit actually needs to hit the fan. This is just a, 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 this could have been, could turn into this 
could have been the beginning of it. This could have been. Yeah. You know, what I'm going to say is don't even say it because I don't want to make that happen. We don't want to we follow that game plan. We want to offer you something. All we wanted to show is we want to show a boosting on us. That's what we're looking at. Just to show a boosting on us. We want them to understand that if they come, with whatever they come with, that we're equal enough to stand to each other with them. Yeah, because if they come, uh, let's put this way, if they get 100 and we've got 10, we're done. If they come with 100 and we have 1,000, they're done. Well, back, just way back the way. Is it okay to say something real quick? Sure. Absolutely. That's why you're saying it's <laughs> in manner style. And Am then I saying I'm too much? Am I talking too much? No, I'm no, not. not about no, no, no. on the ground, bro. I was just using the time to get the information typed into um, Dave's message box, and he has acknowledged me already. And wants you to know that he's muted, he didn't think that you knew that he was muted. So hopefully that that will help. Um, but and I'm going to go for the night, but I'm going to be praying. And I've got some of my um, Patriot brothers and sisters that are actually listening. They just messaged me, um, and you guys got pretty much all the information that you need to be able to take advantage of whatever we can do for you and we'll we'll customize whatever you need that works best for you and I put all that in that message to to sure. Dave. So I just yeah. wanted to let you know that and tell you thank you and it's you a great job. I will relay this to the in the morning when I could um they can also do maybe like a if they would rather maybe a pre-recorded um, interview, not not something that is editable that you can edit, but that I don't know how they if they would rather just talk and not like be interrupted and have to take calls. Well, I, so I'm just I throwing just that out there for you. I know. I recorded, the, I, I recorded the press conference today. Um, I got um, Mr. Bundy and I got Sheriff Mack and I got the other things because my team is special naturally. Um, as soon as I'm able. to to here, which will probably be tomorrow afternoon sometime. Down Unmuted. Get it, get it somewhere. Am I audible? Um, and um, go from there. And that way, at least you'll be able to see the, the interview. And you'll hear what I'm saying and, and what's going on in, in those places. Uh, yeah. I, I'm going to try and give you so much data that it's hard to hear from my phone. It just won't let me download it from here. Well, I mean, Mr. Paul, if we can help you work on that at all tomorrow, we will. We will. Tomorrow's show day, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I worked really at long hours today just to get done so that I can work on this tomorrow. But you, like I said, you guys are doing great, and just reach out, and we're good at we, – we started the McCaw. I don't know if you've seen that on Facebook, um, the Malicious Civil Affairs Unit. Um yeah. So, I mean, we have a whole, whole lot of resources and ways that we've been able to sort of connect people. And, uh, you know, anything we can do, we'll be there doing it. Well, and we, and I'm sure they appreciate it. I know I appreciate it. Um, anything that anybody offers. Um, you guys have access to my information, right? You, you know, I, I just friended you. You're, you're the one that says Brian and then Free. I'm not looking at it. Uh, I'm actually Brian. Uh, <laughs> uh, actually, another caller that was on the ground. Um, I know there's a lot. We've actually got four people and two others. Oh, you got somebody else on the ground? Go ahead, talk to them. I'll listen to them for a change. No, 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 no. You are who's on the ground. No, brother. Uh, no. By the way, there okay. isn't a. Um, um, there isn't. I don't want to put my information out there directly. So, um, well, I gave my information to say <laughs> Kelso. Yes, the guy who can't talk, even though I'm unmuted now. <laughs> the man with no voice. Okay, and Tennessee um, Rose is my associate. She says Brian's on her list, too. So. Um, and my, let me tell you how to spell my name really quick so you can find I'm me. not going to you write anything down. I'm actually okay. laying here, watch the moon, and watch the right. fire. So it's well, dark. Well, you can get it from Dave also. If I had your okay. I'll do that. Right. There, we just got more people coming to visit with that fire. So. And you go for it. Right. And you do great. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. All right. Thanks, All right. Thanks for calling. Right. 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 Watch Thank out for you. those Thank druids. You. Thank you. Bye -bye. The number's still here. We'll still be here, buddy. All right, man. You guys are all stickable. So we're here and call for you.
Bye. So am I actually unmuted or are we pretending? Is Howard here yet? Yeah, it gets cool when uh, there's a couple people in the room to speak. Diana, you're uh, you know you're next in line. You're you're in the area. Um, you know that's that's I don't want to give away your location <laughs> or anything like that, but uh, you're in the area. Yeah. And uh, you've been a big help. Um, nobody has any luck catching the uh, tribal office. And yeah, everybody's going to voice now. Timing. Yeah, yeah, can someone on the call acknowledge that I'm being right heard? Here. Otherwise, I'm going to assume that there's still a technical right. malfunction that I'm not What's being that? heard. You can hear me, right? Right. You're, are you oh. in the... I don't think I'm able to be I mean, heard, even though I'm technically that. unmuted. Uh, Otherwise, uh, I think people would be acknowledging. Code, but they've been doing uh, a lot of Morse code, and uh, this situation is still in their call. <laughs> Okay, and now everything just went quiet. Oh, and now the connection to the line actually bombed out. I'm going to have to redial that back in. I'm still on the live stream for, you know, on YouTube, but um, now I have to dial back into the number. I'm thinking we're having massive technical malfunctions tonight. <laughs> oh, and if I can stop getting notifications for just long enough to be able to freaking copy and paste the number because I'm too lazy to look at it and just type it. <laughs> and Jay Larson is messaging me saying no sound. Um, you can hear me, can't you, Jay? Or can you? Okay, you know what? First, I'm going to disconnect the call with Jay. I'm going to try calling him back first. I was trying to get him on the show to freaking begin with, but technical malfunctions all over the fucking place. Jay, are you there? Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm here, you know. Okay, welcome to a, a part of the show that's sort of live streaming on YouTube. I'm going to um, try to bring us back into the, the number and join back in. I, I think it's just been a case of, you know, massive um, technical um, yeah. freaking malfunctions. Um, but, of course... Well, it probably work better if... If I hang up right now, you call to get back in, then you just piggyback me. Yeah, yeah. Um. well, we tried, we tried it that way before, and that's when the malfunctions started. Mm. Um, what, I, what I think I'm going to do, just for the sake of convenience, is I'm, I'm actually going to add the, the call-in number to the show to my Skype contact list which I, yeah. I, I probably should have done to begin with, but, you know, sleepless nights, you're not thinking about these sort of things. Uh, <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually add the phone number in here. Let's see here, CCC call in line. Okay, add number. So now I have the number actually added into Skype so that I could I could click on that and select the thing that says invite to conference. Mm -hmm. And now I have the dial pad. There we this go. This service is provided in high definition by free conference call hd.com. Please enter your access code followed by the pound. This menu will repeat. Access code accepted. Woohoo! 50. Seven participants in this conference. This conference Yay. is being recorded. Q and A session started. What you are achieving by We're back. back. Again, Hallelujah. If you'd like to ask a question, please press one to. What your request has been received. Um, this is this isn't a show, bro. This is just a, a regular conference call that started uh, amongst friends, and uh, you know it, it just 
Can you still hear me, Jay? All kinds of groups from across the country have chimed in. Jay, are you here? It's been excellent. I don't know yeah. how long you have Just checking. On, say? I was I've been doing for, uh, Just checking. Well, since you started. Okay. A couple of days to, or, or earlier today. Uh, no, since 8 o'clock on this one, and then I was on the, the night before last. And so I've been posting that. So you've been along on a bumpy ride. Yeah, well, you know, it's worth it, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know. I mean, I'm from the East Coast, and, and I really couldn't get out there, but I've been to every major event that we've had in this country for the, the past couple of years. Um, you know, we've, we've, we've been involved. Uh, but anyway, my, has, this my, been, has this been a decent source for you this far, thus far? No, it is. In, in fact, I, I tell you the guys on this truth. Um, you know, I, I listen to all the stuff that's going on on the internet. My page is the American American March for the Constitution, and we just became friends the other day, you and I. Um, For sure. So, you know, when you go through everything that, that runs through and all the, the, the madness that goes on on Facebook, you know, um, there's very few people I trust, and, and you guys are one of them, especially when I get to listen to somebody that's actually there. You know, because the white the white vans, you know, going down, you know, that was actually the day when that video was taken was the day the day that uh the cows were released. And it was after the cows were released that that video, which is now viral today, um, and calling for action today, was done Sunday just after the cows were, were released. So you you knew that was bogus because the girl in the video says, I thought this they said this was over. Why is this? Um, so if people just put two and two together, they can understand that's a bogus video. It's not bogus. That's the wrong way to put it, I guess. It's it's timely, ineffectual video. It was good the day that it was done. It's no longer good. Um, so you guys do, do really well in at least keeping it to a minimum, and I actually do come to you to find out, you know, to make sure anything that I'm posting is, is worthy. <laughs> but on that point, your your uh, com guy, tell him that code four means that that it's done. They 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 finished what they're doing on on a uh, situation. Um, and then if I might, code four, they said code four, but and then another one chimed in and was like, "Well, I'm coming by anyway." No, no, that's so, good. I, you, you asked what code four meant, so that I just wanted to point that out. Yeah, I appreciate that. I, 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 I appreciate. It. Um, to a point, since I'm not boots on the ground, I, I can tell you, and, and I think Brian, you probably agree with this. There has has been lots of miscommunication between militia, between groups that are yeah. together. Yeah. And, and yeah. If this was a trial, fuck all y'all. I'm sorry for swearing right now, but I'm sick. Yeah. And, and, but, you but know, see, the least they could do is make a phone call. Everybody who's been in there had the number. Hey, we're just trying to do the best we can, but a lot of people made some promises, but a lot of people did come through, so I'm not going to be mad at everybody, but no, I'm and really and frustrated. It, it teaches us. So don't be frustrated. It teaches us what we need to do. What we need to do now, knowing this, because guess what? BMLs, BLM is going back now, and they're going to sit down, and they're going to do a... a a situation report and they're going to decide how they screwed up let me tell you how they screwed up they screwed up by making the zone of, of the Cowboys higher than the zone of the BLM BL, BLM so as soon as they realized that they had people on overpasses that could literally shoot down upon them they realized they lost the fight so it's our time now to realize to have a sit rep and decide what we did wrong and what we did right. And what we did wrong was all these militia groups need to have a point of contact. Every one of these leaders needs to have a Facebook page that's private that they can go to and they can report to each other about. Because when a militia group goes from state to state, they cannot go as a militia group. We know that. You know what freaks me out now that you said that? What about Fedbook? Really, we're resorting to Fedbook to do that? That's messed up. That's right where they want us. You know, okay, so it's, it's okay, and they coordinate, boom, 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 bam, done. But you no, can't, you, they, yeah. what happens when that goes out? 
No, you I'm can't do it. Yeah, no, nice and place you, we should be. Yeah, no, I, yeah, you can't. You can. I mean, you might be right. I, I'm just saying. I'm just throwing out, you know, the idea. The, the point is, is that that there's got to be a way that we can contact each other to be coordinated. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You, you know what? You, you see, brother, you, you, there's many aspects to all this, and you're right. You're, you are spot on. You're spot on about kind of what I'm trying to move forward about this whole situation. <laughs> and based on the kind of people that have come on in this call really early on, how this really started getting pushed out, a lot of people came forward and said, wait a minute, you're right. I support the Second Amendment. I support these people protecting each other. I support Americans. I, whoa, I just became, I understand. I, I, I am militia. <coughs> That's right. the people looking out for each other, plain and simple. You didn't join a group, dude. You, you got to get off your high horse, all right? I understand the need for a chain of command. I totally do. It makes sense. It makes tongues. It, 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 those things happen. But not everybody wants to play soldier. Not everybody wants to play army. They just want to go about their day. They're up for the self-defense. They're, they're okay with being in a group. Some dudes are lone wolves, you know. Yeah, it, it just, you know, you've got a, a combination of different factors right now that we're looking at the matrix from how I've perceived it thus far. And it, it's like all about who's willing to not only step forward, but also be able to not let their egos get in the way so that the communications Absolutely. can at least move forward like we're trying to do right now. Absolutely. But now looking looking back, you know, based on what you said, I'm terrified. I'm terrified of what's going to happen. I want to start this now, and I'm going to keep going all the way through American Spring when I can, man. Because well, like I said, we're, we're I'm in I'm in uh, Maryland, so so we got to kind of hash this out in some certain ways. There's some certain, a lot of things we should not be talking about, <laughs> but there's a lot of points that need to come up. You know what I'm saying? So if we can help out as a communications hub in some way, by no means you'll be giving me uh, CCOM, You know. I don't want to know exactly how many people are headed where doing exactly what at all times. Okay, it helps to a range and a degree. What we need to focus on is we're out here, they're in there. If you're heading there, we've given you know great instructions on how to go about that. Okay, but now we realize what more they need. So let's say, in theory, just focusing on ground zero, it does turn up a little bit, which is what we've been trying to avoid. Now, if the, obviously, they would consider higher ground, things of that nature. So if it's a no-fly zone, we're kind of out school there. So we need to really not focus so much on exactly what's going on at ground zero. The problem isn't even actually really there. The, the, yeah, the, the, sleight of hand, the sleight of hand that's happened, brother, is people up top are, are, are saying, hey, look down here when there's some serious shit going on, you know, uh, and, and we're not saying it, it focuses on this, it focuses on the encroachments, it focuses on the BLM and other land rights going on. If people are really starting to wake up over land rights, this turned into something a lot different. Right now, in our perspective, it's a lot more about the militias and the structure and the things that's what we're trying to talk about right now. But the fact of the matter is, is you've got this whole matrix, we need to kind of nail that down. Communications is important for this kind of thing, but at the same time, uh, as that's happening, we need to also keep and perceive what's going on in every state, but yet create this communication sub so we can have all those capabilities in one mm -hmm. place yet stay within the boundaries of CCOM. You're right. And, and yeah, listen, I'm, I'm already, I'm already, I live on Willow Street and I represent the militia and I'm mm -hmm. the colonel, lieutenant colonel of four people. Come on, dude. No, that's not that's that's not what I'm saying though. I, See, I, can, I can hear. No, I'm not saying you. I'm just saying I can hear the drones coming to your house. You practically gaming where you're at. I'm trying not to be too obvious with phone numbers and stuff. This is just a radio show, but right. there's a variety of things going on right well, now. It so isn't. It isn't. I want to focus on some things. Uh, I'm pointing with what you're saying though. I am yeah, extremely disappointed um, based on what I've seen about at least people having their shit on point. Yeah. Well, but nobody see, got but out see, of pocket. That's cool. But yeah, but if, you, if you have an overall book of rules, yep. regulations, an overall book, it could belong sure. to anybody. But but if everybody abided by that, and and that's what I mean, you get you got to get together and, and create that book. It doesn't have it. Could, it's a general book. It doesn't have to have names in it. it. Doesn't even have to have who wrote it. But you have to have that general knowledge for everybody to have to, the rules to follow. Otherwise, you just have a have a 
two more. And beyond that, try to be really on point with this. It's got to be taken to court and just got to be dealt with swiftly. If the people want to keep playing the, the army game over here, but over here is where if we're going to make it then. You know, if people well, think, see, this isn't about the LME. This is this is about May 16th, and and, and that's. That's the people, because I'm telling you something. Those BLM guys, they were American. They were just as American as you and I. They had a job. Okay. That doesn't we make like the situation. Internet. It doesn't make the situation correct, because the situation was way too far. But the people who who made that happen, the people who are benefiting from what happened, they're on May 16th, and they're the ones that 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 have to have their faces slapped. Peacefully, again was on. not peacefully, whatever, you know, however it has to go, it, that's how it has to go. But that's here, not there. That's where I live, not where those cows are. So we need to be ready for that, and we need to be lined up for that. We don't have to have the fuck-ups we had there, here. We need to be right All on. Right, you're, you're, here. you're my temporary consultant. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm still going to bring Larry in on the call because you've been hanging for a minute, brother. <laughs> Larry, you're going to be talking. I'm going to ask you both this question. So let's say, first off, let's kind of agree on something. Would you say it might be better if this had been handled in the way that only Nevada really needed to handle their own? If the people would have realized that they are militia and all came together, that's an open carry state. Dude, everybody on the streets should have seen them coming in should have been in communication, should have taken this uh, at, at a larger scale. The sheriff should have been there on point. Why he was standing back, we don't know, but there's definitely something down on that. Somebody had their thumb on his neck, and somebody right. got their thumb on the neck above him, all right? So we, we did cut the time of that letter, so it goes right back to the 10 by 10 parcel square lane, or we're having you know, uh, some issues, you, you could say, with Washington, okay? Uh, D.C., by the way. Now, all that's happened over here, man, it, again, it, it, it's been great, man. The Americans stood up for themselves, the militias came through, but you're crossing, you're crossing state policies as militia. That just put a lot of people in a strange speculation. When you're crossing borders of state borders without these types of... Uh, hang on. Uh, I let somebody else in on the call. You're not on mute right now, so... Uh, yeah, you're not beating the kids again, are you, Diana? I'm just totally kidding right now, but I was throwing oh, no, that out. I'm beating a child. <laughs> Sometimes they deserve it. Because you can't be quiet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as, as far as I know, that there there, there was an actual uh, possibility by, by if anybody had declared that they were out of state militia, that um, Obama could have created an executive yeah, order. I kind of watched that shit. Yeah, what? Yeah, it's just, it, again, come in as peaceful protesters that just happen to have Absolutely. the IDA. Right, exactly. It all along. <laughs> I mean, that, that, really, that really created a risk that was almost unacceptable. <coughs> it turned out well. Absolutely it did. And, and proud, 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 proud. It could not be more proud. But there was definitely some... some uh, <clears throat> Some mistakes made there. Now, m mind you, me, I'm, 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 I don't mean to interrupt anybody. I'm in Chicago, okay? We just got the capability to conceal carry. Right. It's been a trip. I'm in, in touch with a lot of guys from, you know, I go, uh, I carry all those guys, all right? Mm -hmm. Huge Second Amendment supporter out here, unfortunately, uh, in a position that I'm in with some legalities. I'm, I'm not a, a violent offender of any kind, but let's just say I've had some issues in the past. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm not allowed to carry. Let's just say. I'm just an average human being. There's a lot of people out there that either, you know, in Chicago, anyways, are either completely terrified of guns or very much support them but are still scared of them. Or then you've got guys like me that are totally in favor. I think we should open carry just like everybody else. These guys aren't kind of used to the same situation. Not every state is on the same page. We were trying to get to a point where in, in 2014 or 2016 or whenever the next you know true constitutional president ever might happen for the love of God in my lifetime, and I have to sigh when I say that. I, you know I can't even go back to when the, the, the problem exactly even started. I would trace it back as far as Lincoln or prior. 
You know, Definitely the corruption started a long time ago, man. A lot of people might know in a lot of movements that the Constitution hasn't even actually been the true organic Constitution of a republic for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. From what I'm told, when the Civil War started, that was war on this land, okay? Right. The Constitution stated that. if there's war on this land, that the Constitution is null and void, and we go into um, Admiralty Maritime Law, if I'm not mistaken, or is it Maritime Law? I believe it's Admiralty Maritime Law. Right. You're correct. You're correct. Okay. So from that point forward, the Constitution that we all think, and that most guys are swearing an oath to, is that Constitution they think. Well, well, it was suspended. Now, from what I'm told, wasn't that the last official Republic Congress? Wasn't that forty first Congress? If I'm not mistaken, forty forty first, right? Yeah, I'm gonna, you're gonna you're gonna call me on this, and I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to tell you that 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 I have to research that because there is something to that. It was actually reconvened. Um, okay, and, right. And but I, when they reconvened, what had happened? The no, no, no. The it was re wrote, like, yeah, and that's see, and that's that's the thing I'm gonna have to get back to you on, and, and maybe the other caller okay. has. has Information on it, but th there was There's actually a handful of people in right now. There, there was there was actually a, 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 a uh, it, I, you know, I forget what it's called right now, but it, it was it, it was definitely a, a convention of, of call to 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 restore the, the constitution. Well, and let's I, just say I, I'm led to believe that a corporation took over from that point forward. Right. That's when the bankers chimed in. That's when the bankers decided for every social security number. Um, they already had the whole social security gambit in plan then because they knew if they turned it into a corporatocracy, which is exactly what the United States of America Inc. is, that's exactly what started right then, okay? Right. So from this point on, we've all been under a commercial entity by the United States of America Inc. Right. That is not the same constitution our beloved forefathers, uh, even though, you know, you know what their regard is in question. You know that they all tie back to Freemasonry. Everybody's suspicious with that. You know Freemasons chime in. It's not so bad. We read the books. Freemason is freaking the shit out. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, you know you, you go back to all those things and you know what do we do? All right. Well, the last viable thing that was left in the true organic constitution is that we could get a form of actual state in republic. Separated from the uh, corporation, mind you, that's the only reason you can public is if you are some way vetted and removed from each corporation. Otherwise, you know, I think like everybody else, we're unfortunately, you know, can, I, can I be your housing. devil advocate now? Can I ask you a Dude, question? We're cows in a pen. We're cows in a pen. Go ahead. Okay, so, so everybody wants to call for, you know, taking this country back and over. Okay, so my question to everybody that says that is where is our George Washington? Do we know where he is? And where is our Continental Congress? Because we have all these lofty ideas. But once we, once we make this happen, what then? I don't hear anybody talking about what then. What then? Exactly. Does Russia come in and take us over? Do we have something set up where we can cover our fucking asses? What then? Because I haven't heard anybody talk. Huh? I'll throw this out here, brother. You ask, you ask two questions. I'll be happy to try to you know, partially answer one based on my okay. perception. I feel that other countries down below, especially when you go back towards more of the uh, original peoples of those lands, want to, to see us you know, flourish. We are and were, or what were. I'm going to say were. We were the bastion of freedom. Dude. We were the last hope. We were the place you go to for hope and inspiration and to move forward. You know, um, right. my, my Native American brothers don't necessarily see it exactly the same way because now their country has been taken and stolen, and their land has been stolen. You know, which leads me back to the whole corporation, which leads me back to who actually owns the land in the first place because they stole it. I mean, there's contracts that were written that they ripped up long ago, and uh, you know, the guarantee was that they were going to go ahead and uh, take care of that land. You were oh, all the right I agree with that one hundred percent. You you had the right to come because it's nobody. It's everyone. It's it's, it's it is the land. You, what do you mean? You're gonna put up fence and you're gonna tell me that I can't go here? Why? Because
because you want this. This is me. This is mine. I have stuff I want to put things, you know, George Carlin style right now. Um, it, it's just not really. You're right. America's kind of fucked up right now, brother. You're right. America's kind of fucked up right now. And uh, how how can we even, you know, fathom what what's really going on as a whole right now? All we no, know I, is I I agree. We really split up, Doc. But yeah, how but do we no, take ourselves out? Absolutely true. But again, okay. So what government do we install? You know, I mean, I mean, do we have people that are ready to step in? Do we have you know people that are re Absolutely. ready to take take this government? To the to back to back to our original forefathers because again and and, and listen you know I, I have to say original Americans because I was born here this is just as much my land now as anyone else's Think so while I, that, I absolutely I I agree with with everything that was that that, that screwed the, the the original Americans up and over. But but it's I'm not crazy leaving. How that's all happening right now, and now people are freaking out. They're taking our land, and people over here ten miles away are like, "Yeah, no shit." <laughs> yeah, well, I agree with you. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I've been I've been monopolizing this, this time, and and you have other callers. But you know, uh, again, we're on the same page. page. Uh, my record is you know under 100, so we're definitely on the same page, you and I. Here. And you are you are a good good source for for information. Um, so am I being you know, fair to people? Am I being fair to my white people sign in? You know. Oh yeah, so absolutely. I, Shit. Well, you just gave me a bunch of time, so you know. Yeah. No, I I I heard you. Some guy can't called you up and gave you grief. You tried to let him talk. He hung up, but you tried to let him talk. So, I mean, how much? How I much think I hung up on him after he just realized I'm not getting any further. Out no, actually, out actually. I don't think so. You asked him, okay, so tell me what, what, what the issue was, and he wouldn't respond. So, um, But at any rate, I, you know, again, my page is set up that, that anybody can be on it, you know, and they can say whatever they want. I don't care if it's, if it's you know, if I don't agree with it. I'm not going to take it down because that's who we're supposed to be. That's what this country is supposed to be about, and I think you are that too. Otherwise, I wouldn't have friended you. Um, and you, did, right, you, right. Give, you give out... You know, you give out, like you said, you're not taking information just on information's sake. You want you want at least at least two people, and preferably people that are there. So you know, I mean, that's the way I want to be as well. Um, and screw anybody that doesn't understand that. <laughs> that's really a big portion of what it came down to. I'm on the phone. My commander says, "Well, hey, what do you know?" I said, "Well, hey, well, can we find out?" Um, okay, let me make some calls. I got a pretty good network. Look what happened. <laughs> no, right. If you've been here as long as most people, man, we've had some pretty awesome people from all over, uh, you know, chime in. That this has been so beneficial for me and a lot of other people. I can see people that have actually been on, you know, I'm go down for you know 22 hours nonstop, even listening when I'm not here. Right. Yeah, no, that's you know, great. They want to know what's going on. Right. And, and and that's that's good. I'm glad America's waking up. That's exactly what we need. No matter how we do it, and by the way, because I'm not for violence. I think we can get rid of. Listen, I think there's no better opportunity right now to to get rid of both these parties, because that's really what's screwing our country up is these two parties. They don't work for us. They work for for one percent, and they they do, I and mean, you can see it by their actions. Um, and the left is just as ready to get rid of them as the right is. And that's I don't think what people understand, and that's who we got to connect with. We got to connect with the people who don't agree with us, for the simple reason of saving our country. Because on that, I think we all agree. We got to stop the little squabbles over the stuff that doesn't matter right now, and get right down to the save our country. Because I think everybody agrees on saving our country. Let me throw this question out there. You know, first off, it's Continental Congress. I, I keep misspeaking. It's in Constitutional Congress, but. Everybody knows what I mean. When I do say it, you know, based on, I, I think this is a, uh, a a fairly hopeful, possible, undeniable <laughs> uh, thing that, again, if, if if that could be achieved in our lifetime, man, that it could change the course, good, 
for humanity or even deeper down the rabbit hole. And as of right now, all I know is like that's kind of a last bastion for America because if we don't have a continental Congress, it's just going to keep going the way it is. And it could be the violent outcome. And that's only worse the way I see it. Now, that, well, see, because what here's, from that? Here, and here's what I think about that. And this is really uh, why I'm so... Ten seconds. You, you, sure. you, say what you gotta say. I got to click to the other line. I'll be right back. All right. So uh, my thoughts on, on that is, is, is that uh, the reason I'm so passionate about the way I feel is because I see that happen. And I see it. I see oh, the violence see coming. And I don't see it in my see. time because I'm an old freaking man. But I have kids, and that's who I'm worried about having to fight this fight if we don't fight it right now, is my children. And I will not let that happen. I will not let my, my children have to fight this battle that we today have allowed to be, be made. We've allowed our government to take us over. We've allowed them to take us over. Yeah, I've been talking while you're in and I, but I said it, that, that the thing is, for me, is, is it's my children. You know, I don't want them to have to fight the violence of a government that I, I allow to screw, get screwed up. My children are more important than, to me than that. And if I'm working hard every day to make a better life for them, but I allow my government to screw them, what have I done? What have I accomplished? I've accomplished nothing. For everybody on the live stream, had to give that little patriotic background music to the epic speech here. You know, where do we kind of go from here? But I would like to theorize with like minded individuals that are wise that have the same frame of mind as myself or any other, you know, that might be able to chime in. You know, as a whole, hopefully we move forward and ascend to knowledge and find a resolution that will work for everybody involved. That would be one. And I'm leaning forward. I'm leaning forward towards the Continental Congress. This is the most powerful tool that has been left behind that could really truly establish the republic for the people, by the people. And just all we have to do, in my eyes, is to get that long list. Of treaties and people who have performed these treaties. <clears throat> we need to call them out. We need the appropriate people to actually put people in. Because, you know, when you really look at the DC police, let's think about it like this. Everybody knows it's not even a state issue. <laughs> right? That's true. It's a tiny problem, right? It's just, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, isn't that about as big as a, uh, a rancher's uh, property? 10 miles square, so. That's a lot smaller than the property that I think we're all focusing on right now, right? Right. So, no, well, definitely. There's 600,000 acres. That's not even a state. And all it takes is to find leaders in each of these individual states. And if you think of it, you know, think of it kind of logically where each of these states really are their own countries that have come together as a union, correct? That's correct. So, with all these people that we do, all these you know, representing uh, entities that we call states would have just chime in together and let's say let's say I could coordinate a conference call for every state and monitor each one of them <laughs> as often as possible. Okay? Let's just say. Which Lord knows I would probably try to pull off. <laughs> That'd be awesome. But so if each state each state now each person that could call and partake in a conference call with focusing Primarily on their own state, right? And again, getting back to you know ground zero and that whole thing. You know, part of the problem is is that they had to call for backup outside of their state, right? Well, right, but they shouldn't have had to. Right. So yeah, that's right. Absolutely. If that's what would happen, we have the border on lockdown, Missouri, and uh, you know uh, Wisconsin and Michigan and Indiana and Tennessee and everybody else would have signed in already. We got you, dude. We're keeping in there. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Well, <laughs> then, all right, we need to perform our own drills and make sure nothing pops up when they have their drills, okay? So <laughs> that's one way to say some things, but 
you know, we need to trip up our guns. People need to start trusting each other again as Americans. Like, when 9 11 happened, it wasn't about what color you were. It wasn't about what you better be American if you're walking around right now. You know, and I'm not seeing outside of an ethnic background necessarily because you can really tell you if you're Spanish, you can tell their people, you know, you say the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> You know, they can't, they're probably not American. So, that being said, regardless, it, it's just a matter, it, it, it all comes down to our perception of what the hell just happened. I wanted to kind of bang out the fact that communications were down. Each state needs to work on that himself. I don't want to know. I don't want to be the pinpoint. Y'all do that on your own. But we didn't very, we didn't show a very good chain of command on the outside going in. Uh, in the beginning, they had it. There's going to be more people there. We're sending more radios. We're trying to fix the problem. Some leaders are showing up, which is awesome. Leads that we know about that are, um, you know, trying to tackle it. There's units that work together that can establish a better chain of command. That's what they need right now. You know, our prayers have been working so far. So if that was where I was going to go, I personally am hoping this doesn't escalate, and I don't. As of right now, personally, feel do you based on what you've heard, sir, feel like this is would escalate any time soon? Um, well, here's the deal, and, and and you were talking about the Harry Reid thing earlier, um, and, and wondering if it was true or not. I posted the 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 uh, Nevada, Reno Nevada News four interview with him, and it's on your page, um, so you have that, but I guess you can't get to that till till uh, you clear out some some mm -hmm. stuff. But, in, in fact, you'll find that that was, in fact, the truth, that he did say that. But what he didn't say is would it be legal through the courts or, or how it would be. Um, my gut feeling is, at this point, it would be really stupid of them to go back in in, in a, in a military-type action um, because they know the United States is watching, you know, the people of the United States are watching now. So, I mean... Has, have, has the government done dumber things? Yeah, they have, but I don't see it happening here. I think this is going to go to the courts now. Um, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's over by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and who knows what will happen after that? So that's my feeling. And I, that's all we can do is you know our word, our name, and our opinion. But I appreciate that. Um, I'm going to keep you chimed in. I actually let another 815 call it out for me for a minute. 815, that's Chicago suburbs. <laughs> yeah. Is that 815 call it? Yeah, go ahead, speak up. That's not too, that's <laughs> so, not too yeah, far from me. Up. That's where I got my first tattoo. I know, that's what you told me last time. Um, I just want to say my thoughts and prayers go to everybody at the Bundy Ranch, and I really credit all the people that have are there. Of course, I just, my thoughts and prayers, like <clears> I said, I say them every night with them. But um, I just want to talk to you, uh, to the gentleman that was just on. Can he hear me or no? Yep, I got you. Uh, okay. I'm going to talk about Stone Anthony again. Boots on the ground that talked about Stone Anthony. People need to wake up. Stone Anthony is a, is a a guy that is so awesome where you know there's going to be 50 million to the right which is republican or democrat 50 million to the left we have 115 million people that do not vote and we need to wake them up we need signatures on this don anthony's ballot he's a true american he's a veteran he's a patriot he's going to be riding america for america we've got to get these people out of there I've already signed for Stone Anthony, but my, my only question about Stone Anthony is okay. not Stone Anthony. My, Stone Anthony is, 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 would be great. Um, my question is, you know, there's 533 more other seats that have far more, well, is supposed to have far more um, power in this country than the president. Now, that's not true with the current president, but that's the way it's supposed to be. They're the ones that are supposed to make the laws and pass the laws and, and, and make all the things happen. Um, so beyond the president, the seat of the president, we need to fill up that, the House and the Senate as well. They all must go for this well, to work. He wants to clean house. Well, see, from the from the president, and that's that, but from the president's seat, he he does not have that power. Well, 
Well, you know what? He's going to be riding America for America for two years. You know what? He's got a plenty on board right now, and I'm sorry, but you know what? I'm sorry. I'm, no, I've signed, I've signed a petition for him. I, you know, I'm all, you know, again, I, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll boost for him. That, that's that's one seat. That's all I'm saying. We have we have a lot more to go than than. But you get signatures for him. Those signatures can go to other people. Sorry, I'm sorry. Did I interrupt you? I'm sorry. No, no, no. I, I want to before you guys um, go on. Uh, I don't know who Stan Anthony is. I mean, someone tell me who Stan Anthony is. He's got a web page, and and I'm sure she. I I don't know what it is right off the the bat. I but he. And, and it, yes, and it, it, it's good read. Well, he, he's 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 petition. He's trying to get people to sign for the petition for him to get on the ballot. But if you read if you read his his uh his web page, it's 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 pretty good. He's he's he's, he's right on. So I'll give I'll give him those kudos. Well, I'm just you know what I'm just trying to get it out there because you know what we need a true patriot in there. We don't need this absolutely. I agree with that 100%. We got to get this Democrat Republican to get get them out of there. Right. Bad. And that's you know what with the Bundy Ranch, I am really just so my heart is out, heartfelt to these people and all that's going on in this this whole world. That's all I wanted well, to say. That's all. Well, by the way, we appreciate the way you're telling me. Go ahead, sir. Now I was just going to say that just for her that that we. We, my wife and I, uh, were with the two million bikers um, uh, when they rode on DC. Oh, um, we, you know what? Great for you. You know what? I, uh, I was on that all day supporting you guys because I could not be there, and I know their traffic cams were shut down, and I called Washington. Well, did did you see my wife's video? It was 27 minutes long of bikes going by. Yeah, I probably did. I watched all of them. I really that was my wife's video. We also fed the truckers when that when they had the the uh, the uh, their constitution. Of, I mean, they're uh, right on, on, on Washington, D.C. We, we fed them for those three days. My wife cooked for three days. Well, kudos to you guys, man, I, and God bless you. So, so Stone, Stone Anthony is, is a good man to me. I just want you to know that. But my only point is, is and, and something we have to remember, is it just does not end with that one seat. We have to change everything. I agree with you. I'm going to be voting in 20 in this year. And I'm going to, I'm going to, do my, I'm going to put my vote in against them. Good, good, good job. You know, you know that uh, the question of, of uh, getting the word out to wake up those uh, other hundred and some odd million people that are not voting at all. Um, well, it, I think a lot of it is, is, is maybe, uh, and they're scared, and, and they think that the vote doesn't count. But I do believe that just in the last few years here, uh, a lot of that has changed. It, it, a lot of people are starting to wake up, and it's, it seems like this conference call here. It's the social media that's doing it, because the mainstream media wants to just keep them all as dumb as possible and, and, and watching stupid stuff. And, and uh, I, I think that the social media movement... Your conference uh, recording has stopped. Yeah. I was going to say something brilliant, but now you're not recording it, so I got nothing. This conference is being recorded. Oh, okay. So I set out to hit the maximum point for the next few. If anybody wants to... Uh, Jump in on the last call. You've got the codes for this call now. It's uh, same number, 559-726-1300 um, to call in. The 552-251 to continue for a couple more hours uh, into the night here as we kind of just let everybody gather their thoughts. This doesn't have to be about ground zero right now. Um, we kind of know where they're at. They're sleeping. It's cozy for now. We'll see what happens tomorrow, America. But uh, if you want to play back the number, you press 559-726-1399. And then the uh, audio key was uh, pound 916 and then pound again to get this portion of the uh, phone call. This is uh, segment 9, I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, for some reason, Kelso was keeping on top of that. I don't know where he went. Um, I'm yeah, in point, queue. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm on eternal freaking mute. See, I told you people uh, yeah, on the ahead. stream, he has no idea that I'm muted. This is like technical difficulties. About the yin yang, I'm not mad at Brian or anything. We're, we're he has no idea you know, um, that I'm muted. Yeah. None, uh, zero. You by chance know it. It's it not his fault. He has no mm -hmm. idea. Yeah, that's great. Uh, it's, mm -hmm. it's, 
right in my zone. Uh, I'd be happy to, you know, meet up with some fans sometime. You know, you tell me about the woman who's trying to do with you. Sound like I'm a great person. Out, out, no. you, know you know what? You know, you know what I have a you know what I have a mind to do. I really appreciate it. You know what I have a mind to do, Jay? To conference in Brian's cell number. I mean, I didn't want to cause that kind of chaos, but, uh, you know, he's wondering where I am. There's only one way I can answer him. Catch you later, Jay. God bless you. Are you, are you adopting? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so this is going to be I'm fun, gonna folks. I'm going to call Brian. Brian. All right. 6831, I appreciate you chiming in through there, uh, 1946. Is there anything you want to interject? It's been a pleasure. No, brother, I, I, I think that's, that's, that's as bad as much time as I need. All right, but I, do, um, I appreciate it. And I appreciate all we've all done, brother. <laughs> it's going to be funny. Dave, I'm on the show right now. I've actually got this all conferenced in and chaotic, and I'm live streaming, and the people on the live stream can actually hear me. I've been on eternal mute forever. Um, I don't know if your cell phone's going to notify you of this voicemail or anything like that, but um, unmute me. I didn't disappear. I've been in, like, mute, limbo, purgatory, whatever. Um Unmute me if you want me back on, because I'm like stuck in freaking purgatory, limbo, digital cyber hell here, okay? All righty. Hopefully talk to you soon. Later. Richard Mack, the Constitutional Sheriff and Peace Officer Association, said that he he had received intelligence from multiple credible credible sources from the DOM in the Las Vegas Metro that there is no question that the federal government is planning a raid on the money home and the homes of their children who live on the property. This was two hours ago. This is Fort Clavin Bundy. And the response, the, uh, Fort Clavin Bundy's response under that, you know, how that is, he says, it says, she, he, whatever, this page is not fake, don't be stupid. Look at our post and judge for yourself. We've been posting the blog text number for the ranch updates from the beginning. So, that's what I got. What, what, is, that that, what is that that Anonymous says? Expect us? <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. And that's Scary. kind of the sum of the balance we're, we're keeping an eye on as well. I mean, obviously the new comms were an issue. We're sending comms. We're sending people. We're sending qualified people. That's what they asked for. That's what we're making sure it's heading up that way. A lot of states are chiming in. They know we're here. We're not. Okay, folks, on the stream, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try an, uh, something interesting. Um, Brian, obviously, while I was leaving the message, I was hearing him on the radio at the same time, and he was saying that the conference stuff is kind of, hating on Skype numbers a little bit right now. So I'm going to try a very interesting, bizarre little experiment. For those of you that are familiar with the Google Voice, um, it's a free Google phone number, and that's like my main line that dials into all my other lines. But needless to say, if I dial in 
to my Google Voice, there's an option for me to make an outgoing call. And I can make an outgoing call to the show that way then. So maybe his little conferencing software is not going to be hating on on Google Voice. So um, we're uh, we're going to try that this way. Um, this is this is getting amusingly ridiculous, but it's almost impossible to be frustrated because this is like way too damn funny. So I'm actually going to call my own number here. Hold on. Uh, okay, I'm going to hit call. Hello, please state your name after the tone, and Google Voice will try to reach. Please hold. You oh, are being redirected. Oh, crap. That's not going to work. I can't dial into my voice. Oh, that's right. I can only dial into my voice. Ah, oh, what the heck is going on? I should be able to, like, hit the thing and get it. Maybe... Maybe it's doing the anonymous thing because I know that my voicemail is set that if it's totally like an anonymous, unrecognized number, that instead of you know giving it the usual voicemail prompts and you know whatever, it just like like you know sends it directly into into purgatory. There, a bit of a deterrent against um, you know telemarketers and and crap like that. So apparently. Um, the Skype uh, is registering stupid in that. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> um, okay, that's freaking weird. I'll have to troubleshoot that later. So I'm just going to try yet again to just call back the freaking show number and retype in this thing. And, and, you know, they all say third time's the charm, right? <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll get it. Roll the dice. Let's see where they land. Okay. Um, let's see here. Call in line. I've got it in my address book now, so I can just click that. It's all good. This service is provided in high definition by freeconferencecallhd.com. Please enter your access code followed by the pound. This menu will repeat. Access code accepted. There are 47 participants in this conference. This conference is being recorded. Q&A session started. If you'd like to ask a question, please press 1 to ask. Your request has been received. You weren't, you weren't on here. We talked about that quite a bit. It was really weird. And then it was like, all, we were talking about that. And then all of a sudden I said, oh, shit, it's blood moon tomorrow, man. It's just, you know, you put it all together and it's, just, it's scary. Uh, yeah, the Illuminati's and their sigils. I, I think it's still scary, don't you? Uh, to a degree, I think some mantras or peacefully sleep in there at night or camping out in the street, yeah. sitting on their campfires, drinking hot chocolate, watching the red moon. Everything's quiet right now. And, oh, I hope they're all getting some sleep. Of it. I wish I could see that moon right now. I wish I could smell the desert. I kind of don't wish I could smell coffee, but everything else would be great. Well, I'm kind of I'm in the desert too. It's it's similar country to the Bundy Ranch, but uh, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I, I'm glad they're all at home weird. safe and and getting rest tonight because oh my God, those poor people. When you heard Clive and 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 uh, Amon talking, oh geez, their voices are hoarse. They're exhausted. They're just you can you can hear it, man. I felt so bad for them, but man, they just rock today getting. You know, when they were being interviewed and shit, it was just, man, awesome people. I, I want to I wanna meet those people so bad. Oh, yeah, they pray a lot. They seem like very honorable honorable people trying to do the thing, you know, from their perception, doing the right Christian thing as well. You know, they've been yeah. kind people. They've been awesome hosts. I've heard, you know, we're getting Ooh. so, as of right now, in my eyes, again, I'm just some guy in a conference call, you know, but based on everything that's happened, I think they're peacefully stay at home. Security's headed back. More people are headed there, but they're coming as peaceful protesters that just yeah. happen to have their defensive weapons in the trunk broken down properly, according to state law, and having all the correct information so that right. they can yeah. land it. Yada, yada, yada. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to jump in with a caller that's been holding for like 10 minutes about, so I'm going to let you okay. chime in there. Maybe that's me. I don't know. You can't keep me away from this shit now. You got me into it. Sorry. I'm I'm in. If you could actually do me a favor, I gotta admit, you know, um I 
I swear a lot. And I've been really trying not to get this big fight with everybody. I'm going to mm-hmm. ask, you know, a couple people did complain in the past. Yeah, I've seen complaints as well. Um, on Facebook, I've got some really mouthy people that I'm just trying to uh, coordinate with and cooperate with nicely so we can all play. Q&A session is over. Q&A session started. The hell? That was cool. Anyways, uh, a couple of people there. If you'd like to ask a question, please press 1 to your request has been received. Um, I just checked the Q&A to try to get uh, Chicago 1 back in the queue, man. I see you. I'm clicking all over. You can hear me clicking. Oh, we know he's there. Damn straight. It's weird, but all I can say is, like, explaining my switchboard, there's check boxes, right? And I can bring everybody in and unmute them. When I'm clicking this checkbox, it's already gray as if I've already clicked it. No matter how many times I click on it, it just sits there. I'm having, I don't know if it's okay. I'm thinking it might be Skype because I see the number comes in different than any other numbers. Uh, there's just like four or five of them that have the plus sign in front of them. I'm trying, man. I'm, I, I'm clicking your key. There's four more clicks. And it's not changing the icon to unmute. And I apologize for that. For those of you that just got thrown out of the queue, I just apologize. Press star six real quick. Uh, if you want to chime right in, and uh, you'll be the I'm going to try something different. I'm going to call my handheld phone. Hopefully, there's not too much of a lag delay. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Four, five, oh, eight. We're also in the queue. Hi. Yeah, I just wanted to ask everybody. I, I was hoping that maybe you would lead a prayer each night on this call. I I just want to highlight, I would hope that everybody would include God in this, and not just include him in it, but put him at the forefront. We're not going to win this with violence. The only way we're going to win this is, is through voting and, and changing. You know, we have representation. We need to use that avenue, and uh, I appreciate everything you guys are doing. If, if I led a prayer, I think it would be just the crazy Christian guy that called in, but a lot of people respect you. Brian, and I, I think if you if you did it, it would be better received. If I did what, man, the first Native American president of the United States or Republic? If, if you just led a prayer each time. <laughs> I just didn't. I was praying for that, though, once. Um, go ahead. Pray for what? A peaceful resolution? Uh, pray for what? Project, what should we pray for exactly? Whatever is prevalent in the day. I mean, absolutely a peaceful revolution for for just change, for, for whatever is relevant that day. I think that it would remind people that, that we need God in this situation, and in all situations of our life. <coughs> yeah, I, and I totally hear that. And, you know, there's a lot of different people from different backgrounds. Um, of course, I want them to chime in as well. I don't, you know, although, you know, some of you lean towards Christianity in some way, uh, I, mean, I don't consider myself a religious person. And I apologize if this has some some people out. Um, you know, I'm trying to be open and honest with you know, it's just I pray in my own way and, and you know, I feel it's the right way or a good way, you know, so to speak. I, I think of that person directly. Um, instead of putting it up in the air and then you just went through and somebody else on it, um, I kinda of take the initiative to, to direct that the best I can. So, you know, good vibes towards that area is what I would say. You know, if, if you say you pray, you know, you know, if, if you say their name and things like that, that's what we're working for you. That is not what's working for me in the past. But, uh, you know, say how you want. You can actually like to say it, say it. You know, in the name of uh, Jesus, can you, can you do it? Are you good at that? I, I always do a horrible person at everything, even if that's what you ever think. I just want to say, just because we're on different roads, doesn't mean we're lost. So, you know, I, I, <laughs> thanks back to anybody's view. And I, Fully understand that, and so, but I, I will pray this evening. I do every evening for a peaceful revolution and, and change in this country. But I truly feel the way that we're going to win this is through, through the courts and through our current representation. And if you don't feel they're representing you, then change who's in office. And, and that's how we're going to win this fight. But certainly not through violence. You know, I, I keep hearing that. I've heard that since my, uh, you know, parents were fifty and pot smoking hippies back in the day, man. How's that working for us now? Well, I think a lot of people are aware. We're deeper in the hole, brother. 
And I, I truly believe that a lot of people have, have bought into the idea that their vote doesn't count. There's a lot of, you know, people watching Jersey Shore and, and silly things like that, that that don't even understand what's going on in this country. And that's really the problem, not that, not that we're not voting for the right people or it's that people aren't voting at all. People aren't paying attention and it's just being, you know, a wool pulled over all of their eyes. It's a matter of waking oh, people wait, up. Wait, wait, wait. We got a connection. Let's see how badly this screws up. Uh, uh, no, no, that's awesome. Uh, I'm hoping that's some sort of landline because nobody else will be able to do what that last phone number did. Yeah, yeah I mean, you'd probably have to reset your entire interface and completely cut out your, your call, drop your control panel, reboot, whatever, and come back in in order to get that unstuck. But hopefully you're not getting a lot of feedback on your end. But um, right now it's like I'm I'm hearing you and myself in like double time like crazy. Hopefully that's not feeding back horribly into you. Uh, we we actually do kind of hear the echo, but uh, oh wow, I'm actually just I'm trying, I'm trying to muffle it as much as I can. Is it is it like uber, uber major obnoxious or is it bearable? <laughs> What's it a bearable or it's not? I want to echo too. Can I echo? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, go for it. I uh, I don't want to interject on what you just said about um, uh, people people not uh, voting. Or, or, you know, uh, I don't, I think that there's a lot of that has to do with uh, you know the Russian Trisha Shore that has the uh, uh, but I don't think a lot of people know how to vote. And I don't think a lot of people know how to research the candidates. And I think uh, I think a lot of that is fear of, of you know getting it wrong, laziness of it happening to actually go out there and, and, and do it. And, uh, and education, as far as uh, you know, how to, it's not, it's not taught, I don't think it's taught in school on, on how to how to actually vote, you know, how to how to actually go to the ballot, you know, what to look for, you know, things like that. I mean, I'm sure that's not something that's going to be taught in schools or anything. I, I believe that uh, with the way everything's going uh, for the last couple of years, that we're definitely going to end up seeing a lot of You may now ask your question. Voting, just Muted. Social media is, is, is mm -hmm. driving so many people to, to pay attention whether they like it or not. You know, I, I agree. agree. I agree completely. Did I echo? That's the important part. No, uh, unfortunately, man, I'm not really sure what is going on with uh, Chicago, and but I'm seeing like, I don't know, man, there's some weird stuff going on on the keyboard over here. I've got to push, I think I've just got to push one of them out. I'm seeing duplicate numbers at this point, and it's taking into the queue. I can't really explain that. Uh, man, I don't want anybody to get this mixed. But as of right now, i got 4508 and 2087. Both you guys go ahead and stay in the call if you want to stick with us. Um, the seven seven three man, you're doing all kinds of weird stuff on this keyboard. Uh, this is anonymous. No, I'm just kidding. It's not anonymous, but um, for some reason I feel like I'm being hacked. <laughs> I don't know what to tell him. See, I, I, there's, there's things that are, I, I can't really explain this for, but I didn't. Maybe he just hung up, but I didn't do that. I got. Ooh, these lines that are in. I bring in a caller. His is again stuck in gray. I'm trying not to mess with him, but he was causing feedback. I put him on mute to unmute him, and he's gone. So, ah, I don't know what to tell you. Um, you all right, I'm gonna bring in another caller that's got a normal icon that looks like a normal phone number. Uh, two six one five. You are unmuted. Hey, hey, hey. I I, I know, I know. But I just gotta tell you this in case you missed it. Um. Tennessee, I guess they took off at 10:25 p.m. That was about okay. two and a half hours, uh, maybe two and a half hours, two hours and 45 minutes. It's uh -huh. on the. It, they typed it in on the uh, at one place you put me. Uh, community conference mm -hmm. calls. Right underneath where the number is, you scroll down. Right. Go all the way down, and it's it's Andrew Patterson. Okay. He said, I guess Tennessee's on the way. 
Awesome. Don't tell me how many guys is, you know, make sure No, I don't know. I don't know. It just, see, that's what was weird at the time. Well, that was some mysterious shit. At least it worked temporarily. But it was only like 10, 15 minutes ago when it popped up on my phone. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, I mean, I might talk some off the wall stuff, but I'm just throwing it out there so you guys can study it. <laughs> All right, do you have the capability to contact? Are those your boys? Is that what you're saying? I mean, um, well, these are all, they're all friends with me. They're all with their state militias. So. All right, no well, doubt. Again, I mean, you, can look, you can go through my, my, my page and look at all that, all that I'm, I'm connected with. So. I hear you, man. It's like and, I'm, uh, not like I'm a hacker or nothing like that. You know, I may not get it all no, right. No. Nobody does. <laughs> but I just, no. I just thought I'd tell you that because it was weird because it says 1025 because I clicked on it as soon as you, the, my little icon come up on top of my phone and I didn't think about it at first. I just dialed the number. That's why I hung up. I was like, well, that's got to be wrong because that's, that's you know, so many hours ago. And I looked at it again. I said, no, that just popped in there because I looked where you hit your button and scroll it down and it was right there before the other people I was messing with. Or, you know, after, like one, like a top. <laughs> Like on your phone, right. you slide that bar down to the top, it'd be up there on the top. It's like, wait a right. minute. It's after yeah, when I talk to any people about the local reason or about the Well, hey, 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 you know, sorry for the misunderstanding. You're doing a good job. I'm covering you anyway, even though you was mad at me. So just just bear with me. This is what this is. I'm not, I'm not mad at you. What are you talking about? It, it's, it's all good, man. We're, we're, all, we're all human. We're all citizens. We, we got to work together. We're not all going to see eye to eye, but we're all on the same page, even though we don't seem like it sometimes. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we all can find common ground. Let's stop finding shit to argue about and find common ground and work forward, you know what I mean? Yeah, so I told you, don't take it with a grain of salt. Remember what I typed out? I said, take it with a grain of salt. I mean, it's there. It came from somewhere, and they, they want to keep us confused, too. So it's, you know, we just take... There's enough of a to analyze this stuff, so it's, let's just not worry about, okay, well, this person put it out there, let's just analyze it, get through it, and that's teamwork. Well, Tennessee? Yep. Hey, Tennessee, I, I don't have to keep myself thoroughly confused all the time, that way I don't have to worry about making mistakes or answering for it. But I did have a <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Uh, you're on your Facebook. Do you have your, your uh, uh, do you have a set of top stories or, uh, we have it set to, um, what is it, that news feed, top stories or most recent? That might uh, be a difference in why you saw that so late. No, this this year, this year with them leaving, this is on the, the community conference call site. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, but when, it, when it came on my phone, I looked at the time, it was like with, when I called in that one time and hung up, that was me. I was just like, no, nah, man, that, that just doesn't seem right. And I didn't want to just throw some stuff out there and you buy, like, hang up on me and all that. And because I, it just popped on my phone. And I was like, no, I better tell them just in case, just in case, you know. You know, if they don't like it, that's fine. At least I, I let them know. It's better to let you know than not say something. Oh. But you guys are doing great, man. This is just, this just. I just can't believe this is going on in our country. It's just unreal. You, you can stay in here with us. Uh, there's only so many people in the queue to speak. If anybody else wants to chime in, press star six. Uh, as of right now, it's myself. This is one five two eight seven. Up north, and then north from what's up there, north. Just for fun. If you'd like to ask a question, please. Uh, your request has been received. In there. Yeah, I think I think you all is awesome. I mean, it's. One thing my dad told me before he passed away a little three years ago, he was in the Air Force, I told him, and uh, he said, son, he said, the more you learn, the more people going to think you're crazy, but don't worry, they'll catch up sooner or later. And so, you know, because he said, well, ain't nobody going to get it all right. And I'm telling you, man, they got it all twisted up. One thing I want you all to know for a fact, and I think you guys already know it, the globalists, the elite, the government, whoever you want to say, they're all intertwined, the bankers, we all know this, it's just common knowledge, how they brag about it, you know what I'm saying? They're not, one thing they're not, they're not stupid. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I just kept saying, just be careful. We just all got to watch each other's backs. And 
even if it's stupid, we got to throw it out there and then say, okay, just type a little note saying, no, that, I don't think that one's good. I think that one's bogus. And then it'll be like, okay, well, that's cool. And you know what I mean? Because there's a lot of stuff I posted there and I heard you talking about it tonight. And you're like, somebody else put it in there. And that's why I typed in on your other web page there. I was like, yep. You know, it's like, I, I tried to throw that stuff out there. And then I heard, well, don't believe all them ads. And then boom. And, then, and that one lady said, nope, it, it's for real. It's got a time and date on it. I'm thinking, I'm doing my best. I'm just trying to throw it out there. You know, I didn't make it. I just, I just, you know, pushing it along. You know, because when I watch all these videos, when I go on YouTube, it's like when I, every time I, I refresh it on YouTube, it'll pop up. So whatever somebody puts out there will come to the top of the screen or in my little box area. So it'll be like within five or six or whatever. You know, and I'll look at all of them. And I'll be like, well, you know, that dude ain't really credible, but he's saying the same thing now and it's walked on both out there. And then, because I watched both of them, I thought, okay, that part's similar, that part's different. Okay, well, he kind of changed, though, off that last video. <laughs> so then I'll go back to the same guy I'm, I'm used to. Working. I know, I know, I started with Alex Jones, too. I mean, he's, he's still human. He just, I think he's just been doing it for too long. It's driving him crazy. You know what I mean? He, he knows too much. <laughs> you know? But he, he does me well. I've seen him. I, I mean, I watched Jay, are you in? And I yeah, I'm in. Some days yeah, I noticed you tried to call, good. but I'm already on the lines uh, with parents. the yeah, show, so it's not going to work. Hey, if anybody's got kids, mm -hmm. and you know what's really going Yeah, it, the moon that's starts to... Uh, just just oh, yeah. It's starting to go in there. Oh, so, yeah, I mean, you know, with with the blood moon and all this, you know, violent stuff that they want to do on the on the Bundy Ranch, I think it's one of them sigils, and hopefully we fucked it up for them. <laughs> Bastards. Go have your fucking satanic blood ritual somewhere else, bitches. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I've been up there. Remember, I told you, man, I drove a truck up there for a minute, and you don't want to stay a stop sign too long. Because all these false flags, <laughs> they do it on these pagan blood a ritual a sigil holiday freaking Babylonian crap. Yeah, well, did you I read, remember, we're all did you the read the Cobra update? Patient. No, I didn't. Keep one ear open and one eye open and just take a good with the bad and the different. I've been a little busy with all here. this. <laughs> oh, okay, you know, let me get it for you. Right, I appreciate you. Yeah, toss it on Paradigm Shift. Uh, I think I already, already did. did. Oh, well then, I'll check it out later. Do we know each other outside of the conference call? The what? Uh, are you speaking you said to a 007 number? Yeah, yeah, 007. I'm speaking with you, okay. Um, I don't believe I know you. I just actually got a link to this number on on my Instagram page. I uh, have been following the uh, the ranch situation. Somebody uh, sent me this conference call number. So, cool. I mean, what would you give on your opinion? Where are you at? Uh, you know, I mean, what do you think's going on? You kind of uh, kind of stepping the bounds, just trying to call them out, just trying to uh, you know, find people that you know lawful resolution to uh, you know. Just not be suckers or going against the Constitution. You know, you've got property rights. You've got certain land rights. They need to, you know, look into that and, and, and figure out how to put the people uh, that are responsible, you know, in some of these land rights, call them out and have them dealt with. And if they continue to do so, similar things like this, you just show, hey, the people who got this, you know, they're going to keep the feet, they're going to get the local sheriff, they're going to get the bad guys out of there, and, uh, you know, keep pushing for people resolutions instead of, uh, you know, I'm not the people with guns, you know, in the panel, all the system, they're going to pass on, you know, the amount of orders around, you know, the police are out of pocket, but, you know, we're kind of on the fence right now, but, you know, you can start calling them back out, so, hey, man, you're doing something illegal. Like we're the ones that are just everyday Joe that's trying to get by and do our thing, and you guys are coming over here with guns, you know, so it's going to be mad at you know, and like, you, you want to start trouble, well, you got trouble, man, how about that deal? You know, the American people are standing up to this, and it's, uh, you know, I think we're kind of on the cusp, man. American Springs coming around the corner, and we want to kind of keep this chain of command in line open and uh, see what we can offer the people as far as, you know, getting people that are on the ground, you know, I'm going to start it on other ends just to make sure everybody's good. Well, uh, based on what you're saying, I 
and what you're seeing out there, man. How, how, how do you feel about this situation? Um, I mean, I'm not really sure. You put a lot out there just now. Um, having a little bit of trouble hearing you, but I mean, pretty much agree with what y'all, y'all are doing, just kind of defending, you know, the rights of this guy. That's pretty much what's most important. So. You could then, I got a couple of people like you. I'm going to reach it if you do want to speak later and you, you know, could talk something you want to, uh, you know, answer with, uh, the situation. As long as you're good in, I'll start start sick. And, uh, let's just see. Let's see if um, we're a couple right. people in the queue, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. People come to see, uh, <laughs> two or three five years still in the queue. You can talk whenever you want. And then let's try, uh, 1453. I see two other callers on hold. I'll get right to you guys. I think I'm, uh, 1453. Uh, Good morning, everyone. Hey, what's going on? Not much, Brian. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Jay. Um, I was looking for the, the gentleman selling the page about tennis not coming. I don't find it anywhere on the CCC page. So I don't know where he got that, but I mean, I've told this thing like with a 5C comb. I don't find it anywhere in Tennessee's coming. <laughs> so, Tennessee's so, right here. Is when it comes to anything regarding FedBook, okay, FedBook yeah. is, in my eyes, 100% not reliable right now. I've got, again, a couple of open for it, but I am not clicking anything, not only due to the fact that if I did it, again, my computer would explode, but uh, mm-hmm. there's a lot of messages, a lot of stuff I'm tagged in, a lot of people adding in, blah, 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 and comments, and yeah, and like, and yeah, and <laughs> posts, and freaking you name it. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I can't go over there right now. It's, well, yeah, that as well. I, I'm not even <laughs> trying to see what's going on on Facebook for, 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 for ever since this phone call started. I know. And we're hanging in there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so, I'm so grateful. Man, it's so grateful. Brian, I, I love you to pieces. It's something that doesn't kind of blossom into what it has. And maybe this is what needs to wake the sleeping giant, which is obviously starting to wake up. I appreciate so much Rocket Man, uh, Dave, and hands down, you already know that person. Um, and uh, there are other people that are live streaming this. And I am ever so yeah, grateful yeah. for whatever it takes to wake up the American people, get off your fat, lazy, complacent butts, get out in front of the TV, turn off the computer, and go see what's going on outside. Oh, like we have no idea that this is cosmic uh, candy, know, right? <laughs> we, 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 the people, have allowed this to happen. We got. You almighty, well, we're American, you can't touch us. Well, guess what? Surprise! <laughs> and we love Surprise! It, the yeah, it is what it is, but hey, better late than not at all. <laughs> anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn in early for once, because I uh, Michelle, are you on? Is Michelle fighting in there? This is early, really? She's talking about the yeah, red moon, early, the right. red moon, and the um, red moon. You were talking about the red, the blood moon this morning. Um, there was four of right. on. No, she's not on anymore. Oh, night mist. <laughs> um, no, that's it. I just you know, want to say I love you guys. And I don't know. Brian, Dave can explain to you better why it appears that we have so many administrators on this page. It's an FB thing and it has nothing to do with us. Because when I heard you say that, I, I hit Dave real quick. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't have anybody. I don't know how. I don't know how. And one person, I did send to him, Colin Jackson. And I mean, I feel so bad. There's so much garbage on, on our page, you know, to discern. And I'm just sitting here researching, you know, who's right, who's wrong. Um, somebody brought up the thing about the interview with Ben Swan and and Max. And I, I went straight. I just went straight to BenSwan.com and pulled it up and posted it on there. But then I see four other people go and post. No, oh, well, I don't know it is. It's people think, hey, you're waking up. That's all that matters. As long as we got boots on the ground and everything, we're prepared to expect the unexpected. Hope for the worst and expect and pray for the better. That way, when the worst happens, we're expecting right. it. <sighs> well, right. and, uh, yeah, I've got five people in this queue. I'm, uh, I'm going to bring another person in just so they've been hanging on for a minute. Okay. Um, I have a message for you from Dave. Oh, <laughs> what do you want to do? From Dave? From, from, yeah, from our baby. Hold on. Just pull it right, up. Go ahead. Tell, mm-hmm. tell him there are different access levels, but Facebook does not say that public. Hello? Hold on just a minute, babe. Are you still there, Brian? Yeah, I'm still here. Uh, 6711, I just brought you in the call. Um, oh, she's going to wrap herself up. Take two seconds. Hang on one second. 6711, hold for a second. 
coming in. Hey, and I appreciate that. I love you. Thank I, you. I, I think I want to turn this into that. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, some people are completely satisfied, and yeah. I want to see you know, how it's about with this and kind of get some guidance and uh, uh, Chicago ones will kind of report and receive it. And uh, it's good, you know, but I'm also talking to other people who are going to find this. Yeah, um, that's the lady that's talking about the streaming. I mean, why not keep the conference call going and add the stream and backdrop? Basically, run it like a show, but keep it format. This is one of those things. People can actually do what they're doing right now. They can interject and actually communicate with each other. And you, of course, being the host of the show, the moderator, I think it's a good idea. It's an unexplored territory, that's for sure. Yeah, again, it's exciting. It's, it is something new. It's something I, I would actually, you know, I get it. And, you know, you guys chime in. I, I could have been that guy, you know, if had somebody else started the call. It's, it's a great idea, and uh, apparently I'm doing pretty good at it, and I want to keep going, and uh, I'm enjoying this, and uh, I just hope you know, I haven't. I did this <coughs> one because I had a couple of messages that just were slamming a lot, and I was slamming, and my kids were upset, and you know what? Not a show. There's no PC here. Um, I'll move to it to get out of pocket, trust me. But outside of that, it is just kind of for me. I don't have to edit to do it. There's no censor. You know? um, as far as I know, only I can see the numbers. Uh, you know, and, 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 and that data. But um, who knows? You know, I, I'm just in a software already on the internet. I don't you know, get out of pocket. Don't say anything stupid. And, uh, that you can never be forcing normal conversation. I've got to cut down that swing as the rest of us, but hey, if somebody slipped, I didn't say it was, you know, uh, PG, you know, whatever, or G. But, uh, right. you know, I'm glad it, I'm You know, and, 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 and it's playing, it's playing, it, 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 if somebody goes crazy in every other word, you know, like, hey, can you tell it down, or whatever, or if they're just you know, right. getting mad at you, or just cussing like crazy, you know, that's why we need the moderator, that's why we have the host. Right. 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 I'm trying to do a good job, and people are pissed, and I'm asking people to try to keep it down, but I might throw in a word once in a while, and I don't need to know what I mean, you'll find somebody to flip out. So if you're at your, your uh, drunk uncle Stewie's house, and uh, everybody's just showing each other respect, and uncle drunk me, uh swears once in a while, and uh, that's when you cut the reviews, and sorry, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, and I think what it would be
we can keep, keep doing that. I'm, I'm going to leave you in the keys too, but I, I got to meet you. You're not only uh, redlining, but um, it was kind of fun because I actually met that guy at the shot show and gave me stuff as well. And he's a great person, real friendly, cool as hell. Um, I don't know if anybody knows knows his name. If you want to chime in, I, I use that as a little trivia question. But uh, that guy's awesome. Um, yeah, and actually, my uh, real boss is actually a former drill sergeant from Fort Benny, so um, got a lot of respect for drill sergeants. And um, I'm going to go ahead and let that anonymous caller do that one more time. <laughs> And you know what's awesome is none of that was censored. <laughs> I feel like a mad scientist right now. There's not a damn thing the FCC regulations to you. So from now on, from this point on, y'all are able to speak freely. If you stuff does not cut it, feel free to be at me. Just like the drill sergeant was asking. Yeah, we're all at ease here, all right? So I appreciate that, drill sergeant, for chiming in. Um, I'll be on better behavior with you. I will definitely uh, unscrew my neck from my ass. I appreciate that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and let a couple other people chime in real quick. That's just messed up. But you know what? That adds the comedic feature to this call. You know, uh, it's, it's cool like that. Yeah, when yeah, Dave Kelso ain't on, so somebody's got to do it. Hey, Brian, you yeah, know, I, sometimes there's just not a word that can describe what you're feeling unless it's one of those bad words, you know? Right. I agree. And, and they're all, we should be, you know, his grandma would say, you're smarter than that. Use your words, you know. Uh, my grandma got blessed as 101 years old, um, head into 102, still does crossword puzzles faster than me. Um, it, and she, she's just amazing, but yeah, she would definitely tell me to use my words and don't swear. So I'm gonna try to watch it. I apologize if you know I'm offending anybody, but the thunder slip out. Deal you know, with it. This is uh, my phone call. You want to start a conference call? Go right ahead. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm on to the next person. Great. And un unmute him. Six page three one. You're also in the queue. I hear that. Thanks, man. <laughs> And he wanted to chime in about it. It's been a rough week, but uh, I do say what you want. You agree? Yeah, I agree. How many people's on here? I probably can't say what I want. Um, <laughs> I see about 50 people. Not to mention the rebroadcast. I, I see independent IPs right now. Um, I see uh, a couple of different things. It looks like this is. Uh, it's kind of hard to describe the control channel, but you give or take, I see uh, under 50 people, but that's just from on the call right now. In the key oh, well, I'll, I'll the wave five. then. <laughs> hey, I got a little, uh, uh, Eric from the ranch says everything's uh, so quiet out there, so that's a good thing. Awesome. He was, he was yeah, just on the ground. Yeah, Eric. time to time, updates like that absolutely help keep us at bay. Uh, I think you know, we can all agree right now that the families are snuggled safe in their back. If they're yeah. mostly falling asleep, I'm going to guarantee there's still a patrol or two, or oh, four, yeah. four or five, and then you've got, you know, outer ring locals are still doing their thing. Well, and, and you uh, get, we've, we've got that, uh, that text thing going with the ranch, too. I, I, it'd be really interesting to find out, you know, since they set, set that up this morning, how many of us will get that text. I bet it's just just a phenomenal number so i you know i've been worried about that because you know like i said earlier what if what if something happens and we can't you know can't get help after we get that text but right i don't know um you know trying so to think with a little bit of skepticism it. and you know I'm, again i'm partially a skeptic i want to be an optimist but i owe everything with conjecture until i can confirm it you know i don't right. know how to go about texting and getting a number that will give you an auto text to all the people that sign in blah, 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 blah. If even that contract entails that somebody couldn't hack into it and either A, cut them out, yep. or B, send out false information. You know, yeah, yeah, I guess I have Because really they're sitting at home without their phones in their hands, and if somebody took that over and starts putting out bad data, there could be freaking utter chaos. And, and well, Why? Maybe, maybe you shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I oh, hadn't really thought about that. Right, somebody else is thinking it, but it definitely crossed my mind. 
Yeah, that, that one didn't print. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, so what's the take? Is, so does their phone send that out? Boom, you sell the cell towers go out? Yeah, yeah, no kidding. That's really yeah. all it would take. The phone I mean, I'm, 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 establish uh, comms lines with everybody else that can go radio, that can go uh, ham, that can go other frequencies and such to uh, transmit, you know, however it takes. Right, right. Well, I'm, I'm not a pessimist. I do want to clear that up. I know it kind of sounds like that at some time. I'm just thinking all the time. I'm just, right. maybe it's because I'm a mom, <laughs> you know, I got three kids, I got, a, you know, grandkids. I'm a warrior. So I'm, I'm this shit wakes me up at night. <laughs> <laughs> Probably does you too. Another person that's holding right now, 0087, I can unmute you and you're in the queue. There's <laughs> about five people in the queue, by the way. Some have gone and fall asleep. I don't know. But uh, there's about five people in the queue right now. Um, the blow eight seven. You wanted to chime in anything, brother? Yeah, I apologize about earlier. I wasn't actually expecting to get on. Um, but I was wondering if there's any truth to this rumor that I've been hearing about uh, the city prison buses and things like that going to support the rent. Uh, I don't know if you know anything about that. You know, based on how you asked that and what you asked me. If you wanted to kind of re reiterate exactly the question again. Well, I've been hearing uh, rumors uh, both on the Alex Jones show today and also on um, things on the internet about prison buses and uh, mobile units that are something moving towards the, the ranch today or yesterday. I'm not quite sure if there's any truth to that. I, I would say the answer to the question is yes. Okay. So it's definitely rumors. There is definitely people saying things on the internet. Um, there are definitely pictures of buses and videos of buses that we have seen. But yet everybody on the inside, pretty cool, man. Um, the outer layer hasn't reported that. Neither has the three marines going into the you know, actual house. And uh, everything seems to be cool as of right now, man. We're just kind of talking, venting, getting this off our chest. Kind of trying to still communicate and you know give your opinions, learn, teach me, man. That, that's you know, it's not exactly why we're here, but you know, we don't really kind of have to worry too much about the end right now. Um, let's wait till they wake up in the morning and do wherever you put at and start a fresh day. We're looking at a red moon right now, just trying to sit by the campfire and let the good is and there's the you know, what is that different? Gotcha, gotcha. Well, I appreciate you, bud. You know, what's all doing and everything. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. And we'll, we'll see a small business. Uh, again, as of right now, it's pretty open for me. Um, people can talk to whatever they want to say, and uh, we'll just keep cycling through people that are trying to chime in. If you want to chime in, go ahead. I can talk about that, that video that everybody sees, Command Center, uh, the mobile Command Center, everything. I do believe that was happening uh, simultaneous or moments after the cattle. Uh, uh, so I actually got really, 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 really. Well, let's put it like this. Let, let's use what we do know. We know right now Central it's quarter to two. <laughs> and then in the next time zone that way, it's quarter to one. And one more time zone over, it's quarter to midnight. It's dark. So if you're seeing any video right now with any buses, any transportation, anything moving, that most likely happened earlier. So between that point and now, we've already talked to everybody and everybody's cool. Everybody's going to bed. So we're talking without a 15 mile radius right now. As far as the reports of the locals, things of that nature, everybody's cool right now. Yeah, as far as you know, that being old, old, old video um, from, from Saturday, um, yeah, nothing's happening right now with that. That's why it's just you know, bogus stuff. It's not bogus, so it's just unrelated information that's being put out for the last time. Can you agree? As far as the buses, we, again, you know, we had seen some video of buses, but uh, they were in the desert. We can confirm that. But, you know, uh, did that take place in the last few days? That's quite a possibility. Again, I'm not there, brother. I'm, I'm the guy just trying to find who's on the ground and who's headed there so they can find back and let me know what the hell's going on. All right. Thanks. 
so you know we've gone through a lot of video and stuff like that and uh, yeah they, there's most likely a bus there there's a lot of soldiers they bust in so maybe they were busting them up yeah yeah we're highly recommending this is exactly what I want every single vehicle that is in that direction needs to know before they leave the territory a variety of small things that come into play. Oh, they need some supplies and the store pack the generators, lights, things, food, water, isn't as needed, so batteries, better charges, uh, laptops, comms, um, what else was it? Uh, wi Fi, satellite, the type of thing is good. And would be great if you had a huge antenna, they'd probably put it right up on their flagpole right now. Um, that being said, if you're heading there, they want peaceful protesters to come up. Do not cross a border as a militia representative as of this time. Uh, that's what has been working well for them. It's become a normal bridging by certain, hey, we're the funding, uh, sorry, we're funding supporters, or whatever the case is. <laughs> that's one thing. You know, if you come in full battle ladder with the CDUs and, uh, you know, a bunch of serious looking guys, it, you, you might get harassed a little bit and you're not surprising that at all. Most importantly, you to follow the state guidelines from the county where you live, the point B where you're headed, and make sure everything accordingly uh, follows the law so that you don't get harassed or messed with. Some people have not signed back in, so that's why I'm worried. I'll be honest, we have a line of almost 25 people that were heading in over the course of the last two days and a little bit prior. And not all of them have come back in. I understand it's probably busy there, the signal's not the day, so yeah, they're fine. Now, some of these people uh, possibly gotten arrested. I think a couple of them possibly have. Um, you know, if they're being dumb dumb men, you've got to watch out for that. If they were the team, if they were protesting, bringing supplies and support, cool, that's what everybody wants, and so don't come in hot and heavy, you know, what we're telling everybody else is to go directly to the, to the checkpoint once you get there, you'll know you're there, so you'll be all kind of fresh, I'll ask them where the check-in is, and then we'll have you check in, you know, bring some supplies again, like I said, and follow the chain of command, the guys that are in the house, our security, the guys that are outside are helping with the main chain of command for all the people that are there and heading there. The problem is, is the head of security left to go kind of recoup at home. You know, he's heading back already this week. He'll be there actually in the morning in a few hours. Um, but, you know, the command broke down a little bit and some of the guys had to leave. And some of them were coming back, but now we're going to see more people there. We've got some reports, if I'm not mistaken. I want to say floating around uh, possibly 500 on the outer room, but there are a few different groups here, too, you got to remember. And some guys are touching. There's only 20. All right, you might be on the outer outer room. You know, I don't know where everybody's at exactly. So that kind of throws a little conjecture into the room. But I don't know if they're safe. We're just telling people, yeah, they want people to protest here. Probably the Christian people protest here. You know, not balls to the walls. Hey, I'm with some over here. What do y'all up to when you get pulled over here? Right. Well, yeah, I appreciate all the information and uh, everything that you are doing. I guess you can uh, go ahead and put me back on uh, mute and let somebody else chime in. So thank you. Sorry. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. I, I get on occasion once in a blue moon. I'm trying not to do that. And I'm going to just get on mute another caller. Uh, 1809, I just put you out on, on mute. Hello. I'm calling from Ohio. And. Ohio, I'm getting some feedback. Uh, can you hear me? Well, let's see that is. Yeah, I can hear you. I'm getting feedback from somewhere. I'll hang on one second. I got to need a follow. That's causing a lot of feedback right there. So, two, three, one. Sorry about that. Um, anybody else at this time when you can actually press uh, star six and you'll uh, be the next one in line for the call. Right, well, go ahead. Okay, anyway, um, just a little bit of my background real quick. First of all, I'm 49 years old and I've seen a lot. And I've seen how this country has changed from the time I was in my teens. And it has changed rapidly. 
the kids nowadays, they, they don't even have a clue as to how life used to be for us. I have did um, activists. I was an activist for women's health here. Um, I've marched on Washington several times. I've been anti-government all my life. I have never voted because I've never trusted any of them, of them. And I don't even trust the voting system, let alone trust to put somebody in power of our nation. I remember when Waco happened, I was sitting in front of the TV as it was happening, and it has tarnished my mind even more about the government. And from my perspective, I just want to tell the American people, at this point in time, they cannot be trusted. You can't be trusted. Uh, you know, the guy was talking earlier about um, how, you know, we need to get everybody to vote, and this and that, this and that. They put in office who they want to put in office. You know, there's an elitist group. Obama is a puppet. And people need to wake up to this fact. The World Bank owns almost everything, not just the United States, but other countries too. And I have a, I'm an avid supporter of Anonymous. I love Edward Snowden. I think Edward Snowden has changed the course of this country for the better because right. I think what he done, he has he has opened so many Americans' eyes, not to mention other people in other countries. You know, right now, we as Americans are being looked down upon from other countries because of what our government's doing. But what, what I, I'm hoping and I think that they're realizing, us as American people, we're, we're being suppressed too by our own government. You know, they've got us down. You know, look what they did to the Native Americans. I have Native American history and ancestry in, in my family. You know, and to be honest with you, I follow the old traditional way. That's what I do. You know, and I feel like I'm torn. You know, that the Native Americans are watching the, the, the stuff with the Bundys right now. And don't get me wrong, I, I'm a 100% supporter of them too, of the Bundys. But, you know, from a Native American point of view, they're looking at this and, and their heart is hurting. It's hurting because they're saying to themselves, you know, they put it together and they're helping. They're helping the Bundy family. Well, what about us? What about we? Mm -hmm. Still here, Jay? Yeah. I'm getting ready to go outside. It's almost time for the eclipse. Um, it's like the the phone line here just froze. Yeah, it's uh, probably about to drop. Oh, there it goes. Son of a gun. <laughs> yeah, I just um, I I just um, pasted you something that I posted on the uh, community conference call uh mm -hmm. thing there because I didn't know if you had a browser open or whatnot or whatever. Um, I've been I've been broadcasting on on this thing since like oh about eight. Let's see, it's almost six hours now, and I'm getting really tired, and I want to head to bed sooner rather than later. Yeah, but like but before I cut the stream, and this happened last time, so I want to make sure everybody's on the same page this time, there were people asking, well, wait a minute, when the YouTube feed gets shut down for the live stream, where can we go again to pick it back up? Where, you know, where's the, where's the information for another route? Well, if you go on the community or community conference calls Facebook group, so it's facebook.com forward slash community conference calls. It doesn't matter if you have a Facebook account or not. No login whatsoever is required because everything is marked as public and open. You're going to be able to see anything just like any other web page. So you go to that page and if you click on the about section there um, it explains in full detail 
you know, it's got all the information, call, one, you know, five, five, nine, et cetera, et cetera. It has it all there. Plus the actual video description of this YouTube video this is being saved to, you know, for people going through like the Google Plus page or whatever. That information is in the description as well. It, it should be there. Now, if you don't want to dial in with a phone and you'd rather pick up another um, internet stream, I don't know how long the people have been listening that are still listening right now, but there's a guy that's been streaming us live like crazy and, and still is right now. Mm -hmm. So if, if you go to the community conference calls page there on Facebook and you scroll down a little bit, you're going to see a thing that says live now, AMB Network, Militia Conference Live, Bundy Ranch, uh, Spreaker.com, Patriots, Wildfire This Post, 8 p.m. Central tonight, call in live at <clears throat> 8 Central tonight, etc., etc. Can't miss it. If you go into there, you can pick up the audio stream in there, no problem. So all of you who are listening right now, um, if you're all understanding my instructions and successfully doing it, I'm watching the views count. <clears throat> Let's bottom that out to zero so that I know you're understanding me. Let's you know disconnect from that and go hook up to the other stream. You know what I mean, guys? So you, I'm about to shut this down anyway. You can go hook up to the other stream. I just want to make sure everybody understands before I cut it off. I don't want to cut this short all of a sudden and someone's like, no, I don't understand. You know, I want to make sure everybody's on the same page here. No pun intended, be in the web and all. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm about to shut this down. So go on the Facebook page, um, community conference calls. You don't need a Facebook login if you don't have Facebook. Just go facebook.com forward slash community conference calls. Scroll down a little. You'll see a post that says live now, AMB Network, Militia Conference Live, Bundy Ranch. You know, it's a, it's a Spreaker.com, Patriots, Wildfire This Post, etc., etc., etc. Click into there and it will take you to the audio stream. And we apparently still have 12 years in the line. This is the last time I'm going to say this. So um, everybody have a good night. Um, okay. Hope you enjoyed listening. And I hope, you, I hope you continue to enjoy listening on the alternate stream information that I just gave you where you can also find the dial-in number and all that good stuff. So really appreciate, appreciate you all listening. The stream will be available in this uh, this YouTube video once I close it out. And YouTube, you know, does all its processing and happy crap, fully saving it to a video file, whatever else it does. So again, thank you very much for listening. We appreciate it. Um, love y'all. Have a really good, awesome night. God bless. May the druid goats be with you. <laughs> whatever. May the force be with you. Adios. Aloha. Whatever. Have an absolutely wonderful night.